We're live. Oh. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to day number three. Uh, before I get started, I just want to come and hang out and say hi to you guys. I'm a little worn out. Are you guys tired too or is it just me? Uh, I hope you had fun the last, uh, the last two days. Day number one was all about you becoming an expert. Uh, we talked about that. We also talked about how to create your offer. Num day number two, yesterday, we talked about um, the big domino and how to knock it down. And then you guys had a chance to actually see me do a perfect, excuse me, see me do a perfect webinar live. And was that fun? Did you guys like seeing the whole thing? Um, it was fun. It was one we kind of put together last minute. And so it's funny. Mo I'm sure none of you guys see, but for me, I like, there's things I messed up on. I'm like, I want to do it again now. But anyway, it turned out good. Uh, it was fun. So. Uh, we had a good time with it. Uh, a lot of people were asking, like, was that a real offer? Like, can we really buy that? And yes, you really can. We really are coaching people. And yes, uh, so you definitely should get that if you haven't yet. Um, in fact, the interesting thing is, <coughs> excuse me, Monday, we have our next FAT event. So Monday, we're going to have, how many people are like 40, 50 people are going to be here? 40, yeah. 40 people are going to be in this room doing the next FAT event. And, uh, and so what that means is that um, Sunday at midnight, we're closing that offer down, which means you have now till Sunday to get in to Two Comma Club Coaching. If you go to twocommaclubcoaching.com, you can get in. And uh, obviously, you can't come to the event starting Monday, but that gives you uh, a full eight weeks to go through the online version of the training course before we get back uh, before the next FAT event. That way, you'll be prepared and ready. So when you show up here, uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll. A couple of other questions we got from people were like, well, Russell, if I, I don't have a product yet, like, is this club, coaching club for me? Like, the answer is yes. Like, that's, that's the cool thing about this is it's taking you from, uh, oh, I covered the board, from zero to seven figures, right? So if you're zero and you want to get seven figures, then that's, it's for you, yes. So uh, in the master class, it goes through everything from, like, picking your market, figuring, like, all the stuff we talk about in the expert secrets and the dot-com secrets books, it goes from there and goes really, really deep. And then what's cool about it is you're reading like, I need to find a market and you're trying to figure out what those things are. And you're like, I think this is my market. I think this is what I'm going to do. Then you jump on the weekly Q&A calls and ask Stephen, ask us like, hey, is this a good market? And we're like, ah, that sucks. Or like, yes, that's actually really good. Run with that. And it'll help steer you in the right way so that you're not, a lot of times the problem we have is that like, we're going in the, we're doing the right things, but we're running in the wrong direction. And so you wake up three months, six months, a year from now. And like, you did all the right stuff, but you ran this direction, so nothing actually worked. And so the job and the goal of the two comic club coaching is to be like, to steer you, like, okay, run, but run that direction. Then you're like, oh, sweet, and then things will actually work. So that's what it is. And if you haven't subscribed yet or signed up, go to twocommaclubcoaching.com and go get started because it's going to be awesome. And I think that's it. So with that said, I'm going to jump back on stage. <coughs> we're going to uh, teach module number one, two, three, four. We have number five. How do you know right now? Five. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to jump on the stage. We'll see you guys here in a few seconds. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome back to module number five. I'm so excited to have you guys here today. And um, this session I'm really excited for because I'm going to have a chance to break down what I did and why I did it. So if you watched yesterday, we spent uh, about two hours going through this. And I hope you guys like that. I got some amazing feedback from, uh, from tons of people, which was really fun. Um, so this right here is, is the goal. This is the secret. This is the big thing you got to understand. And then I actually did it. So I did it through this webinar right here, which you guys all saw. And so I'm going to kind of walk you guys through what I did and why I did and how these pieces correlated into this and which correlated into a whole bunch of people giving us money, which correlated into us being able to serve a whole bunch more people. So that's kind of the game plan. But first, uh, Stephen ran an ask campaign asking all of you guys, uh, what were your questions from yesterday and uh, what was the biggest thing? And what's interesting is um, we had a very common question coming up over and over and over and over and over again. So it's probably your question. If not yours, it's the guy sitting next to you or whoever. But this is one we had a lot, and so I want to kind of address it up front so that way there's no barriers. I know some of you guys are have these barriers and like, well, this won't work for me. I remember um, when I first uh, got into this business, uh, I went to a Dan Kennedy event, and I showed up, and there's like 1,500 people in this room, and uh, they had these big, huge banners on the side that, say, that said, uh, this won't work for my business. And I was like, that's confusing. Why would they post that on their walls? And uh, later I found out that it was like Dan Kennedy making fun of everybody who ever says that. Uh, because um, he would say, he would teach them something, they're like, oh, that's cool, but that won't work for my business. Yeah, I see how that worked for yours, Dan, but it doesn't work for my business. And so he'd just make fun of everyone saying, look, you guys, you have to like think. I'm giving you the, our, I'm giving you the science. Here's the science of, of how this works. This is human psychology, what gets people to give you money. And then I showed you how to do it in one vertical. I showed you how to do it to sell a coaching program yesterday. You see me use it to sell software. I've used it to sell supplements. I've used it to sell everything on planet Earth. But I'm not going to go and do 40 webinars this weekend. You've got to take science 
and be like, okay, how does this work for me? What's the art for me? Like, how do I tweak this and change it so it'll actually work for me? Okay? So that's on you. Okay? And if you come to the Two Cobble Club coaching, that's what we'll kind of help you with and help you figure out how to do that. But this works for anything. This is human psychology. It's not like, oh, well, that's how you sell info products, Russell. No. Well, yes. But also, no. You sell info products that way, but I sell everything this way. This is how I sell my wife to go to the movies I want to, uh, I want to go to. This is how I sell my friends on where we're going to go to lunch. This is how I sell like, everything in the world that I sell is based on this process right here. Over and over and over and over and over again. Okay? So, um, I'm going to do a couple examples real quick. Off the top of my head, it's kind of early for me, so hopefully uh, my mind is, is sharp enough to throw these. But Dave and these guys have got a couple of examples. So, I'm going to throw some of these in here. I'm going to pretend like I am you in your business. And I'm not going to do it for every single business and every single industry known to man. That's your job to kind of figure it out. But I want you to understand that this will work for your business. It works for B2B. It works for supplements. It works for coaching. It works for info products. It works for membership sites. It works for uh, if you're selling carpet, if, you're, if, you're, uh, if you run a golf course. If, like Whatever it is you have, this process will work. I promise you that. I don't think there's any product I can think of that it wouldn't work for. There's probably one. But I don't know what it is. So... All right, do you want to give me one or two and I can see what we can do? Uh, let's go with the services as far as carpet cleaners. Okay, services as far as carpet cleaners. So I'm going to pretend like I am a carpet cleaner and I run a carpet cleaning company and I want clean carpets and I am going to do a presentation to a bunch of people. So I can go and I can have flyers one on one and hope to get customers or I can do something really, really cool and get a bunch of people in the room and try to present to them. Okay, now before I, I actually try to fake pitch a carpet cleaning service, um, what I want to do is. Uh, um, I want to tell you guys a story. This is Russell slipping the backstory real quick. Um, so I want to tell you guys a story about uh, my friend Chad Wolner, who is a chiropractor. I talked about him yesterday, I think, as well. But it's interesting. So Chad is a chiropractor. How do most chiropractors do their business, right? You know, ads and flyers, and they try to get people to come in, referrals. And so Chad was doing that. He was doing all sorts of stuff, doing like the traditional thing. <clears throat> and then um, I don't know if he came up with his own or seeing what else if I do, but, I, but basically I was like, get a bunch of people in the room and sell like 50 people once instead of one. Like, that's way easier. So he started doing these events and he would bring people in. Uh, one of them, <clears throat> this is, again, here's an idea, but you got to use your mind how you could, this could work for your, for your business. Um, I got an email from him. I'm on his chiropractic local list here. And he was like, hey, uh, this is right when Star Wars, the new Star Wars came out. And he's like, I, I ran out the whole theater for all of my, all my customers or all my clients, whatever, whatever doctors call their, their people, for all my clients, <clears throat> I want you to come and bring all your friends. And we're going to watch Star Wars together. It's free. It's all on me. It's going to be amazing. I was like, dude, why are you doing that? He's like, just watch this. So I'm like, all right. So we go to the movie. I show up. I bring my kids. I bring some of my friends. Everyone else brought their kids and their friends. I come in this theater, and the whole theater is completely packed. <clears throat> Two or three hundred people sitting in this theater. And uh, Chad walks in. Dr. Wollner walks in, and he's like, hey, guys, hope you enjoy the movie. This is, you know, this, you know we, we did this from our company, and I hope you guys love it. Push this play. Everyone watches the movie. Movie ends. Boom, he stops. And like, there's like bouncers at the door. No, I'm just kidding. There should have been. But there was like, he stops and he gets back on stage and says, hey guys, real quick, I'm going to give you guys a quick presentation. And he quickly went through something like this, made an offer for them, and signed up like 40 or 50 patients at one time. Boom. That would take an average, a normal chiropractor, how long to do that, right? So I don't care what you're doing. If I'm in a service business, I'm trying to think, I don't want to sell one-to-one. One-to-one sucks. It takes forever, and it's so inefficient, and then you can't do your thing at the same time. So I'm like, how do I get a lot of people together? Do I get them in a room? Do I get them on a webinar or tell them? Like, whatever that is, you can do it in any business, okay? You just got to be creative and think through it a little bit, right? Okay, so let's say I'm a carpet cleaner, and, uh, and I have got to get um, people to become uh, my clients, right? So the first thing I'm going to think about is how are every other carpet cleaning <coughs> company out there doing it, right? They're all running little ads. They have little like, those mailers that are in the value packs, it was called, like the value pack mailers, things like that. They put them out there. <coughs> and they're all saying the same thing, right? They're all fighting on price. We'll do a room for free, blah, 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 all that kind of crap. So I would come back and I would think, okay, right now I'm a carpet cleaner. What was the reason why I became a carpet cleaner? That's my first question. There's probably a reason, right? Like you just wake up one day like, sweet, I'm gonna be a carpet cleaner. That's gonna be awesome. Or was your dad a carpet cleaner? Did you know someone that was? Were you in financial issues? Like, what was the story? Like, there's a reason why you became a carpet cleaner. So what was that story? I told this uh, when, uh, during the virtual book tour when Tony Robbins was interviewing me. He was asking me, like, what do you think the future of selling is? And I said, uh, and I told, it's funny. So Chad, thank you. I'm using your examples a whole bunch today. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I, told, I told the story about, about Dr. Wollner. So he was, when I first met him, he was out there selling people logically about spinal re readjustment and all these like techno babble things that chiropractors typically do, right? And I was like, I was like, dude, that's like, you, that's what every single chiropractor says. It's boring. It's like annoying. It's whatever, right? 
And I was like, why did you become a chiropractor? Like, there's got to be some, like, there's a reason why you became a chiropractor. What was that story? And, uh, you know, first he talked about the money and the fact that Friday's off. I'm like, no, that's, that's crap. Nobody really cares about it. You're not going to be, like, going out there with an emotional video, like, hey, guys, this is the deal. I want, I want to be a chiropractor because I want to be able to take Friday's off and I want to make a lot of money. Like, <laughs> nobody cares, right? I was like, what's the real reason you became a chiropractor? Like, why did you pick that as your major in college? Like, go back. Sometimes you have to go deep. Like, what was the reason that you did this? What was that? And he kept going back. Finally, he was like, you know, the real reason is um, I was actually in dental school. And uh, I was going through dental school. And I was, uh, and I was loving it. Like, I wanted to be a dentist. And then my, I found my wife. We got married. And then one day, she got in a car wreck. Boom. And she hurt her back really, really bad. And so she actually went to medical doctors. She went to like, all these different things. And finally, like, the fourth, fifth thing, they went to a chiropractor. The chiropractor adjusted her and got her out of pain. And he was like, when I saw my wife go from this, like, what she was, the pain she was in and saw what he did with his hands to get her out of pain, I realized like, that's what I want to do with my life. So I switched my major from being a dentist to being a chiropractor. And, uh, and that's why I do what I do, because I want to help people. I want to get people out of pain. Just like that person got my wife out of pain. When he told me that story, I got chills. I was like, I was like dude, that's your story. Like, share that. So he's like, well, how do I share that? So we got a video camera, and he told that story, put it out there, and boom, all of a sudden, guess what happened? People started emotionally connecting with him as a chiropractor. Okay? Here in Boise, there's literally like three chiropractors in every single block. Like, they're everywhere. And right now, people will drive past five or six or seven of them to get to him because they have an emotional connection. Like, this is, like they, they connect with him, right? So for you, the reason why they're going to pick you versus every other carpet cleaner on planet Earth, because right now, as a carpet cleaner, you're a commodity. There's a bunch of them. I got my carpet cleans open phone, but flipped around. Uh, that guy called it. That's it. You're a commodity. Nobody cares about you. You have to understand that because right now you are doing this. You're selling through Technobab, but selling through Agile, all this kind of crap that everybody else is doing. If you want to connect with people, you got to step back, figure out what was the reason you got into this, and share that story. That will get people to connect with you, right? So that's my first thing. And I'm going to tell my origin story. So if I get a bunch of people in the room, or if I'm at their doorstep, or if I put this presentation on a, on a DVD and send it to them, or if I have it online, I'm driving Facebook ads to it. First thing is I'm going to tell my origin story, right? And the origin story is going to get them to connect with me. And in that origin story, there's a reason, like uh, Dr. Wolner, when he tells his origin story about chiropractic, he's telling this emotional connecting story, right? But at the same time, he's trying to knock down this big domino of people that are like in back pain, right? His wife went to a doctor, didn't work, went to an acupuncturist, went to all these different things, nothing worked, and tell chiropractic, okay? He's doing this, telling this story to knock down the big domino, boom, right? And so that's number one. Now again, sometimes, just telling your origin story will be enough to get somebody to, to come to you. Okay? And this, the easier the transaction, the less, the, the less deep you have to go. Right? Like if I'm trying to pitch somebody on going to a movie with me, I'm going to tell a story about why I think we should go to this movie, and that'll typically be enough to push them over. I don't have to be like, tell that and then like, okay, let me talk, go to the vehicle and the internal. Like, the simpler the sell, the easier it is to, get to, to, um, to convince somebody. And so a lot of times, one story will close the deal for you. Okay, so again, depending on what you're selling, just kind of think through that. That's why typically, if I'm if I'm selling like um, like something lower ticket, like uh, like a free plus shipping book, right? Or if I'm selling a 27 or a 37 or like something that's lower ticket, a lot of times I'm just telling one really good Epiphany Bridge story and then closing the deal. If I'm shifting and transitioning something that's a hundred dollars, three hundred, five hundred thousand, two thousand, I'm shifting it more to a more formal, longer presentation that needs to be able to knock down more of the things. Because the more expensive it is, the more complicated the sell is, um, the, more, the more of these, uh, these pillars are going to come the way they got to chop down and be able to get through, right? So as a carpet cleaner, I might make just a video of this telling them my, my Epiphany Bridge story about that and getting people to understand. Now, um, so that would be number one, right? Now, let's say I'm trying to make a more complex sell. Let's say I'm a smart carpet cleaner. I don't just want to clean carpets once, but I want to clean them a whole bunch of times. Um, in fact, this <laughs> is so funny. Um, <laughs> Oh, he, I hope he's not listening. If he, actually, I hope he is listening. This will actually help you. So, uh, we, uh, at our old house, we um, needed a carpet cleaner. And, um, and so we went on, I think it was Groupon at the time, and there was a carpet cleaning offer. We're like, oh, sweet. So we did the, did the discount thing, right? And he came to clean our house. And he came, he was all like, like all upset. I'm like, what? He's like, oh, I got screwed in this deal. Like, I'm cleaning his carpets a half off and blah, blah, all these things, right? And I guy obviously has no idea about business because I'm like, dude, you just got us as a lead. Like, we'll probably use you again in the future. And he cleaned the carpet. And in the end, I was like, hey, do you have any kind of like monthly service you can come back and like do this every single month or, or like, you know, twice a year or something? He's like, no. I'm like, okay. And then he left. I was like, well, that guy's dumb. I just asked him if he'd come every single month and he said no. 
Okay. Um, and then fast forward, like a year later, we moved into our new home. And our new home is, is large. There's a lot of carpet space. Um, uh, it's 11,000 square foot homes. So there's a lot of, like, a lot of stuff, right? So we moved in. I call him. I'm like, he's the only carpet cleaner I knew. So I'm like, hey, man, can you come clean my carpets? He's like, oh, sure. So we came. And I asked him, I was like, so how'd that Groupon deal end up working out for you? He's like, oh, it was horrible. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, did you not just realize that I just paid you to clean 11,000 square feet of carpet because of the Groupon deal a year ago? Like, you missed the point, right? So anyway, so he comes through this thing and he's cleaning the whole house and it took him like two or three days. And um, you know, every day he's like sweating like crazy and he's working his butt off. And it's funny because at the end of it, I was like, hey, so thanks. That was awesome. I'm like, do you have anything? Like, I've got five kids. They're like running around making a mess. Like, could you come every like month or every three months or something and just like clean this crap for me? And, uh, and he was like, no, I don't have anything set up like that. Set up like that. Just call me if you want me to come back. And I'm like, I want you to come on autopilot once every quarter and just clean everything. And he's like, ah, oh, we don't have anything like that. And I was just like, anyway, killing me, right? Ugh. So if I was a carpet cleaner, first off, you guys start thinking more about business. Read the dot-com secrets book, understand value ladders and a bunch of other things because people want to give you money, right? Any business you're in. So they want to give you money. So the first thing I do is the origin story to help them understand you need to clean carpets. Number two, if I'm, if I'm, if you're listening to all the trainings through the Executive Masterclass, carpet cleaning is a product, right? It's a commodity. I can call any duties and clean, clean my carpet. If you're a smart carpet cleaner, you're going to turn this into an offer. All right, here's the offer, Russell. I'm going to come and clean your carpets today, and then every month I'm going to have some of my team come back. We're just going to come, knock on your door the first of every single month. We're going to spot check. You tell us three spots in your house that are the dirtiest, and we're going to come in. We're going to spot check those three things, and once every single quarter we're going to come in and do a deep clean. And uh, and then we also, I know you don't have dogs or cats, but maybe the people before, so we're going to do, um, we're going to wrap the, the the cat urine thing because you don't want cat urine. It's probably seep somewhere in the thing, and we're going to do a cat urine spray, and then we're going to do this and, and like. He turns this thing into an offer, right? Now I've got all sorts of different things. I'm like, like that's something now shifted from a, whatever the $100 per room commodity is into $5,000 package, $10,000 a year, whatever that might be that I would pay for, right? So now it's shifted from a product to an actual offer. Again, all these things we're talking about, you guys, are all layering from day one to day two to day three. I hope you guys are seeing this. Like, um, so whatever it is, and some of you guys are saying, Russell, I'm not a carpet cleaner. I wish I was a carpet cleaner because I can make an offer now. Like, Ugh, it works for your business. You just have to think. Okay? I do chiropractic adjustments. No, you don't. You freaking do naturopathic healing and you're doing the adjustments plus massages plus supplements plus you, everything you're doing, you need to turn it from a product into an offer. Uncommoditize your business. Okay? All you B2Bs and all you service providers, things like that, like when you understand this, it'll shift everything. I would have paid that carpet cleaner 10 times what, he's, what he'd charge me if he would just take my freaking money. But he won't because he won't shift from a product and a commodity into an actual offer. Okay. So Dennis, or uh, not Dennis, um, the uh, carpet cleaner dude makes an actual offer. So here the origin story he tells me is why he became a carpet cleaner. And also I have connection. I realized, wow, I do need to clean my carpets because maybe his story was like um, my kids got sick and they found out it was because they were, they were walking around in our carpet that had been cleaned six years. And the carpet cleaner guy came and did this like bug testing in our house and found out there was like an inch and a half deep of like fungus and mites, all this crap. I didn't even know it was in my carpets. Like carpets, when you look, think about it, it's the most disgusting thing in the world. So he came and he cleaned my carpets. He stripped all this stuff out and my kids got healthy. Like they weren't sick anymore. And I was like, holy crap, like, I need to be doing this for other people. Like carpet cleaning is the greatest thing in the world. So I tell the origin story and suddenly I'm like, whoa, this dude believes in carpet cleaning. Second off, he's freaked me out about my carpets. There's all this crap growing in there. Like, what am I going to do now? Right? They start freaking out about it. Um, and now it's going back to like, okay, the vehicle. So the, the thing I'm trying to put them into so the new opportunity I'm putting them into, carpet cleaning is not the new opportunity. That's the commodity, right? I'm basically saying, and most people's like, they don't, they're not even any vehicle at all. But if I'm coming the first time, like, I'm cleaning a carpet. But the vehicle I'm going to put you in is, I want to, I want to make sure you understand that your carpets continue to get dirty. Your kids have snot coming out of their face all the time, right? People are walking. They don't take their shoes off. They think they're out there in the grass, stepping on dog crap. They're at the mall, stepping on other people's dog crap. They're, like, everyone, they come and they step on your carpet. All that stuff's falling into the, the, the thing. Like, it's so disgusting. And so, like, every time you go on the weekend, you come home, you are bringing every single person's feces and crap and their cats and their dogs. And, like, even if you don't have that stuff in your house, you're bringing it in if you're wearing shoes. Do you guys wear shoes? I think everyone wears shoes, right? Okay, then you are bringing that crap into your carpet. So if I clean your carpets once, that's nice. We'll get rid of the crap and you'll feel a little bit better. But in three months now, it's back. Okay? And so I want to make sure, like, this vehicle I'm putting into is continually, is, is health, is continually keeping you clean. So this is this vehicle right here, right? And so I'm telling this story right here. 
comparing getting the vehicle of like a consistent cleaning. So that story I just told you about the mall and the crap and all this stuff, like that's the story I told right here, helping me understand like, wow, I don't just need carpet cleaning. I believe I need carpet cleaning, but I need it like every three months or even more. Like it'd be awesome if someone comes spot check me once a month and just clean all the weird stuff when my kid puked or sneezed or whatever, right? So that's cool. And then you come back and it's like the internal like, okay, so this carpet cleaner, do I need my carpets clean? Do I need them doing this like every single month? I told that story. Now it's like, ah, but it's expensive. I can't afford carpet cleaning. Like it's expensive, right? That's their internal fear. I can't afford it. You can't afford carpet cleaning? All right, well, how, how long, how many times did you go to the hospital last year for your kids? How much did you spend in vitamins and supplements? Um, how many sick days did you have from the office last week? Okay, or last year? You had three sick days. What did you get paid an hour? Do you realize you lost like 400 bucks just from sick days? Because this stuff, is like, if you're sick, it's because of your carpet. Do you guys understand this? It's not because of the pollen, or, you know, the, the thing in the air. Like, everyone's afraid that someone's going to sneeze and it's going to float in the air. Okay, that's disgusting, right? But what's more disgusting is someone sneezed, and then more people, like 500 people sneezed at the mall. It all eventually settles to the ground, and you're stepping on it, and you're not just bringing your crap. Like, you're bringing like 30, 40 people sneezes on your shoes, and then you step on your carpet, and that's seriously, like, that's, like, I don't know how you cannot afford this. Like, you get your sick days back, your kids are in school, they're happy, they're healthy, you're able to have more energy. Like, I don't know about you, but like, what's more energy? Like, if you had more energy, would you feel better? Would you have, like, yes, you would, right? Okay, so talking about all the internals. You guys are all laughing at me back here. Anyway, I'm going to start a carpet cleaning industry company now, all right? So there's the internal. I was like, crap, I have to buy this stuff. Like, if I don't pay this guy, like, my entire family is going to die, probably. Okay, so you tell the story there. Then number three, transition to the external. So for them, what's the external things like? What's, what else could possibly be keeping them from doing this, right? Well, I don't even know. I'd have to think about this for a little bit more. <laughs> um, so the external potentially could be, um, you know, internals that they don't think they can afford it. External could be um, that, that their mom and other people are going to judge them. If you read the, the expert secrets books, all about status, right? It's like, I have carpet cleaning, cleaner come to my house once a, once a quarter. My, my mom's going to think that I'm wasting my money or whatever, right? It's going to come back like, dude, it's not going to waste your mom's, like your mom's not going to judge you. In fact, she's going to be like jealous that you're not doing it. So this is the cool thing. We actually have a referral program. You sign up three of your friends, this becomes free for you. Do you realize that? So not only like can you help them not die, like we can actually, <laughs> I don't know. Um, <clears throat> you help get three of these people, your carpets become free. Who do, do you want your carpets done for free? Three people. Who are three people you actually love and you care about? Okay, your mom, your sister, your brother, your dentist, your pastor, like whatever. Cool. Let's call them on the phone. I'm going to help clean their carpets too. Save their lives. You will like literally save them from certain death and then whatever, right? And now it's like, oh cool, they're not going to judge me. They're going to be grateful for this. Now it's like, boom, 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 domino falls. Jeez, they have to give you money. Okay? So, and then you come back and after the dominoes fall, then you have to make an offer. Okay? This is where we all get scared. And I, it's so funny. And I'll talk about this as I kind of break down my thing. Um, we'll get somebody to believe something, and then we have to ask them for money. And this is where people are like, Duh, they all freak out, right? How many of you guys feel that sometimes? Like, I don't want to ask for money. Um, it's interesting, like, uh, I, I went to an MLM home party. My wife gets invited to them all the time, and I love going to them because it's just fun. Um, so I show up, I ask Colette, I'm like, can I go with you? She's like, don't you want to watch the kids? I'm like, no, I really want to watch this. Like, this is like... For me, like the best thing in the world. So I go to this meeting. There's like you know, 12 women in a room and me in the back like with my notepad taking notes as they're going through it. And uh, the ladies up front doing the pitch and it's an oil company. So they're trying all these essential oils and they're smelling it and they're drinking it and they're rubbing it behind their ears and their fingers and their feet and all, this, all the stuff that essential oil people do, right? And uh, it's really, really cool and it's fun. And like the lady up front is just like on fire. She was super, super good. And as it gets down to the end of the hour, I see her as she starts to transition to the pitch. And it starts with her talking faster and faster and start, then her face turns red and then sweat starts beating up on her face and then she went and she asked for money very very proud of her and then the second she did she backpedaled and apologized and then told everyone like 15 reasons why they don't have to buy but if they want to they can and then she ended and then she ran home I was just like oh like we all get scared to make the offer and you have to understand first off if you've done this your job right you told these stories in a way that you followed this process the script all kind of stuff by the time this thing is done they are begging you to help them. They are in so much pain. They've realized, like this process, um, it, it takes the problem and it agitates it, right? And it amplifies it. Like if you do it right, like this whole thing is, is you're taking what their problems are and you're, you're finding it, you're agitating, you're amplifying it. So by the time this is done, they're just like, holy crap, I do need that. 
How many of you guys at the end of, end of the session yesterday were like, oh, like, I need that. I need to be part of that. Okay, because I'm taking the problem that you have, I'm agitating it, and I'm amplifying it through, through the stories. So the end of it, like, they're in pain. And if you leave that point, like, we'll see you guys, and you walk away, oh my gosh, like, you just did the worst thing possible for them. Like, you have to make them an offer. How do you do that? And that's what we, that's what the stack is. You guys saw me do a stack right here yesterday. We kind of go through, but here's the offer. You're going to get this and this and this and this, and you kind of go through the offer, right? Um, and that's how you get people out of pain, and that's how you serve them at the highest level. And so that's the part where don't be scared. And I'll show you guys how I do my transition, um, but it's really simple. Do you notice, like, every time I, I shift from, like, this portion of my presentation to the selling portion, I always ask for permission. It's a key. Like, when you understand this, it's, it's huge. Like, because a lot of us are like, I don't want people to think the whole thing is a sales pitch. And it's not. It's about breaking belief patterns, first off, so they understand what the, the result that they're going to get that is possible. And then you transition. So I always say, hey, you guys okay if I put together a really special offer to help you to get this? Are you okay if I spend five minutes kind of going through it real quick? And everybody says yes so far. <laughs> no one's ever told me no. They're like, oh, yeah, sure, definitely go for it, man. If I'm in a seminar room and I got like 3,000 people in the room, I do the whole thing and then I'm like, hey, this is pretty cool, right? Well, um, are you okay if I spend maybe five minutes going through a special offer I created for you guys to help make this process even easier? And everyone says yes. If they don't say yes, then I stop and I'm like, if you don't want it, like, I already know how to do this stuff. I can just go. And they're like, no, 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 please do. Like, it's just so simple. And then you transition and then they're waiting for the offer and it's not awkward. That lady in the, in the home party meeting, when she got done with everyone rubbing oils everywhere, all she had to do is like, you guys like this stuff? Um, if you want, are you okay if I spend five minutes going through a special offer with you that's going to help you so you can use this stuff at home? And everyone in the room been like, yeah, that'd be awesome. And then she wouldn't have felt awkward. And it's like, cool. They all just told me that they have my permission to make them an offer. Okay, that's how I always transition every one of my presentations. You'll notice it over and over and over again. So that's kind of the key here. All right, so that's how I did it. Was that pretty good for a carpet cleaner? Yeah. All right. Whew. It's weird not having a huge audience here, people yelling and screaming. All right. Um, okay, well, that's... Um, I'll just do that one because that took about 30 minutes, but hopefully that, that helps you guys to kind of see, like, this, this works for anything. If you're a financial planner, come back to here. Why did you become a financial planner? Because I wanted to make money. No, you didn't. There was a reason. What was that reason? Okay, come back. Remember. Go back in time. Go back in and figure out, like, what was the reason you picked that? Okay, there's something. There's some, something that happened that got you excited to go on this thing. And if there was nothing, if you just picked it completely because you wanted to get rich and stuff like that, um... First off, like, you got to find a better reason why, <laughs> okay? You're going to continue to struggle to get people to change and get a result if the only reason why you're doing it is because of money, okay? I spent the first three or four years of this business trying to make money, and guess what happened? I was, like, stuck. There's something weird about that. Zig Ziglar said, if you spend all your, I'm going to screw up his quote, but if you help everybody else in the world get what they want, you'll get everything that you want. When I transitioned away from, like, um, from like trying to make money to like, how can I actually get people that result? Because I wanted that, I got it. How do I get them that result? And you shift to that, then everything will, will, will shift. And so like, if you're struggling with this because you're like, I, there's nothing that happened that got me excited. I woke up one day and now I'm a carpet cleaner. Like, time to get excited about this thing. Okay, there's really cool, like carpet cleaning. How boring is that? Like, did I light it up for you guys? Like, I'm excited about carpet cleaning now. Like, it's there. You just got to look for it. Um, a lot of times people come to me and they're like, I'm trying to create an offer and I can't figure out the right... Like, it's just, it's just boring. And half is just figuring out the right hook. Like, what's the hook? Like, why, why is carpet cleaning exciting? Like, there, there's a reason why it is. If you can't find any reason, then find a new business. But I promise you, it's there. And so, if you ask my inner circle members when they first come in, we're first trying to initially find their hooks and stuff. It's like me asking a lot of questions like, well, why did you do that? Why? What's your story? What's your reasoning? Where were you excited? I had someone recently who came in um, after the Fun Hacking Live. And um, they're um, a weight loss couple. Super, super cool people. And... Um, but they, they were never overweight. They're skinny, like they're you know, healthy people. And I was like, why'd you get weight loss? And they're like, oh, and like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what's your, like, did you guys lose weight? And they're like, no, no, no. I'm like, what? And I, it took me forever, and I kept asking, I think they were probably annoyed, because I'm like, well, why did you do that? Why, why? And I kept asking why, why? And they kept like, telling me all these like, things that weren't exciting. And finally, they said something like, well, this one day I read this book by this doctor, and on page 36, he said this. And I was like, oh my gosh, we got the hook. Like, thank you, that is it. Like, as soon as you figure that out, then you can, you can build something around that, but you've got to find out what that hook is. Um, John Carlton, one of the greatest, excuse me, one of the greatest living copywriters, uh, I was listening to him back, man, 10, 10, 11 years ago, and he was talking about how he had this, uh, uh, there was a golfing product that, that um, he was hired to write the, the sales letter for, and he was trying, and it wasn't working, and, and like, just, 
it, it wasn't converting, he couldn't make it to, to work very good. He kept asking, I, like, why did you create this product? Like, what's the reason? What's the purpose? And the guy like, couldn't remember or something. And he kept like, you know, like, well, because it helps people, you know, shave off strokes off their golf swing or whatever those things are. And he kept like going back and forth. And finally, um, the guy was like, well, you know, the first time I ever tried this technique, I was actually at a golf course and there was this golfer and he had one leg. And because he had one leg, like the way he had a hobble was kind of weird and he had like hit it some weird way. But because of that, like, like the, the angle, whatever happened, and it, it changed everything. And so I started trying to do that, and I realized that by shifting my hips a certain way, it, it, it shifted, you know, whatever, I don't golf. So it did something way better, and it was awesome. And the guy, and so Carlton was like, that's the hook. The one-legged golfer is like the key. And so like the ad was like the one-legged golfer, the, whatever. And from that, built up a, blew up a huge business. So it's like finding those hooks, like looking at your business from different set of eyes, like what gets this thing exciting? Is it your story? Is it the reason? Is it what does it do? Like what? Like just keep asking and digging until you find that, and then you can make it light up and, and make it become real and exciting when you look at it through through this lens here. Okay. I hope that helps. Again, any business we can do this. If you sat in this room, which most of you should, if you're coming to the fat event, we'll sit in this room and we'll figure that thing out. Like what is that thing? What is it for you? And kind of go through and try to figure it out. All right. <clears throat> um, okay. What I'm gonna do it now then is I want to kind of break down. So when we did this, um, we purposely, I didn't want to spend a ton of time creating this whole presentation yesterday because um, I wanted to do it on the fly because that's how a lot of, sometimes you guys can do it. So in the Expert Secrets book, uh, yesterday's presentation about the big domino, this is like probably a third of the book going through um, the big domino. <clears throat> in fact, if you break down the book, the first section is all about like building the mass movement, right? So attractive character, the cause. Um, all, all those kind of things there. Then the second section is all about this, like the big domino. And then from there, we transition into actually creating the presentation. So there's probably, I don't know, 30% of the pages in here are like going slide by slide by slide, creating the presentation. And so in, in a perfect world, <clears throat> what I recommend doing is that is actually creating a PowerPoint slide presentation. When you come to the FAT event here in Boise, for three days, it's what we do. Like everyone's here with computers, with their slides open, and we go slide by slide by slide by slide. So at the end of it, your entire slide deck is done for the perfect webinar. And you can literally plug any product in. And what's cool about it is like, if you're going through and you're like, slide number 22, like I'm a dentist, how does this work for me? We're like, oh, we'll try this. And then and we go through and everyone gets all the slides done. That's one of the things we do here. But I would recommend everyone doing it initially through PowerPoint slides. Because the first times you do it, like you've got to under, like you have to understand the flow and the process and get good at telling your stories. Um, uh, yesterday I talked about giving yourself a raise every day. Like one of the things that we talk about here, I talk about the inner circle, is like when somebody <clears throat> comes in and uh, and they start this thing, like I, I always tell them like you need to do a webinar a week, every single week until you made a million dollars. And they're like, anyway, it's so funny. So what happens is like they'll go through, they build a webinar, they'll launch it. <laughs> they do the first webinar and they always message me, Russell, it bombed, it didn't work. I'm like, I know, it never works the first time. But what did you learn? What did, export all the questions, make some changes, change the PowerPoint slides, get it tweaked out, and then do it again, and then do it again, and do it again, and do it every single week until you've made a million dollars. And what happens typically is they'll do it four or five weeks and all of a sudden it'll work. They'll be making much money and they'll do that for two or three weeks. And the first thing they always do is come back to me, like, cool, Russell, I got it done, I'm going to put on an auto webinar, and then I want to make my next funnel. And I'm always like, no. You're not allowed to do your next funnel until you made at least a million dollars. I want you in the two comma club before you build funnel number two. Okay? This is, remember we talked about yesterday, like the what and the how? Like you have to figure out what it is you're selling and how you're selling it. And the best way to do that is to force yourself to stand up on a stage every single week for it until you until you made a million dollars doing it over and over and over again. Your pitch will become better and better. It'll get it'll get your stories will become better, the flow will become better. And so for everyone, I say like the first goal is like building out the entire slide deck and having that and then doing it every single week. Um, picking it, it could, be, for you, it could be Wednesday night, Thursday night, whatever, but you do it live every single week until you made at least a million bucks. And a million bucks, then you can go and you can automate it. I will give you permission at that point, but tell us made a million bucks, don't automate it. Okay? I didn't automate any of the funnel hacks one for ClickFunnels, so I made $10 million. Okay? So I was 10xing what I'm t requiring you guys to do. So I practice what I preach. I'm not just saying this kind of thing. This is what you have to do, right? So you do it consistently over and over and over again, which will get you into the two comma club. Like that's it. If you spend a year doing that, you'll figure out the what and the how. You'll master the presentation. You'll figure out exactly what they want, how they want it, and um, you'll build a big audience from that process. You'll be in two comma club, and then you can kind of transition. Okay? One of my favorite uh, case studies, um, and we've got, uh, I talk about them in this book quite a bit because uh, there's a lot of people out here there who listen to stuff I say. And there's a few people who are really good at just executing on everything. And uh, I think some of the best are Brandon and Caitlin Poland. So they're in the, the fitness space. 
And uh, it's interesting because they, they didn't join the inner circle uh, right away. They tried, they, they were in a network marketing company and, and then they got out of it. And they messaged me trying to join the inner circle and they couldn't afford it. And they're like, uh, they sent a little video. I'm hoping I'm, I'm try, asking them to try to find that video. They texted me a video I, I can't find it anywhere. But it's like, they were basically saying like, look, this is the deal. Uh, we want to join, but we can't, but we're going to become your biggest success stories. And they're all excited, right? And so that was, the, that was two years ago. A year later, they were at Fun Hacking Live. And, uh, and they came up and they said, hey, Russell, guess what? Uh, right now we're doing 80 grand a month. I'm like, you're doing 80 grand a month? And they're like, you remember us? And I was like, anyway, it took me a minute. And I was like, wait, you're the ones that texted me a year ago, right? And they're like, yeah, that's us. And I'm like, well, how did you do it? And they said, we listened to your podcast and you told us, do a webinar every single week until they made a million bucks. So we've done a webinar every single week. I'm like, every week? She's like, every week we've done one. I think it was like 38 or 48 weeks of the time. Every single week they'd done it. I was like, holy cow, like, nobody does that. I tell people that. Two years in a row in the New Year's, this is two years in a row, I tell everyone, this is the model for the next 12 months. Create a presentation and do it every single week for the next 12 months. And if you do that, you'll figure out the what and the how, what people want and how to sell it. You will master your presentation skills, you'll understand your stories, you'll understand your market, you keep tweaking and tweaking and get better and better and better and then this asset will take you to wherever you want to go. But the other thing, not just the presentation asset, but your skill set will become really, really good. Okay? And so what's interesting is after, um, <clears throat> after I, you know, and I've done my presentation so many times, right? Like, I could start the Funlogs presentation right now with my eyes closed and give you word for word without any single slides. That's how many times I've done it. Okay? And, uh, and no, I did not automate it till way later, right? <clears throat> um, all right, so the reason I'm telling you that is, is the first thing for you is to, like, master it through slides because it's, it's the key to understanding and doing it consistently until it's perfect. After you've done that, then there's a chapter in here. So, so uh, secret number 17, if you haven't read it, this is the perfect webinar model. This is where I talk about that, going through, and here's the model. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you're promoting. Thursday, you do live webinar. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, replays. Urgency, scarcity, close it down. Next week, you start the show over again. And that's the model right here. So page 217, if you have the book, there you go. That is the model. Then from there, after we got that figured out, then uh, there's a chapter in here called, let's see. Secret 19, page 238, is called The Perfect Webinar Hack. So what The Perfect Webinar Hack is, is what I did yesterday, okay? Um, where I didn't go and build all the slides, all the presentations. Um, the story behind this, the very first time I did it, um, one of my friends was running uh, an affiliate contest for his webinar platform. And, uh, and I told him I was going to promote it, but then things happened and I ran out of time. And I remember the grand prize was a uh, $50,000 BMW. And it, there was like three or four days left in the contest. All these affiliates have been promoting for like two or three weeks. Everyone's killing it. And he's like, hey, you're going to be able to promote or not? And I was like, ah. I'm like, I don't have time. I was going to try to write a webinar or something to try to sell it. And like, I just, I didn't have time. And then, um, and then he's like, dude, like, don't you want a new car? I'm like, no, I really don't. Like, I don't really care about cars. And then I was like, well, how much is the car worth? He's like, well, it's the car or $50,000. And I was like, well, I don't really want the car or $50,000. But what I do want I really want a cryosana. I've been begging my wife for one. She told me, no, it's a ridiculous thing to actually purchase. But I was like, but if I want it, she would have to let me have it. And uh, so if you guys know what a cryosana is, um, if you go to Funnel Hacker TV, you can watch funnelhacker.tv, go watch the behind the scenes episode number three, you see me in it. But it's this big, huge freeze tank. You open it up and you get inside, you push a button, it drops the temperature down to negative 220 degrees. And it's really, really cool and nerdy and awesome. So I wanted one, right? So I was like, well, Mike, how about this? If, you, if I win, you have to give me the cryosana because my wife will have to let me have it if, if, uh, if I win it, right? She, he's like, you are so weird. I'm like, sweet, I'm in. So I was like, okay, I've got, and I literally, like, as soon as I got off the phone with him, I was like, okay, I don't have time to do a webinar. I don't have, like, to, be, to catch up and to beat everyone, I've got like a little tiny window. And so I stood in front of a whiteboard and I said, okay, if I want someone to believe, what's, what's, what's the one thing they have to believe? And I sat down and thought through that. And then I wrote it on a whiteboard. And on page 242, you can see actually a screenshot from this presentation. So I wrote right here, and this is like, this is a bad, I spent literally 10 to 15 minutes writing this whole thing and then we went live. So I was like, how to make at least eight figures the next year with this webinar model. Wrote that on the whiteboard and I was like, okay, cool. So what is their false beliefs about the vehicle? I'm like, their false beliefs is that, whatever. So then I wrote, okay, secret number one is this. And I wrote secret number one. Uh, what's their false internal beliefs? Secret number two. And so I wrote those three things down and I said, okay, I need to make it an offer. So I wrote down the offer slide and I wrote down, here's what they're going to get if they buy through my affiliate link. I said, okay, uh, here we go, guys. And I'm like, okay, go grab, uh, we had a, a phone for Periscope and a phone for uh, Facebook Live. We clicked go on it. I was like, hey, everyone, welcome to today's Facebook Live and Periscope thingy. All right, today we're going to talk about, here's the headline. All right, and I talked about that. I told my origin story. 
I said, okay, next thing right here. Told my second story. Here, story number three. Three, boom. Story number four. Asked permission. Did my stack. Boom. Uh, in the next three days before the contest ended, we sold $250,000 worth of Mike's program. I won the cryosauna, and now I've got a cryosauna at my house, which is so awesome, right? Now, what's even cooler is while I'm doing that, so I am literally doing this thing live, um, and most people will be looking at that being like, wow, Russell, that's really, really cool. But not Brandon and Kaylin. While I was doing this, she's like, oh my gosh, I get it. I'm going to do the same thing right now. And so this is right here happened the same day. It looked like they'd been preparing this for years. They're like sitting there writing their thing while they're watching mine. They're writing stuff on the whiteboard, putting things down. She had little pieces of paper she wrote her secrets on. And as soon as I got done with mine, they, they opened up their phone, clicked go on theirs, and they did the perfect webinar hack as well for their program and crushed it. They're over, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about the numbers. Did I mention in here? Maybe I can do it if I talked about it in here. Anyway, they did it the first time. And uh, what's cool about this, this webinar hack, a couple things. Well, first off, she did the webinar, same thing, I did the webinar, and when it's done, it doesn't just end. Now in Facebook, it becomes a post that you can promote. So John on my team does my Facebook ad. As soon as it was done, he's like, okay, cool, let's promote this thing to everyone who's been interested in webinars, all these different audiences, and start growing it. And that's why we got sales for the next three days. So Kaylin and Brandon, the same thing. They did the webinar, they pitched it, and then that video became the, an asset, and they started driving traffic to that thing, and it started growing. And, uh, and from that, they were able to get, I think they did a couple hundred grand off that one. And then it started, it started dying. So then they went back and they redid it uh, a couple months later. She did the, fate, the web, perfect webinar hack again live. From that one, they ended up getting like three or four million people to watch it. Um, from that, they ended up doing, uh, this is last November, I think it was like $650,000 in sales, something crazy like that in November. And then, uh, and then after a while, like, it started getting fatigued, it started not working as good. And then right before Funnel Hacking Live, they did another one, and that one did a million dollars in a month. Okay? Um, and the million dollars is cool, but what's even cooler is like, that brings in 500 new women a day into their programs that they can help and they can serve and they can do things like that. Okay? And so the perfect webinar hack is cool, but it's hard to do this first off because at first you don't know your stories, you don't understand anything, but um, after you've mastered your presentation, like, this is one of the most amazing things in the world. Because think about like a regular webinar, like the, da the positives of webinars, it gives you a chance to practice in front of slides and do it over and over again and, and perfect your presentation, your pitch, your clothes, all those kind of things without you being live on camera. That's why I say do it every single month or every, me, every single week until you made a million bucks. At the time you've done that every single week for a million bucks, you'll know your stories, you'll feel comfortable, you're on, like, all those kind of things. Because doing it live on front of camera is, is nerve wracking. It's way harder, right? Like, it was nerve, like yesterday I was nervous and I'm like, hey, I'm live. And I'm trying to remember my stories. I hadn't told these stories in that order before. And it was just kind of a, a funny thing. Um, but that's what the perfect webinar hack is. So yesterday, um, uh, excuse me, the night, the night before, so after day one, we sat down and said, okay, let's, let's, Again, I didn't want to prepare this fast. I wanted to show you guys how the Perfect Webinar Hack works. And so we sat down a couple of them in the office. I was like, hey, if people are going to join our Two Comic Club coaching program, what is the big domino? What do we have to get everybody to believe? Okay? And I said, well, like, like what's, what are their fears? And like, what keeps people right now from taking those steps forward? What, like, what's holding them back? And we kept talking about it. And finally, like, you know, if we can get people to believe that this group of people is the key, right? If they can hang out with a whole bunch of people that made a million bucks through a funnel, if we get them to believe that, that, they can, that they're in that group, then they're, then they're going to join, like if they can see that. Okay? So I'm like, well, how do, we, how do we articulate that in something that's exciting? And so uh, there's a lot of ways to do different headlines. My favorite, the most simple, my favorite one um, that we talk about in the Expert Secrets book is how to blank whatever they desire the most without blank, whatever they're, they have the most fear about. So I just did a simple headline. So how to, and then what do people desire most? Get into the two comma club in the next 12 months, right? Like, how many guys... If you give me the two comic club next 12 months, it would freak you out. You could tell your mom, your sister, your old school teachers, your principal, um, your babysitter, like everyone throughout your life who told you you were a failure. If you could tell them, hey, uh, I made a choice to get in the two comic club, and within a month I was a millionaire. How's that feel? Ask Dan Henry when he decided he started and five months later made a million bucks. How does that feel? How would that feel to go back to your friends and your family members and people who doubted you and didn't believe you, uh, your old bosses, your job, like to be able to come back and be like, hey, guess what? I'm a millionaire. How does that feel? I remember when I was learning this whole stuff, I was working at a painting company. And I was so excited. I, was, I would be painting next to these guys. And I'd be telling them, like, dude, I learned about email and this. And I'd tell them all these stories. Because I was so excited. And as I'm telling everybody, every time I come into work, and they're like, hey, Russell, you a millionaire yet? I'm like, screw you, dude. I was so mad and like, oh, so frustrated. And then now what do I tell them? Yeah, we did a million dollars yesterday. 
Screw you, right? How good does that feel? So that's what they desire most. So how to finally get into a comma club in the next 12 months? Like, oh, how would that feel for you? Okay, but what's the fear? Okay, well, you've been trying. This is not your first time, right? You've tried. You've fallen this gap over and over and over. Like, there's things that have kept you from doing that over and over and over again, right? Like, what was it for you? Was it you ran out of time? You ran out of money? You got a lot of focus? You tried this? You tried this shiny object? And like, for you, there was some reason why you fell in this gap over and over and over again, right? Like, that's your fear. It's like, I can try again. What if I fail again? Oh, I don't want to fail again. Okay? So that's the without. Like, without the fear of falling into the gap again. Here's what you desire most without what you fear most. That's the title of my presentation. And if I can get you to believe that, then you're going to come here, right? So then I'm like, well, what's my origin story? What got me to believe this? Okay, if you guys watched yesterday, what was my origin story? Boom, to Comic Club. John Reese. Like, that's what got me to believe I could do this. And as soon as I believed that, I was there. Boom, that fast. Is that interesting? So I told my origin story about John Reese and to Comic Club and how I did that, and then I became a millionaire. That fast. As soon as I shifted my focus and my belief and got in the right group of people, I was a millionaire. It wasn't that hard. Okay, so I tell the origin story. And some of you guys, that was it. You're like, sweet, I'm joining to Comic Club Coaching, Russell, where do I go? And you're like, free, like in the comments, like, where do I sign up? Right? Because some of you guys, the initial epiphany bridge was all you needed, and you were in. Okay? The smartest ones. All right. Okay. Then, I was like, okay, so after I do this, I tell the origin story. Some, you know, the first group of fast movers like, I'm in, let's go. They're signing up, and they're ready to rock and roll. But then, what happens to most of us? We hear that, and all of a sudden, the fear starts coming in. Like, ah. Oh. Okay. Like, you get all excited during my initial story. Like, I could do that. You visualize, like, like you visualize yourself. Man, I could, God, John Reese made a million bucks a day. Russell's make, his goal is 1000 bucks a month at a time. And then he went to the point where he made a million bucks in a year, and then a month, and then a week, and then a day. God, like, could I do that? God, you get all excited for a second, right? But as soon as you do that, then all of a sudden the other voice starts coming in. Ah, oh, well, uh, you can't do that. You've tried it before in the past. You're not that smart. Russell's way smarter than you. <laughs> Seriously, guys. <laughs> if that voice is telling you that, you're wrong. All these voices start coming in, right? All these fears. So then I'm like, okay, we talk about the vehicle. So... First off, they have to understand the vehicle. The way they're going to do that is by doing a webinar a day, or excuse me, a webinar a week. Giving yourself a raise every single day by focusing on driving traffic and doing a webinar, right? And so this one, when I taught this one, just so you guys know, like, it felt clunky for me. So if and when I redo this web as a webinar, I will transition this because I didn't like how I did this. But you didn't know that until you do it live, right? That's why it's important to do it every single week. If I would have automated this once, it would have been... I would have been stuck with this thing that was a halfway sales presentation. So I didn't love the way I did this, but conceptually I like that. If I can help people understand the model of how they're getting to Comma Club, that's the vehicle. Okay? Next time I do this, this presentation, I will simplify what I taught here, and I will just talk about here's the model. A webinar a week, every single week. Boom, boom. And I'd tell my story, I'd tell Kaylin's story, I would tell, um, I, I could tell like 10 different people's stories. Like, I would talk about the model. This is the model. This is the model. Ringing the drum. Like, this is it. Boom, boom, boom. So everyone's saying, okay, that's the goal to give myself a raise every day. This is how we do it, right? Now they believe in the vehicle. Sweet. That's awesome. There's the model. I can do that. I, be I believe it. But the next thing is like, well, ugh, I've tried in the past. I did a webinar. It didn't work. Um, I didn't have ad money to run webinars. I, like, all these like, internal things start freaking them out, right? Because uh, they believe it. They believe that two common clubs they want. They believe that this model works. But I don't know if I can make it work. I'm not that good at these kind of things. I get nervous being a camera. I want to talk. Like, uh, all these fears, right? So I'm like, okay, hey, now we understand, like, you're literally just one funnel away. Like, you can do it, you guys. It's not that hard. Let me talk about mine. Like, I struggled, da 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 da. And then my first thing that came out was the first time I had a funnel that blew up it was 12th Millionaire. It was a product I didn't even know I was, like, I didn't even know it was even going to be a thing. It was some dude I just interviewed sitting on my hard drive for like three years. And I was like, I wonder if people want this. And they did. I didn't know that. But if I didn't make a whole bunch of offers, I never would have known that. So for you guys, the same thing. You don't know what it is yet, but you're literally one funnel away. It might be this one. It might be the next one. I don't know which one it is, but if you keep doing this, it's going to happen. And so when you join the Two Comic Club Coaching Program, every single month, week, you're going to be launching this offer. And just keep tweaking and changing and tweaking and changing. And eventually, one of these iterations will hit. And when it hits, it's not a short thing. It's not like, okay, cool. Now in the next five to 12 years, I'll become a millionaire. No. When it hits... It hits hard and hits fast. And I'll tell you stories about um, Justin Terra, how they have worked for them, and this one, and this one. I tell these things, all of a sudden you're like, wow, maybe I'm not good enough now, but if I follow this model every single week, eventually it's going to get better and better and better, and eventually that will hit. And as soon as it hits, boom, it's done. Okay? So now it's like, I've got them to believe the Two Comic Club is the key. I've got them to believe that the model works for them. I've got them to believe they could actually do it. And the external is like, 
like how do I like ah, like like the the other things right like how the external is is um, it, even if I could do it like what what else could keep me back? Okay, a lot of times it's like your peer group, it's your friends, it's your the people who know you. Um, it's funny because I moved, <clears throat> I grew up in Utah and I moved to Boise, and uh, and I love my friends in Utah. Like hopefully they're watching this. Like I I, I like some of my I still like miss those guys so much. But I came up here. It was interesting because I left all of them and I was in a new peer group and no one knew who I was. So because of that, like, I started just doing things I wouldn't have done there because they would have made fun of me. And uh, it was kind of, you know, it's, it's just weird. And so then, um, and as in, this, in this new environment, I was able to grow and flourish and have all sorts of success. And so where I go back now to those guys, and it's, it's hard, like, I miss them, but it's always kind of, it's always kind of weird hanging out with them. I'm like, oh, it's like, it's like you, you're, the people who grow up around you, they know you. They know all your, your mistakes and your, the things that you're dumb at. They know the fact you barely graduated from school. They know all the different issues. And so it's hard. And so a lot of times your peer group is the thing that's holding you back. So the external is the peer group. So if I come back here and say, look, secret number three, the second million is way easier. Okay? And what's cool is you've got this huge peer group. People have already done it. Like imagine if you get rid of your friends who think you're an idiot. You come out here these friends here who think you're awesome because you're part of the club. Like this becomes your, your social group. Now it's like you're bringing people up. Now it's not that hard. Right, and so you're you like, help you replace your peer group with people who believe in you, who know you. Then it becomes easy. Now there's no external influences holding you back. There's not people talking down about you. There's not the people judging you. It's just these people who believe in you. Because I don't know about you, but I know you can get the two comma club. I've seen people way less smart than you who are in the two comma club right now. Okay, it's not about brains. It's not about anything like that. It has to do with just following the process, finding an offer, figuring out what the what and the how, and kind of moving through that. So that's the third one. Boom. So at this point, what I've done, I've told my origin story, my, in, my vehicle, my internal, my external. I've gone through here. And for a big percentage of the people, the dominoes fall. Boom. They're like, I need to be part of this. Like, I'm in. Okay? And as soon as they're in, now what do I do? I ask for permission. All right. Now, for those of you guys who want this, you want to transition from one funnel way to two comma club, this is what I'm going to do. I want you guys to join me or excuse me, um, are you okay if I spend a few minutes and, uh, and just kind of uh, explain to you a special offer we created so you can be in the Tacoma Club with us? Sorry, I've slowed down there. So we asked for permission, and then everyone says yes. Okay, if you saw the comments yesterday, yes, yes, tell us about it. We want to be in the Tacoma Club. Ask for permission, and then there's no awkwardness. I'm like, cool, so here's a special offer we made for you. Okay, and then I come back to what we talked about day number one. And I say, okay. Here is the offer I created for you to get you this result that you all want. Okay, we, we've been here for, for 60 minutes. I know your result you want. You want this. You want to be into a comic club. You want to lose weight. You want to make money. You want whatever your, your thing is, right? You want clean carpets. You want clean teeth. You want to start your own dental practice. Like, here's the result. You talk, we talked about this. You want this. I know how to get you there. Are you cool if I spend a few minutes and go through a special offer I created to help get you to there, to that result you want? You cool with that? Everyone cool with that? All right, cool. So this is what we're going to do. Here's a special offer I created for you. Now all the nervousness and awkwardness goes away because they just told you, please, tell me what you have to sell me. Sweet. This is what I got for you. And then you go through here. Okay? Now, this is the first time I've ever done a double stack, which is two different offers. Um, so for me, it was a little clunky. I don't like that. Typically, I only sell one thing on a webinar. And I recommend for most years only to do that. Um, but because we had just two variations, anyway, it is what it is. But then you do the stack. So the way the stack works is you go through each of the pieces. Now, a couple things. Um, you read the doc, or when you read the Expert Secrets book, it goes deep into how to do it. But a couple things you're going to screw up on. Because you as the educator, you're so excited. You're going to be like, all right, I'm going to create all this stuff. I want to show them everything I'm going to do. So you would go, here is my eight core modules. And then you'd be like, okay, module number one. And you spend 20 minutes talking about how cool it is. Module number two. Mod and you'll spend like a year going through all this crap and trying to explain them why this is so cool. And as soon as you start doing that, you will lose sales. They will fall through your fingers. Because as you go deeper and deeper into all this stuff, people will get stressed out, they think it's a lot of work, their minds start wandering, and then you lost them. Okay? I need some kind of intrigue so they don't really know, but they desire. I need, I need curiosity and desire in the offer. So I'm going to go through the, the Secrets Masterclass 8 core modules, and I try to create some desire and curiosity. And I don't do that by explaining everything that's in it. By explaining everything that's in it, I take the curiosity and the desire out. Okay? So as I explain, so look, this is what happened. Steven Larson over here, he went through the last 12 years of every one of my trainings, and figured out what, like how to put all those things in a chronological order. So you can go from, I am a beginner right here who has done nothing ever. I don't have a product, I don't have a service, I have nothing. And I want to be here in the next 12 months. How do I do that? Okay. 
with this is the first video you need to watch and then here's the worksheet to go with that. Here's the second video, here's the worksheet, here's the third, here's the worksheet and then this Friday jump on a call and I'll answer any of your questions. Cool, week number one done. You just took the first rung of the ladder. All right, all right week number two. Um, all right, what is, what is your, uh, you know, week number two, this is the next thing you gotta do. Watch this video, do this worksheet. Watch this video, do this worksheet. Watch this video, do the worksheet. Jump on Friday, ask your Q&As. Cool, you got it? All right, boom, next rung. All right, week number three. And we go through after eight weeks. After eight weeks, you have all the foundation to come join us here in the Two Comma Club. Okay, that's module number one. Boom. So what I do, I didn't tell you everything inside of it, but I created desire and curiosity. Now you're like, God, I don't know what that is, but I want it so bad. Ah. How many of you guys want it, by the way? It's insane. Like, those who have, like, Inner Circle members have been going through it. Everyone's like, I cannot believe what you guys put in here and like the anyway it was so much work on Steven's side like chronologically fit all these things together so that it actually makes sense anyway it's pretty cool so there's number one number two the spy for profit funnel hacking 201 okay what is that I don't know but it sounds awesome I know what it is but I'm not gonna go deep into okay module number one is this module number two module because again same thing curiosity so funnel hacking 101 is cool helps you understand a funnel, like a, a funnel but funnel hacking 201 we're going deep into everything about the business like we're gonna funnel hack their copy, their traffic sources, their ads, um, their demographics, associate like everything. If you want to go from like, here's a, a high level understanding of funnel hacking to I'm going to become a ninja that can literally destroy anything, any business I want to go into, that's what this will give you. And it is amazing. All right, number three, how many of you get stuck? And so we, anyway, go through the offer like this accountability calls, discussion groups, two comma club, then I make the offer. Okay, that's how the stack works. Um, I won't go super deep into the stack slide because it's in the Expert Secrets book, but I learned this originally from Armin Morin. You look at the way a lot of stage presenters and webinar people do is they'll talk about their offer. Like, okay, I've got the master class. They talk about this, they give it value. And then they talk about the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And then at the end of it, they're like, all right, here's the price. And they give you the price. And the human mind can only hold one thought at a time, right? We think we can like multitask, but it's crap. We can't. Okay, it's like we can only shift from thing to thing to thing to thing. So what happens is you talk about this and this and this and this and this and then you share the price and your mind's like, they look at the price and the only thing they associate to is the very last thing you shared with them. So if I would have pitched you and be like, it's only $2,000, you'd have been like, wait, is that worth $2,000 to me? Like, I don't know if it is. That's a lot of money, right? And so the stack, the way it works is, if you see me do through PowerPoints, it's like I stack it every single time. So I'm like, so that means you're going to get this, 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 and this. And so what happens is then you associate the entire thing with the price. Okay? And then same thing here. I do the same thing here. Um, after I show the, the value of the price, then we have this really cool thing called if-all statements. I learned from David Van Hoos. If-all statement is that if, if I come here to like total value is $12,000, I need you to believe that this actually is worth whatever the big thing is. Big mistake people do is they, they build up the value of something like, oh, but don't worry, I'm not gonna charge you 10 grand, it's only gonna be a thousand, and they freak out and they get all nervous. It's like, no, this is worth ten thousand dollars, this is worth forty thousand dollars. If I make you a freaking millionaire in the next twelve months, would you give me forty thousand dollars? Dude, this is totally worth forty thousand like you're insane if you don't think it is. So I need to get you to understand that this is worth forty thousand dollars or that this is worth twelve thousand dollars. Okay, don't wuss out and be like, oh, it's not really worth that. Like it is. And so you have to spend some time doing it. So the way I share the price and they say, no, look, I'm not gonna charge you forty thousand dollars, but I have a question for you. This is what we do if all statements, at least three. If all that this did was make you a millionaire in the next 12 months, would it be worth $40,000? Yes. If all that this did was help to get your message out to more people so you could change the world and leave your legacy on the world, would it be worth $40,000? Yes. If all that this did was give you the ability to come to Boise, Idaho, and hang out with me for three days, would it be worth $40,000? Some people say yes, some people say no. Anyway, my goal is going to say yes three times. Yes, Russell, it is worth this. Yes, yes, yes. It said yes three times. Now in their mind, they're like, it's actually worth $40,000. So now when I come back and say, look, I'm not going to charge you $40,000. What I'm going to do for you yesterday is we're going to charge you this. It's like, oh, because I know it's worth 40, but 14, like 15 grand? 15 grand to go through 12 years of your life, Russell, in chronological order with a coach who sits next to you every single day, get all my questions answered, rung by rung by rung by rung by rung, so that within the next 12 months, I have the potential to be here, but even if I'm not here in 12 months, I have this peer group of people who are gonna continually be pulling me up to get there, and you're saying that's only $14,997? And I gonna come to Boise and hang out with you here at the ClickFunnels headquarters? All right, I'm in. And then we come back, and after we've given the price, then we do some closes and justifications and we tell stories, okay? And this comes back to just good storytelling. I have a whole bunch of like closes that are in the book because people like those kind of things.
But the reality is, it's, um, the reality is, is it comes back to like good, uh, telling good stories. Okay, a couple, like I didn't use this clothes yesterday, but like one of my clothes I use a lot of times uh, is a story from my, uh, my wrestling coach. So I wrestled my first year at Brigham Young University and uh, at BYU my head coach is named Mark Schultz. And if you see the movie Fox Catcher, Coach Schultz was, uh, uh, it's a movie about him and his brother. Uh, John DuPont murders his brother in real life, and that's kind of the, the movie. And Chatham Tainan, Chain, how do you say that guy's name? Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum, I can never say his name, played my coach, right? So if you've seen the movie, that's my coach. Um, and my coach is like this tall, strongest man on earth. He started wrestling as a junior in high school and seven years later won the Olympics. I think the shortest winner for someone starting and, and winning an Olympic title in any sport in the world, maybe. Maybe it's just wrestling, I don't know. The dude is like an animal. He went to the UFC. Uh, he was helping a guy train for the UFC. The guy broke his hand the night before. So they called the, my coach. like, hey, do you want to fight tomorrow? He's like, I've never fought UFC. They're like, who cares? You're Mark Schultz. He's like, all right. Came in and beat the crap out of the dude. Just destroyed him. Like, he's probably the strongest man on planet Earth. Like, honestly. Like, if you were going to pick somebody to not fight, it would be him. Okay? Uh, of the 7 billion people on this Earth. And so, anyway, so I'm wrestling uh, at BYU. First, first uh, two or three days I'm there. Um, and then that night, I get a knock on my door. Open it up and it's Coach Schultz. He's like, hey. I'm like, hey man. I'm like, Olympic champ is sitting at my doorstep, like totally geeking out. He's like, here you go. And I take this videotape from him and the title on it <laughs> said Total Violence by Mark Schultz. I was like, dude, this is awesome. Thank you. And he's like, give me your wallet. I'm like, what? He's like, go get your wallet. Okay. So I go get my wallet. I come back and I hand it to my coach. He opens it up. It's probably 12 bucks, but it's all the money I had. Takes it out of my wallet, puts it in his pocket, hands back the wallet. And I was like, too scared to like fight him on. But I'm like, hey, so what, what just happened? And he's like, well, I just gave you this DVD and you just paid me for it. Or this VHS and you just paid me for it. I'm like, okay. He's like, I'm going to teach you a lesson right now that will serve you for the rest of your life. He's like, if I just would have given you that, that, that video for free, you are taking it, you put it on the shelf, you did nothing with it. He's like, but now you've invested in it. And because you've invested in it, you will watch that thing every single day. And you will become a better wrestler because of it. And then he left. And guess what I did after he left? I put the video in, I started watching it, and I started watching it over and over and over again. And the same thing is for you. A lot of you guys are like, Russell, this is so awesome. If you believe in it so much, why don't you just let me come for free, and if I make money, then I'll pay you. I could do that, but guess what's not going to happen? You're not going to get the result you need. Just like my coach taught me. So that's why we make you pay, because people who pay, pay attention. Okay? And if $2,000 is a lot of money for you right now, then guess what? You need this more than anybody else. If $15,000 is out of your reach right now, you need this more than anybody else. You have to understand that. I was with Grant Cardone at his event, and uh, after I spoke, he, and we sold a $2,000 uh, course at his thing, he said, I'm going to go on stage afterwards and tell these people, first off, if you can't afford that, you need it more than anyone else. And second off, if you're broke and you can't afford it, he's like, dude, what's another $2,000 in your credit card? You're already broke. You're already paying the month with fee. Just, just, he's like, call your bank, up it, and go buy it. And I was like... It's a good point. If you're already broke, who cares about if you're more broke? Like, there's not, like, you're broke and you're broke. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, this is an investment that will get you from broke to unbroke. So does it really hurt to go $2,000 deeper or $14,000 deeper? Not really. Okay? And uh, it was kind of cool when he came on stage and yelled out at everybody. I should find that video clip. It was really, really cool. And I was like, that's so true. Right? So what I'm doing is I'm telling all these stories to help people to justify this, to help people to emotionally connect and logically be able to convince themselves. So I'm telling my, Mark, my coach Schultz story. I'm telling Grant Cardone's story. I might tell Robert Kiyosaki's story about, um, um, uh, if you've read Rich Dad, I'll slip in the story. So Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, in that book, um, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, he talked about how he said that there's two types of people. There's, there's, there's people that are poor and there's people that are rich. He said that they, there's a different mindset between the rich and the poor. He said somebody who is is poor will look at something like this and be like, oh, crap, I can't afford that. That sucks. That would have been cool, but I can't afford it. He's someone rich will look at that and, and say, huh, how can I afford that? If you look at the, the words, they're almost the same. They're not that different. I can't afford that. How can I afford that? But when you say how, it shifts the question in your mind. You say, huh, how can I afford that? If I was going to do that, what would I need to do? Would I actually need to call my bank and ask for a bump on my, my credit limit? Maybe that's it. How can I afford that? Do I ask my parents? Do I ask my friends? Do I get a side job? Do I sell some crap in my garage on eBay? Like, how could I afford that? I remember the first time I brought into a program was $1,000. Now imagine I was newly married, unemployed. My wife's making nine fifty an hour and it was a $1,000 course. Okay, that was one-twelfth of our annual income. Like, that's sad. That's really sad to think about now. 
But I was looking, I was like, how can I afford that? I, got, I, I have to get this if I want to transition from here to here. I knew that. It's like, how can I afford that? And so I went to Home Depot, I bought a $12 rake and like a $13 um, tarp. And I went and I knocked on a door and I was like, hey man, can I rake your leaves? He's like, all right, how much? I'm like, I don't know, what's it worth to you? He's like, 25 bucks? I'm like, done. Rake, 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 put them on the tarp, throw them in the back of a truck, and then we dumped them. Came back next to the house. Hey man, can I rake your leaves? Sure, how much does it cost? I don't know, what's it worth to you? Uh, I'll give you 100 bucks. Really? Yes, boom, boom, boom. And we did that, did that, did that, earned the money. I didn't earn uh, the $1,000 I needed, but I earned enough to put um, the minimum monthly payment on my credit card for the thing. Boom. Okay, so there, there's like my Robert Kiyosaki story. Same thing, uh, uh, minimum monthly payment. So a lot of people are like, oh, I can't afford $2,000. Eh, I can't afford $14,000. I'm like, dude, that's the cool thing about this, right? Okay, so imagine this. You put this on your credit card. Visa and MasterCard finance the entire thing for you, or American Express, or whatever, right? They put it on, you put it on the credit card, what happens? Nothing. No money came out of your bank account, right? Visa MasterCard gave you the money sitting there. Now what's cool about this is you have 30 days before the first minimum monthly payments due. 30 days, so what does that mean? That means you get started right here, you get done one rung in the ladder, and in 30 days the minimum monthly payments due. So what's the minimum monthly payment on $2,000? 100 bucks? Can you afford 100 bucks right now to get coached by the greatest people in the world for 100 bucks? Can you? If not, you should go get a side job, wait some tables, one night you can make 100 bucks, and take that money and you get coached by me, someone who's made more millionaires than anybody I know online, for 100 bucks, okay? Now, after you pay that 100 bucks, your minimum monthly payment, what happens next? You have 30 more days to get the next rung of the ladder, and in 30 more days, you think you'll make at least $100 with your new online business. Maybe, but what if you didn't? If you didn't, can you afford $100 to continue to get coached by the greatest coaches living right now? I don't know. If not, can you get a job? Can you, the weekend, go like walk someone's dog for 100 bucks and go rake some leaves? Cool, you paid that, then what happened? You paid 100 bucks, now you have 30 more days to keep going through this training, okay? You're not paying $2,000 today, you're paying 100 bucks a month until you're successful. And somewhere along this route, you're gonna hit it, and at that point, then you just pay it all off and you're free and clear, okay? So you see, I'm, just, I'm telling stories. After I justify the price, I'm just telling stories over and over again so people understand, like, this isn't that much money. Okay, some people are like, oh, that's a lot of money, but when you look at it that way, it's not that big of a deal, right? So for you, it's like figuring out those stories. That's why I loved going to all these seminars and listening to people do their presentations, and I'm like, oh, that was cool. The way he told that story, I, I could use that. And I'm always looking for things like that over and over and over again. Okay, and the same thing is true for you. So that is kind of the, the process. There's a little behind the scenes of how we did the perfect webinar hack. Was that cool for you guys to kind of see? Hopefully. I can't see everyone's. If you saw it was cool, give me some hearts or some stars or some stuff. Yeah, go crazy. Um, cool. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a 10 minute break. Um, and at the same time, I want you guys to know that the Two Comic Club coaching program is open right now. It's going to be open until Sunday at midnight, uh, which means right now for you guys, if you're still thinking about like, um, do I want to be a millionaire in the next 12 months? Uh, if that's like honestly something you're still thinking about and you haven't just jumped right in, um, go to twocomicclubcoaching.com, go get signed up. Um, like I said, we have a fat event starting on Monday. Uh, here, which means uh, that group we're going to be taking through the experience that a lot of you guys are going to be experiencing with us. Um, and so we're closing it down so we can focus on that group. And then right after that, we're going to start and spend the next eight weeks going through with everybody, getting everyone prepared. And then those who come in at this level, at the end of it, you'll come to the, to the three-day event here as well. It's the next FAT event. So it's kind of cool. It gives you a chance to jump in right now. Uh, a couple other really cool things is that the training's already in there. We took the Inner Circle members through that. So you don't have to go wait until uh, uh, next week to get started. Like when you get signed up right now at 2 comicclubcoachingcom you'll jump in and you can start diving into these right away. And if you don't have a product yet, like that's the, be like that's the best time. Good, because module number one is going to help you figure out what market are you going to be in, why, what are you trying to sell, like all the stuff. If you look at the, the curriculum, like these are the two textbooks for the Secrets Masterclass. Okay, I think there's 35 secrets between these books and we put them in chronological order. People always ask me, like, what books are you first, this one or this one? And like, honestly, it's... <laughs> I wish if I could write this again, I'd be like, okay, chapter number one is this, then read chapter two and three, then go back to chapter five, and then, and so that's kind of what we did inside of the Secrets Masterclass, is it tells you, read this chapter of this book, watch these six videos, and fill out this worksheet. Okay, now you're going to read chapter this here and this here, and then go back to this chapter, and then watch these four videos where Russell presented this to the inner circle, and then watch this right here. And then it kind of goes back and forth through that. So by the time it's done, you'll have your, you'll figure out your market, you'll figure out your offer, you'll figure out how to do all of, um, uh, all of this stuff. You've got to find your voice, get the result, how to get the things. You're gonna, we're going we're gonna to figure out... Oh, sorry. Ah. 
how to create your irresistible offer, how to create the things, how to do the stack slide, how, like all the stuff you'll be going through. And those who come in at the $15,000 level, by the time you're done with the eight weeks, then you're going to come here. And what's cool is we'll be hanging out and we'll be going slide by slide by slide by slide by slide by slide by slide. So by the end of the three days, you have your presentation done, finished, perfect, and ready to go for your weekly webinars. So that's kind of what's happening. Um, I hope you guys take advantage of this. This is, um, again, I mentioned this yesterday, like this is something that's not for me. It was like, oh, Russell's gonna make more money. Like, seriously, my, the quality of my life will not change even a little bit when you get started in here. This is not about me at all, this is about you. If you know you wanna go from here to here, there's a lot of ways you can do it. You can keep going what you're doing and eventually you might hit it, which is awesome. But I promise you, when you get around this group of people, you're gonna hit a lot faster. And that's uh, kind of the goal of Tacoma Club Coaching. So uh, with that said, we're going to take a 10-minute break. Bathrooms and drinks. When I come back, I'm going to show you guys the virtual book tour that we did that uh, basically got us over 3 million views uh, during the, in 30 days uh, of our book tour. And it's a really cool way to help. If you, you, like right, we did it with our book launch, but it's the same, you can do the same thing with webinar launches. Everything to launch these funnels It's one of the coolest new strategies. Um, the other thing, I've had like probably 500 people message me asking me um, how they can get uh, the recordings to this product, to the Expert Secrets Masterclass, because some of you guys missed day one or you missed day two or you're seeing different pieces of it. And so basically what's going to happen is we're pointing these all down because this is an actual product. We're going to be selling for $997. But those who get started uh, in the two comic of coaching, uh, we're going to edit these, clean them up, and we'll have them in the members area. The entire Expert Secrets Masterclass product will be in there. Um, so you, can, you guys can go through that as well. Um, that's the only way to get access to it right now. So that's the game plan. We'll see you guys back here in about 10 minutes. Click funnels, click funnels, click funnels, click funnels, click funnels, click funnels. Like, again, so cliche, but it's, it's a f***ing game changer. Funnel Hacking Live is the one event that you need to be at. Having the skill set of knowing how to like build funnels is the single most valued skill set. I think there's a difference between watching it done and actually doing it yourself. I, I would say that that's the main difference. Funnel Hackathon is super 100% hands-on. It's literally, here's what we need to do, now we're all gonna do it together. Like, there's none of that when I fly home tomorrow, because it's done. This event is most suited for people who want to accelerate their story to the market. You're really developing something. You're leaving with something very tangible. This will give you the right mentality to be able to succeed, no matter what industry you you know, when you have Russell around you all the time, all of a sudden, like, things don't seem unrealistic. It's just like, I can do this. You enter his world where he is, and you can just see him in action. And the great thing that action is within your business. It's nonstop. I mean, we were at it from 9 a.m. to midnight, just learning, implementing, sharing. It's so cool that I'm going to leave with a product that's going to make me a lot of money. And here it's like a totally safe, vulnerable space where you can just be like, I suck at this stuff, what am I supposed to do here? And then you have guys who have done exactly what you want to do or have done 10 times anything you've ever thought of right there next to you saying, hey, have you thought of this? You think that would work for you? And you're like, oh my God, that's amazing. Like, I should start doing that. I learned more in that compressed period of time than I had in almost the two years of being inside of ClickFunnels. I would pay any amount of money if I could come back and do that every month or two. So if you're looking for an opportunity to work with amazing people and work under the guidance of somebody who really knows what they're doing and be able to get things done, it's just, it's unbeatable. If you hate money, then this event is not for you because it's just gonna get you more money and you're gonna make an impact in the world doing what you love most. I've been working with dentists for about 10 years and I've helped set up practices for doctors all over the place and some really cool success stories. After 10 years and seven days, I wrote this book and it became a bestseller and uh, it was very specific just for dentists in the dental niche to give them a step-by-step -step proven path to go find a location for their practice. But I still didn't have that kind of platform to, to grow it exponentially beyond myself and beyond my own, my own unproven efforts, kind of dabbling with systems and dabbling with marketing. I got an invitation to a webinar with this guy named Russell. There was a picture of him like this or something on, on a picture. And it said, I made $17,000 a day on a photo. So I, I, I clicked and I listened and I thought, this guy's crazy, but that sounds really interesting and it doesn't really apply to me, but it sounds like this guy from this webinar has some ideas 
that I could apply to my business. When I was making the decision to sign up for the Ignite program, I actually didn't even know what I was signing up for. Uh, there, there was this sort of understanding that there was, there was this future result that I believed they could get me to, and I had no idea how to get there. And I remember asking Randy on the phone, how, how are we gonna get there? And he said, well, we've got all these other team members, we got these people, this one guy buys Facebook ads, this other guy does strategy, this other guy helps build pages. And I was like, ah, those all sound really good. I guess, I guess this is for me then. I have people who I can call now on the Ignite team who take care of Facebook ads and help me understand what to do. People who help me build pages really well um, in connecting with Russell directly, asking him about specific copywriting questions or specific ways to deliver presentations that I'm putting together. But they're able to see what's working and I'm able to kind of jump on that train with them and apply it to my industry so that my business can make more revenue, so I can provide really well for my family, so I can save for my future, and now so we can make a bigger impact across the world with uh, things like bringing our clients into third world countries to serve them really well. The Ignite program for me isn't just advice. We've got new contracts just since that seven month point. Those new contracts are over a million dollars in new contracted revenue, which you know, I don't say that to brag, but it, you know, it's, it's my way of kind of thinking, holy crap, this is really working. Like not only are we delivering amazing results and getting fantastic testimonials from people and high fives from our clients and big bear hugs and they're putting us on their Facebook pages as thank yous for what we're doing. You know, those kinds of things are, are awesome. And we have this metric called revenue that shows that people are responding to what we're doing and they're liking what we're doing. And I, I'm 100% sure that this new trajectory of revenue for us would not have been possible if I didn't pursue the path with the Ignite program. It's been, it's been really good. I was almost at the point where I was ready to say, you know, maybe I should go find a job. And that's when I said, uh, no way, there's no way. I was lost, you know, I, I was letting my business run me. I wasn't running my business. So I needed, I needed a coach. You know, and so I, 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 I found you guys via Facebook where somebody else was already using ClickFunnels. And so I, I was like, what is this ClickFunnels thing? So I, I did some did some investigative work and finally came to ClickFunnels and I was like, whoa, this is some powerful stuff. I got this software that could totally take my business to the next level, but I'm having trouble using it, like really getting getting my hands around it. So I'm, I'm listening to Russell's podcast, and all of a sudden he starts talking about this inner circle uh, program and this, this code, Ignite program. So I was like, I, I need to be involved in that. I, I, if I'm going to take my business and my life to the next level, uh, I need to be part of that. To really get that coach to, to diagnose my issues and to come back to me and say hey this is what this is this is where you're struggling and point me in the right direction I never had that as a business owner when I struggle with things or I'm stuck on a topic I go to my ignite members and I ask them for help and that there is priceless because here's here's other successful like-minded individuals um, like myself and they have the motivation and drive exactly like I have so to team up with people like that on projects and stuff like that is, is extremely powerful and, and, and provides a, a tremendous amount of value you know, to, the, to your business. Back when I was like six or seven years old, I joined soccer. I was this little chubby kid, so they, I guess they put me in the soccer program to, to help me manage my weight. So anyway, um, I, I hated the game. Uh, I just did it because my, my parents wanted me to do it. But for, I don't know how we did it, but we made it to the championship game that, that, that season. And so I, I remember running up and down the field and every time the ball would be on one side of the field, I'd be on the other. And, and every time I would try to get to the ball, the ball would be, so anyway, uh, it was a mess. So I'll, I'll never forget this. When I was, I, I remember being in the game and, and just, I remember all the people on the sideline and the one guy that stood out from, from all those people were my, was my dad. And I remember him just, just screaming, go, go, get the ball, get the ball. And uh, I looked at him and I don't know what it was, but it just made me haul ass down the, down the field and get that ball. And, 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 and I, I, I chased the ball down and, 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 and sure enough, I, I scored my first goal ever. 
And that was the was a point in my life at such a young age that said, no matter what you do, never give up. Because when you never give up, the outcome is always positive, and it, and, and and you'll you'll always be successful. And that was my biggest thing. I, I said before joining the program, you know, I don't know if I'm going to get my return, but but Bob, but if I don't do it, I'm just I'm going to be where I'm where I'm at. So I said, don't give up, do it, do it. And so I, I did. And 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 I always keep my father up to date with with my business because he's always he's always worried. He's my dad, so he'll always worry about me. When I told him I made my money back on the program. He, his text message, he's 75 years old and he's text messaging me. And he wrote back, wow, so proud of you. And, and, and when I got that from him, it just made me, it just made me, I don't know, I, I'm speechless, I'm sorry, but it, it, it just gave me that confidence and, 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 and that reassurance that, and I always thought back to that soccer game, that you just, you never give up. Russell's positivity and his team like Christian and Brent and all those guys that they all have that same mindset never give up always follow through always move forward and to have that support is just tremendous and I'm very thankful for for Russell and his team for helping me So I want to tell you something, um, hiring Russell Brunson was bar none one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life and I want to tell you that when you work with him, he takes you on this journey that you 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 won't even know that um, that you can go on. Like it's, like I, I, at the very beginning I had all these hopes and dreams and visions and I honestly thought that yay I'm working with the overnight success maker. and. Like, I thought, whoa, I'm gonna make like $500,000 in the first month of working with him. But you know what, the eventuality is that sometimes in life it doesn't always work out the exact way that you want it to work out, and that's certainly where it got to for me. So my 2014 was one of the hardest years I've ever had in my entire life. Like, there was cancer in the family, um, people were in hospital, I thought I was gonna, um, I, at one stage I, um, you know, I thought I was going to lose my partner. Like, it was, just wasn't a, a pleasant scenario at all. And by losing my partner, I mean, like, hospitalization, like, really not, like, from really bad health issues. And, uh, you know, there were just times when, I promise you, I wanted to give up. And sometimes I actually, when, I'm, when I say that, I don't just mean give up in business. Like, I, I for me, when I, like, when I hired Russell, it really was, like, do, like, sounds really dramatic, but I, like my life's mission, it's so, it's so big. Like I really, really, really wanted to connect with someone who could get me to the next level, who could help me really get from that really stranded, grounded place, you know, sitting at my office every single day, to a place where I'm, you know, helping like people all around the world. And that's why I chose Russell. Um, but man, it was hard. It was really, really, really hard at times to have to deal with those things that come up in your personal life all the time. Like, it was not an easy scenario in 2014, but I'm really, really, really grateful that I listened to Russell. I'm really grateful that I hired him as a coach. Like, he, the man has changed my life forever. Like, what, you know, once you like my mind has been blown completely and, and there's no way back. Like I, I know that anything is possible now. All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, really quick, uh, before we get, jump back on stage and, and start officially for the course, um, uh, a lot of you guys are asking tons of questions about two column club coaching and things like that. So I'm gonna do the session right now um, on uh, the virtual book tour, which is gonna show you how to get traffic into your funnels and a bunch of really cool things we're doing there. I've never taught this before, so I'm kind of excited, and uh, hopefully you guys get a ton from it. And then um, what we're going to do is right after, I'll take another quick break, and then uh, if you have questions about the two of coaching, Stephen and I will come up on stage and kind of do Q&A for a little bit. So he's grabbing all the questions. So if you have questions, post them down below, and, uh, and he'll make sure we have them, and then I'll answer them after the next break. So that's the game plan. Anything else? All right, see you guys here in 10 seconds.
All right, welcome to the last module of the Expert Secrets Masterclass. And um, this is one, this is kind of a bonus module because I thought it would be fun and I've never talked about it and so that's, it's always fun for me to talk about new stuff. So, um, I'm sure that, I'm sure that as we, uh, as you saw us launch the Expert Secrets book, um, you know, there's been a lot of launches that have happened in the last 14 years that I've been doing this and there's tons of techniques and tactics and ways to do it. And as I was launching this book, I was like, how do we do something cool and unique and different? We had big goals. We, my goal eventually is to sell a million copies of this book. And for those who don't know, I'm documenting the whole process at russellbrunson.com, like week by week. I think I have 10 weeks that are there right now. You can see what happened before, how we did the Dream 100, all kinds of stuff you see week by week. And so eventually I'm going to get to a million books. But I knew that during this initial push, we wanted to sell a lot. And, uh, and we did. We sold over 50,000 books in the first 30 days, which was awesome. And thank you guys for all your help on that. And one of the big driving factors behind it was this virtual book tour. And so for any of you guys who saw one or two or 20 or 30 of these things uh, in your feeds, I apologize. I'm not better looking because I think I was in everybody's feed all the time. If you cross over with any of these people, you saw them a lot of times. But it worked really good. So I'm going to walk you guys through kind of the process of how it worked, why it worked, and uh, hopefully give you guys some ideas on what you can do uh, to help grow and get more traffic into all your funnels. So the virtual book tour, it all begins with a concept that I talk about every time in our inner, inner circle meetings. Um, I'm sure they're sick of me talking about it, but I don't know very many of them that are actually doing it yet. So I'm hoping that the more I talk about it, the more people start doing it. Because everyone wonders like, Russell, how is your company growing so fast? How are you doing this? Like, it's the same thing. I've been talking about this for like four or five years now and very few if anybody actually does it. So. Those of you guys who really want to have success, just do this. Anyway, there, I'll, I'll leave that there because it works. Um, all right, so the Dream 100 is the concept. How many of you guys have heard me talk about Dream 100? As soon as I said that, you're like, crap, I haven't done it yet. Okay. <laughs> if that was you, now is the time to start not just listening but doing. Okay, so Dream 100, this is the concept uh, I initially learned from Chet Holmes. He wrote a book called The Ultimate Sales Machine. Uh, I had a chance to hang out with him a bunch of times before he passed away. Um, and it's one of my top 10 favorite uh, business and marketing and sales books. And one chapter in there is a concept called the Dream 100. And uh, the way G uh, Chet used the Dream 100 is a little different than I used it, but I got the concept initially from him. So the way that he was using it um, initially is he, he uh, was working for Charlie Munger, who's a billionaire, and he was working at one of his magazines. If I, and I'm sure I'll mess the story up a little bit, but conceptually it's, it's, uh, it's close. I hope. No, just kidding. Um, so we worked in one of his magazines, and uh, one of the divisions of the, it was a magazine. And at the time, they were the, the lowest uh, of all the magazines in, the, in, that, in that genre, that niche, whatever you call it, industry, they were the, the bottom of it in terms of advertising sales. And, um, and uh, his job is to come in and get more advertising revenue into this magazine. So he came in and looked at it, and there's like you know, five or 6,000 potential advertisers, and he had a sales team. They're all marketing to all these people trying to get it. And, uh, and Chet looked at that first and was like, God, like, we're so spread so thin, it's hard to like, focus any effort on any client to get them and to really close the deal. And so he started doing more research and he found out that uh, I think it was like 120, 130 uh, companies spent like 98% of all the income in, in all the magazines in that industry. So he's like, instead of marketing to everyone, let's just take the top 100, our dream 100, and let's just market to them really, really aggressively. So they took 100 people and it went from having five or 6,000 potential clients to 100 and they set these campaigns. And the way that Chet did is, is he would do every week, uh, he would mail something in the mail, a big lumpy package in the mail, and then two weeks later he'd call him on the phone. Then two weeks later he'd mail him something in the mail, call him on the phone. And he consistently did that. In fact, uh, throughout the book he always referenced, he calls it Pig-Headed Discipline. And he said that the original title of the book was called Pig-Headed Discipline, but his publisher made him change it. But it was Pig-Headed Discipline just over and over and over again until he got these people to become clients. And so he started his Dream 100 strategy, and after the first month, like, nobody came over. After six months, nobody came over. And then within a year, it was like, I can't remember the number, like half or more than half of the, of the advertisers did come over. And uh, they went from being the, the, the bottom of the rung in the industry in terms of sales to the top. And then they tripled sales three years in a row, and, uh, and that's kind of the story. And so that was how, how Chet used his Dream 100 strategy. And then later on, he wrote a, a screenplay for a movie or something. And same thing, he's like, how, like, I'm not in Hollywood. How am I going to get this thing to turn into a movie? And he's like, well, what if I took the top 100 people who potentially could be like, actors or producers or directors, or people who could actually make this film a thing. And so he built a dream, his Dream 100 list there. And they started sending out the, the script to all 100 of them. Then he'd call them on the phone. And they'd send them a gift. And he kept doing that. And eventually he ended up finding somebody who produced the movie and a whole bunch of other cool things. So the Dream 100 concept works in a lot of different places. But the place it works the best is for us as internet marketers to find people who already have our dream customers on their list. Okay, so for example, um, 
people that potentially would want to buy the Expert Secrets book. So I'm thinking, like, who has my dream customers already on their list? Well, Tony Robbins, his customers would love this. Grant Cardone, his customers would love this. And I start going through and we start making a list of our dream 100. And then we aggressively market to those people. Okay? So I'll walk you through how we do it. But that's, that's the concept of dream 100. Because if I can get one person on my dream 100 to say yes, that can turn into hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars in revenue for you. So it's, it's worth focusing a lot of time and energy and effort on your dream partners. Okay? So the way it be, initially begins, when you go through the Expert Secrets book, we talk about the three core markets, right? So you've got health, wealth, and relationships. So health, wealth, and relationships. Okay? These are the three core markets. And then from there, each one breaks down into our sub-markets. So I'll go here, and here's different sub-markets, right? So inside of relationships, maybe there's dating, there's marital, marriage advice, there's kids, whatever, right? So there's the sub-markets. And then from there is where you create your own blue ocean. This is where you create your own sub-market. Okay, once again, I use the word create instead of pick because you're creating it. Like this is, your, this is your market and your business, right? So what's cool is you're in a blue ocean. It's just you. So there's nobody else that's selling what you sell and the way you sell it. Like, like you are in a blue ocean. So the Dream 100 strategy starts from like looking at where you're at and stepping backwards, Okay, so let's just say this is relationships, this is dating. So I'm looking at who are all the people now in the sub-market that my niche falls into. Because in the sub-market, there's tons of different niches too, right? Inside of dating, there's a thousand different ones. Inside of relationships, there's a thousand. Inside of real estate investing, there's a thousand different ones. So I'm coming back one, one tier, one level to here. And this is where my Dream 100 starts. This is where I'm looking. Okay, and you can also step back here, but it's a little further. If you look at like... Um, in the dot-com secrets book, I talk about different types of traffic, right? Your hot traffic, so here's hot. These are like people that, that are on your list. They love you, right? You take a step back. These are people that are in your industry but don't necessarily know you yet. And you go one more step back, and then this is like cold. This is people that, that don't even know the, about the problem yet. So this is kind of how it works. So this hot traffic is so warm. So the Dream 100 is going after warm traffic. People who are in the same industry as you are, so you, you, they're in real estate investing, but they don't know about you yet, okay? But they do know about Robert Kiyosaki, and they know about, um, who are all the different real estate gurus right now? They know about Justin Williams, they know about, anyway, they know about all the other people, but they don't know about you yet, right? That's where your more, more market is. All right, so now that I've identified, okay, here, here's where it is. Now for you, this is where you gotta start doing your homework. You gotta figure out, like, who are all of the people that have your dream customers already on their list. So what we do is we create, and uh, we kind of broke down into four different things. Um, first thing I'm looking for, like, who are all the list owners? So who owns email list? Okay. So you think through this, like, in your market, who, who has email lists? And if you don't know, then guess what? It's time for you to do your homework. I have people who, who come to our coaching programs. I had some of the days in the real estate market, and they're like, hey, I'm in the real estate market. I'm like, cool. Uh, let's do your Dream 100. They're like, well, I don't know anybody else in our market. I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, well, I've, I've heard of Robert Kiyosaki, but that's about it. Are there other people? I'm like, are you serious? Like, that's one of the most heavily, they, there's thousands of them. Like, I know personally probably 40 real estate gurus. Like, how do, I'm not even in your market and I know more. Like, you need to know who these people are. Who else is selling to your dream customers? Like, if you don't know, it's time to use this really magic tool. It's kind of expensive, only it's free. It's called Google. And you just type in real estate coaching, real estate investing. It starts Googling everything you can dream of and start finding people's things. Start going to the websites, joining their list. Go to Facebook, type in real estate and whatever coaching or weight loss coaching. Or, and like, like everybody's pages. And like, you need to start going deep into research. As soon as you start opting into everybody's list, following them on their pages, following them on Twitter, listening to the podcast, like all sorts of stuff. So soon you start seeing who are all the players in your world. You need to know who those people are and have an intimate understanding because those are your potential partners. Okay? So it's time to do your homework and figure out who are the list owners. And then I come down and I list out, okay, who are my list owners? And try to list out as many different list owners as I can find. Okay, number two might be bloggers. In your industry, are there bloggers? So start making a list. Who are all the bloggers? If you don't know who they are, start using Google. Go search Google and find out who are all the real estate bloggers, who are all the financial planning bloggers, who are all the carpet cleaning bloggers, whatever, right? The bloggers. Then you got podcasts. Who are all the different podcasters? These are easier. You can go to iTunes and just find everybody really fast, right? So you find who are all the podcasters in, in your sub-market. And then the last one are like social influencers, okay? Who are social influencers? Who are they all on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube? Like who are all these different people, okay? And you start building this list of your dream 100, okay? So I'm curious. 
those who are listening to me? How many of you guys have done this so far? How many of you guys who are listening have heard me talk about this more than once and you still haven't done it? Like, this is the most important piece. Before you create your product, you should be doing this. This is where you funnel hack people from. This is where you understand the market. So you figure out what is your market going to be like. If you don't have a super clear understanding of here's the lay of the land, here are all the people, where do I fit? If you don't know who that is, like, how are you supposed to pick a blue ocean? You don't even know what oceans are out there, right? Like, you got to understand this intimately. This is the, the research phase for you, okay? Even if you're not talking about traffic yet, it's just understanding the market as a whole. Okay? Because you start looking at it, it's like, oh, wow, that's how so-and-so sells it. How so-and-so does it. This is what they're doing and what they're doing. And like, the better picture you get, the better. Okay? And some of you guys are looking at me and like, well, Russell, I am a chiropractor. I do not have a Dream 100. Okay? So, again, this is the science. The art is for you to kind of think through. So, what's the equivalent of Dream 100 for you? So, uh, let's say you are a chiropractor in a strip mall. So, people come to your place, but they also come to all the other places, right? So, what if you did a Dream 100 of like all the other companies that are right around you that have people coming into them right maybe it's not like physical locations but let's say let's say you are a, a personal trainer and you help people get in shape you're like well where else are my dream customers at who else has these people on a list well what about the uh, yoga studio people going to yoga probably won't be a fit what about the juice bar what about you start looking at like where are my potential customers Okay, we tell people, local companies use this Dream 100 strategy to find all their customers locally and blow up their companies really, really fast. Okay? So again, this is, the, this is the science, the arts for you to figure out for you. Where are those people at? Maybe they're not one of these things. Maybe it's people in a physical location close to you. Okay? Those are the things you got to think through. All right. So starts with Dream 100. That's step number one in this process. Step number two is Dream 100 is awesome, but... Number two is like we have to, this comes back to chat, like pig-headed discipline, right? You have to market to the Dream 100, okay? Like if they don't know who you are, it's going to be hard to get them to do partnerships and deals and things like that. So how do you market to them? The first thing that I try to do after I identify these people is like number one is how can I provide value to them? Value. Okay, this is like the whole results first thing. Like what can I do for them to provide value? Okay, there's a 15-year-old kid for the last three weeks has been sending me packages from Australia. And inside the package is always a really simple letter saying, hey, I'm 15 years old. I use ClickFunnels to fill up, a, to fill up an event. Uh, at the event, I sold $500,000 worth of coaching. Um, uh, here's a gift for your kids. And the first thing had all these fidget spinners, which kids are obsessed with and have people in my office now. A whole bunch of fidget spinners. Week number two, I got a big package in the mail that had um, these little helicopter things that they fly around. Six of them for my kids. My kids are flying them all around the next week. Yes, two days ago, I got these, these things you hook to your wrist and you bounce these bouncy balls for my kids. My kids are playing like, this kid is smart, 15-year-old kid. I'm one of his Dream 100, apparently. I keep getting these gifts and he's providing value to my kids. I'm like, I don't know this kid. I, don't even know this. I, 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 I love this guy. I've never even met him before, but he keeps providing value to my kids. Like, for me, that's a really good way. I've had other people who like, find cool crap that I would like and they send it to me and I'm like, dude, where did you, like, um, Travis Cody uh, uh, has done this two or three times. Like, he just sends me random stuff. He went to my, uh, to my old podcast. He took all the transcripts from there. He compiled them into this book and most of you guys know I'm Mormon and he made a book that looked like the Book of Mormon but it said the Book of Brunson on it and it had all my transcripts in there and he, and, like, he did this as a gift and sent it to me. Like, he provided value to me, so I know who he is. I'm aware of him. Like, I think he's awesome now, right? So for you, it's like, when you're building this thing, like, how do you provide value? Like, when I met Tony Robbins the first time, guess what I didn't do? And say, Tony, would you promote my thing? It'd be so cool. Okay? If I did that, he would have been like, dude, you're another one of those people. I would say, on average, we probably get 20 to 30 people a day who message me through some channel um, asking me to promote something for them. Hey, Russell, if you promote this, I'll give you half the money, and we'll become rich together. I'm like, dude, first off... <laughs> Like, I'm good. I don't want half of your money. Second off, like, you got to figure this crap out on your, like, just do, like, and so, like, you don't want to be that person. Like, how do you provide value? I'm always looking, like, how can I provide value for these people? Like, what can I send them? Can I send them gifts? Can I send things in the mail? Because someday I'm going to want to ask them for something, but not yet. Okay, Tony Robbins, we've been knowing each other for 10 years. In 10 years, I have spoken for him for free. I built book funnels for him for free. I spent tons of time and energy money in my own pocket to help serve him, Right? Not because I was like, okay, someday I'm going to get him to do something, okay? It's not about, like, the long con. We have a joke about that. Like, I'm not trying to, like, in 10 years from now, someone's... No, like, I legitimately care about him and his message, and I'm trying to figure out how can I provide value, right? And so I've helped him for 10 years, and then uh, when the book came out, I was like, hey, man, like, would you promote this? He's like, sure, that'd be awesome, because we're friends now, right? So how do you provide value? It may be hard, like, 
if you have 100 people in your dream 100, it's hard to provide value, right? But like some relationships I, I put more effort into, and other ones I provide value in other ways, right? How can I, how can I do that? But for you, think about it. how can you provide value for people? Sometimes value is like coming on their podcast and doing an interview for them. Like sometimes they're looking for guests. That's the value. Sometimes for the bloggers, it's like you writing an article for their blog because they they, they're looking for content, right? Um, you know, it's just however you can provide value. Now, the worst way to provide value, just so you know, this drives all of us influencers crazy. Don't come and like spell check our emails and tell us how we spelled things wrong. None of us like that. I promise you that. Don't come to my webpage and be like, okay, hey, on paragraph 32, you have two periods. Like, I know, I don't care. Like, that doesn't help us. It actually gives us more work and not less. So that doesn't help, but there's other things you can do to help, right? Um, anyway, so just think about that. What can you do to provide value? Uh, the way I initially I met Steven Eskeskis, uh, who uh, is our number two all-time affiliate right outside of ClickFunnels, um, is he messaged me and he was like, hey, um, I have been collecting every single Facebook ad uh, for the last like two years and I got home a big zip folder. Do you want them? It's like, yeah, dude, that'd be awesome. He's like, cool. If you just, I can't remember, I think it's if you friend request me on Facebook, I'll send you all of them for free. I was like, dude, the friend requested him. He sent me the zip file, like 5,000 ads, which for me is like the cool, like I'm such a geek with stuff like that. And like we built a relationship. He worked for us for a year and a half, coming up on affiliate, like the dude's amazing, like, but he built the relationship first. He was smart like that, right? So for you, it's like, how do you, how do you, what can you do for these people? And again, maybe you don't do it for everyone. Maybe pick the top two or three of each of these things and like put more effort into those relationships, okay? So providing value first. <clears throat> There's a good book out there. Actually, I actually have no idea. I've never read the book. But the title of the book is uh, Dig Your Well Before You're Thirsty, okay? Harvey McKay. <clears throat> I read the book and I read the title and I think I get the gist, right? Dig Your Well Before You're Thirsty, okay? This is about, don't like build this list and like, hey, I'm going to, in, in, Six months now, my webinar's done, then I'm going to contact him. Like, dude, that point is too late. Because now, like, now you have ulterior motives. <coughs> but legitimately care about him up front, now, today, and start building that relationship. Okay, it comes back to the, the proverb I put in the book, the old Chinese proverb. Like, when's the best time to plant a tree? 20 years ago. When's the second best time? Right now. Like, today. Do this. Start contacting people. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, number one, providing value. Number two is then we come out, and for us, I want them to know who I am. So what we do, similar to what Chet Holmes did, is I send out packages. Those are my Dream 100. You get packages from me all the time in the mail. <coughs> um, during the off-season, we send gifts. So the off-season is where we're like actively trying to get the people to promote something. So like for example, we send them all out this Avengers magazine, which totally makes fun of our two competitors, Loki Pages and Confusionsoft, which is really funny. And we send them a, a doll. It's like, hey, here's a gift. We love ClickFunnels. You love it too? Sweet. Here's a gift in the mail. Boom. Right? So, dumb thing, but they know, like, Russell, is that the guy that always sends me those, uh, those weird things in the mail? Yes, that's Russell, right? So, there's a package that, that, uh, that we sent out. Then, as we start transitioning to, like, okay, I want to ask them for something, which happens to also be number three here, is eventually, like, <clears throat> you have to ask them for stuff. I have friends who have never asked me for anything, so I've never done anything for them. You have to ask, Right? You can't just always serve, 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 and never ask. And it's sometimes hard for us, but you have to ask. If I didn't ask to like, hey, my new book's coming out, like, I'm really proud of it. Would you be willing to do a Facebook Live with me? He wouldn't have said yes, because I didn't ask. You have to be willing to ask. So what we do is we transition, and, and when we have something coming out, like the book, we start letting them know. So they're used to getting cool stuff in the mail from me, and then one day you get something like, oh, hey, by the way, this is a cool thing happening. So like, this is something I send in the mail, and it came with this letter, like, Welcome to the ClickFunnels Dream 100. And they said, hey, you're cool. It's your own Dream 100. You're getting cool packages from me, and uh, hope that's cool. And so, by the way, come, come join our, our group at ClickFunnelsAvengers.com, right? So I sent that out to him initially, and just to build rapport. Then as the book was coming out, I was like, okay, i got to send out some other things. And so uh, there's different letters and different packages. One package, I was talking about the book launch, but the book wasn't done yet. And so I knew all these people were like, until they see the book, they're not going to want to promote the book. So I was like, crap. So I had uh, Dave and uh, someone on our team go to Create Space. We took the cover of the book and we printed out, uh, I think our Dream 100 is like 250 people now or something, uh, a whole bunch of blank copies of the book. And then we sent this in the mail to them. And uh, I can't remember if this one had the, anyway, it was basically like, here's the book. It's empty, but I promise you it's a real book. It's coming soon. It's going to be awesome. And what was cool is people got this and they thought it was so funny and they were talking about it. They were posting it on Facebook and like it became a really cool, fun, fun thing that got people excited, right? So we sent that out to them. Uh, later when we had the actual book. I sent them one of the, the first copies. Um, we sent them in the mail like here's the funnels coming up. Here's what the funnels going to look like. The promotion is coming away. Uh, we talked about the Batman suit. I made videos for them. In fact, if you go to um, 
expertsecrets.com slash Batman. You'll see like the Batman suit is like top 10 people are going to get these cool Batman suits. And I put it on on the stage here. It's pretty funny. I sent out that letter to him. Notice I'm, I'm not just sending out emails. Emails get caught. I get so many emails. But I don't get that many packages in the mail. People always open packages. Even if I'm in the middle of like a webinar, Melanie will bring in a package to me and I'll be like on the webinar, like open the package. Like I can't wait. Like I, I have to open boxes. Like that's how we are as humans. So I try to like send gifts and things like that in the mail because it gets through all the clutter. It gets past the gatekeepers. Gatekeepers bring the packages to the person because the person wants the package. Um, so another one, here's another thing of Batman. So every time there's letters coming out, we did the last week, we did the $20 CPA. I sent out letters right here, a picture of me talking about the CPA. So I'm sending stuff to them physically in the mail to get past all the distractions, right? I'm doing that all the time. When we launched ClickFunnels, I went to, uh, went to Alibaba.com and we found these video cards you could open up and play a video message. So before we launched ClickFunnels, I went and we bought like, I think like two or 300 of these things from, from China. We had, um, we had uh, our ClickFunnels logo on the, on the front of them and I sat down and I recorded 250 personalized videos on my phone. Hey, this is Russell. Uh, how you doing, Mike? Uh, it's been a long time. Last time I saw you, was like, whatever. It's so cool. And anyway, with this cool thing about called ClickFunnels, I want to tell you about it. So we did 250 personalized videos. I put every one of those videos onto custom hand, uploaded them to each of those video cards, put them in there, shipped them out to people. So people got the card, they opened it up, and it's like, hey, Mike, how's it going? This is Russell. And I personally invited them to help us promote ClickFunnels. Okay, like, and some of you guys are thinking, oh, Russell, sounds like so much work. But you don't understand, like, one of these people could make you a million bucks, two million, five million. Okay, when I did the dot com secrets book on my Dream 100, one of my podcasters was John Lee Dumas. I never met John. I listened to his podcast, but I didn't know him. He got a package in the mail. A week later, messaged me, dude, your book's awesome. I'm like, thanks, man. He's like, do you want me on the podcast? I'm like, yes, please. So he had me on the podcast. Then he sold the books. He sold 500 books from his first podcast for us. Then he's had me on the podcast like four or five times since then. He's helped build ClickFunnels. He was uh, our number one uh, affiliate for almost the entire book launch for Expert Secrets, selling that book. I think he's number two right now. But he's made me literally millions of dollars. And it was because he was one dude who we sent a book to on my Dream 100. Just one person. Like if I, if I would have been like, oh, it's not really worth the time. He's not going to look at it. Like it, it would have been, been worth it, right? Now what's interesting is like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to message all these people. And what typically happens for us is we'll message a couple hundred people. From that we'll be like, 30 people who say yes, and then from that we get 10 people who actually follow through and actually do it. So it's a numbers game, right? If you, do, if you dream five, like, you may message five people and they all say yes and no one actually does it. Like, it's, it's all about numbers, right? And so we message a lot of people, okay? And so that's kind of the concept here. Now, I'm not going to talk about this during this session because it's kind of outside of this, but, um, you know, I, ideally I want my dream 100 me to get them to promote something, right? Like, I want Tony Robbins to promote. I want Grant Cardone. I want uh, all these people to promote for me. And a lot of times they won't, and that's okay, because after I've identified this list, one of the coolest things about social media nowadays is let's say, let's say this is Tony Robbins right here, and he's not going to promote, he hasn't returned my calls or my boxes or anything. I can still now market to his people on Facebook and on Twitter and on Instagram and on YouTube. I can market to Robert Kiyosaki's people. I can market to, and so having this list, like all, this is the foundation of all traffic. Okay, and what should we go into now? We get into it about this rung in here in the, co in the coaching program. But this is the foundation of all traffic. So you understand you master Dream 100 because uh, people have already gathered your audiences. You don't have to go create traffic. Like They've already been gathered. So you have to go and gather all the gatherers in your market and then figure out how to first off get them to promote you. Number two, if not, use social media to target their customers directly. And that's kind of the magic of what's happening here. Okay? So that's, this is the foundation of the whole virtual book tour. All right, so now you guys understand that. Now we can go into kind of how the process worked. Um, now what's cool about this is I shared this with our Inner Circle members like six months before we did it. So they've all been waiting anxiously. But um, this was our concept as I was kind of doing it. I said, look, what's cool about this is like I can get them to promote our book, which is cool. But like when someone sends an email or whatever, like it goes and then it just like disappears into the night, right? And so we get some sales, but then it kind of, it kind of ends. Um, the other things I can go is I can go to their pages and I can promote. So I can promote my book to a Tony Robbins audience or to Robert Kiyosaki's audience and I can sell things. But it's kind of like it's me jumping into their feed and people don't know why I'm there. It's just kind of there. Or I was like the best thing is what if we did it where, where they were promoting me inside of their feed? Like that would be the, the most ideal. And that, that was kind of where it initially started. Like if I could get Tony Robbins on his feed saying, Russell's book's the greatest thing in the world. You guys should buy it. Like that would be like the most ideal, right? That's, that was our thought process. And then I started thinking about like when you look at the real world, right? I'll put it in quotation marks. You look at the real world, how, how is marketing done? Okay? 
Somebody in you know, Hollywood goes and they spend whatever, $50 million or $500 million making a movie, right? And what do they do? They take the attractive characters from the movie, they take the main actors, and they put them on a media tour. Well, they will go, and one day they'll be on, uh, uh, um, it's not the Tonight, or the Tonight Show, it's not Jay Leno anymore, it's uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Fallon, right? They go on the Jimmy Fallon show, and they're like, hey, and they talk about the movie, and they joke, and Jimmy makes fun of them a little bit, they show a little clip from the movie, and then that, that's the first thing, and then they go to the to uh, Good Morning America, and then they go to the Today Show, and then they go to, and they go on these circuits. So they send out all the attractive characters, and they're hitting all these different media outlets to promote the thing. Same thing happens with, with famous authors, right? Big authors will go out there, and then they write a book, and they'll go on the book tour. Okay, Tim Ferriss has been doing it with his recent book, if you've been watching, uh, with the Titans. Like, I saw him, he was on Jimmy Fallon, and like, he's hitting all these circuits, and he's speaking, and he's on TV, and it's like, it's a book tour. So that's what happens in the world, real world. Now, for me, it'll happen eventually, but right now, I'm not on Oprah or on, on Ellen or on uh, Today Show or any of these media outlets. And I haven't focused on that. But like, I was like, what's the, how do we replicate that in our world where anybody can do it? Okay? Where anybody listening be like, because I'm sure most of you guys are like, I can't get on Oprah. I'm not going to get on Today Show. That's how I kind of feel. But I think I can get on Grant Cardone's book tour, like on his show. Like all, all, the, all these people have their own show. This is an email show, this is the blogging show, this is the podcast show, this is a social media show. What if I could get onto their show? So that was where this whole thing started. So we're going to do a book tour. Um, and so the thought was like, hey, we're going to do a book tour where I'm going to go on someone's fan page. Um, so here's the actual say, book tour. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to find, um, I'm going to find all my influencers. And I'm going to find the platform that they're on, right? So there's people in different platforms. Some guys are Instagram, whatever. And... Um, and so these are all like little TV shows if you think about it, right? So this is the Today Show. This is the Grant Cardone Show. This is Jimmy Kimmel. No, this is, uh, this is uh, Jason Stone on Instagram, right? Or whatever. Like, I'm looking at all my people here, and each of them have their own TV show through their channel, right? If you look at this, like, I almost look at, like, Facebook is a channel. Facebook is like CNN. But inside of Facebook, there's all these different TV channels happening, right? Like, I have my own channel on, on Facebook, and all these people have channels, right? Um, Instagram, for example, is a channel, and there's people, or excuse me, as a channel, and the people have shows within the channel. So I'm looking that way, right? So let's just say this is, this is uh, the Facebook channel, this is the Instagram channel, this is the uh, YouTube channel. Okay, so these are the, the TV channels, and here's the different shows that are on that. So I'm going to try to get in as many different shows as we can. So I want to get on Tony Robbins' Facebook feed. I want to get on Grant Cardone's. I want to get on Robert Kiyosaki's. Okay, Instagram, I want to get on Jason Stone. I want to get on you know, whoever these people are on, on YouTube, who are the people, right? So looking at these channels, and then ideally I was like, I'm going to have them interview me about the book, just like Jay Leno would interview someone, or Jimmy Kimmel or Jimmy Fallon would interview someone on this show. So that was the initial thing. But then I realized that inherently most affiliates, as much as I love them, uh, most of them are focused on their own thing and they're not super focused on your stuff, right? So I was like, we may have like a 12 minute window that they're gonna do this. So we made these book tours very short. They were all about 10 to 12 minutes long. And, uh, and we did it. Now what happens with a typical Facebook Live is this, right? You do the Facebook Live, you jump on there, and at 12 minute time you start getting a couple people showing up and then a couple more people and maybe you get anywhere from 10 to two or 300 people on. And, and it doesn't seem like it's, it's like kind of a waste of time because the show doesn't happen really, really quick, right? And I knew that. Like, if we do that, we'll get a couple hundred views in each one, but then it's going to add up to maybe you know, 10,000 views. And it's like that was a lot of work for, for it. I said, ideally, if they would go in there and they would promote it, that'd be awesome. But most of them aren't going to do that. Like, they just won't. So the thought was like, what if we could get them to the point where we do this Facebook Live, but they allow us to be an admin on their Facebook account, and then we will spend my money to promote this post to their people, and someone buys from the book, they get the affiliate commission. Okay, so I, I listen closely as I say it. So I'm going to log in. So Tony Robbins, we did a Facebook Live with him. When it was done, he made us an admin on his Facebook account, and then we spent my money to promote this to his audience, so there's no risk for him at all. And then, uh, and then all the sales that happened today, he got commissions for it. Okay, so all, the only commitment for Tony is like, look, jump on this thing. It's going to be 10 to 15 minutes long. You're going to interview me. When it's done, you're done. And then you will get paid money. I'm going to spend my money to make you money. Okay, I'm trying to take away providing value. I'm trying to take away all risk for him. And they said yes. And Grant Cardone said yes. The next person, and like, we end up doing, how many do we end up doing? I don't even know the exact numbers. We end up doing like 20 or 30 of them. And if you want to look at the stats, when all is said and done, 
the live viewership, you know, again, 10, 15,000 people. But as soon as it was done, John and my team would jump in the Facebook account and start boosting it. And if you look at 40, oh, what was that? I did 40. Okay, so I did 40 of them in the 30 days. <laughs> it was a lot. I'm not going to lie. Um, but we did that. Then we boosted them. And from that, when all of a sudden done, we had like 5 or 6 million person reach. But like 3.1 million people actually watched one of these interviews. Is that crazy? And from that, it equaled up, ended up being 50,000 plus copies of our book sold. Okay? So that's kind of how the virtual book tour worked and how this process all works. Okay? So for you guys, I want you to think about this. Because maybe you don't have a book, and that's understandable. But... Think about it in the real world. People do this when they launch movies. They go and they hit all the, the media circuits. They do book tours. Or they do media tours, right? It doesn't have to be a book. So for you, it's like when your webinar is done, this can be part of the strategy. Of like, look, I'm going to come in here and one of these influencers, one of these people that we meet here, I'm going to go and we're going to go deep. And hopefully get them to email their list and let's do a podcast about it. And let's do a Facebook Live on their page and let's boost it. Let's promote it and get all these different eyeballs. If you look at the webinar model we've been talking about this weekend, um, you know, basically it's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you are promoting to get people onto a show. Thursday, you do, the sh you do a presentation live you, and you sell something and then that's what happens. So what are you doing Monday through Thursday to get people to show up for the show? It's this kind of stuff, right? If you want to go deep with a partner, say, look, um, let's just say John Lee Dumas, for example, because he does the best job of this. Hey, JLD, let's do a partnership together. What happens? Like Monday, let's do a podcast together. Tuesday, Wednesday, mail your list. You know, Wednesday, we'll also do Facebook Live. And so you're doing this thing, this media tour to get his audience onto your webinar, we have a chance to go and sell and you make each other a bunch of money and then you go to the next person and you're going on this, this webinar tour or a book tour or a video tour or uh, whatever it is for, for you for the product and service that you're selling. A supplement tour, a, a supplement launch tour, a carpet cleaning tour, whatever that thing might be. Okay? And so that's kind of how the virtual book tour works. Is that cool, you guys? All right. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that session. Uh, that should give you guys a really good foundation on traffic. And again, those of you guys who are in the Two Comma Club coaching, uh, we continue to go deeper, especially those who are here in the, the $14,000 or $15,000 one. You get the Fill Your Funnel training, which is this on steroids over a 12-month period of time, channel by channel by channel. We go deep. This month, they're going deep into Facebook. And then we're going deep into each channel. Each month, we're laying on, layering on a new channel and showing all the ways to drive traffic from that, from from this to driving paid ads, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that's the kind of game plan. All right, so with that said, um, I want to thank you guys for being part of the Expert Secrets Masterclass. We're going to take a 10-minute break real quick. I'm going to get a drink of water and uh, go to the bathroom. And when we come back, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do live Q&A. Stephen's going to come on stage and ask questions about anything we've covered up to this point so far or uh, any questions about the Two Comma Club. Um, again, this special offer is disappearing Sunday at midnight. And it'll be your last chance to get in here because we're going to be working with that group to get you guys here as quick as we can. Um, and so if you have any questions about Two Comic of Coaching, how it works, if it'll work for you, um, then please message. I'm thinking Steve's been collecting stuff, but we'll come back in 10 minutes. We'll try to answer all those questions. And any of the questions you guys have about the session so far, that's the game plan. Thanks, you guys, and I'll see you guys in about 10 minutes. Click funnels, click funnels, click funnels, click funnels, click funnels, click funnels. Like, again, so cliche, but it's it's a f***ing game changer. Funnel Hacking Live is the one event that you need to be at. Having the skill set of knowing how to like build funnels is the single most valued skill set. I think there's a difference between watching it done and actually doing it yourself. I, I would say that that's the main difference. Funnel Hackathon is super 100% hands-on. It's literally, here's what we need to do, now we're all gonna do it together. Like, there's none of that when I fly home tomorrow, because it's done. This event is most suited for people who want to accelerate their story to the market. You're really developing something. You're leaving with something very tangible. This will give you the right mentality to be able to succeed no matter what industry you you know, when you have Russell around you all the time, all of a sudden, like, things don't seem unrealistic. It's just like, I can do this. You enter his world where he is, and you can just see him in action. And the great thing that action is within your business. It's nonstop. I mean, we were at it from 9 a.m. to midnight, just learning, implementing, sharing. It's so cool that I'm going to leave with a product that's going to make me a lot of money.
And here it's like a totally safe, vulnerable space where you can just be like, I suck at this stuff, what am I supposed to do here? And then you have guys who have done exactly what you want to do or have done 10 times anything you've ever thought of right there next to you saying, hey, have you thought of this? You think that would work for you? And you're like, oh my God, that's amazing. Like, I should start doing that. I learned more in that compressed period of time than I had in almost the two years of being inside of ClickFunnels. I would pay any amount of money if I could come back and do that every month or two. So if you're looking for an opportunity to work with amazing people and work under the guidance of somebody who really knows what they're doing and be able to get things done, it's just, it's unbeatable. If you hate money, then this event is not for you because it's just gonna get you more money and you're gonna make an impact in the world doing what you love most. So I go to this Tony Robbins event like 12 months ago and I'm rocking the house, like things are going crazy. Com the event completely changed my life because I'm a huge fan of Tony Robbins. And the third day, the last day I was there, transformation day, which is like, you're already on this crazy high from Tony Robbins, like you walked on fire and you're like, you know, you're like, yes, yes. Uh, and I go to the water fountain and I meet this guy for like two minutes and it was just a strange passing, like nothing was serious about it. Um, and I got his name and I got his number. And after the event, when I'm, I'm driving home, I actually get a call from this guy that I met for two minutes. And he goes, hey Mike, it's Matthew from the water fountain. I'm like, Matthew from the water fountain? And he goes, I met you Tony Robbins. I was like, oh yeah, hey, what's up, man? And he was like, listen, I know you're driving back to Tampa because that's where I live. I, he's like, I know you're driving back to Tampa. Let me, let me get a ride with you. And I was like, uh, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. So I pulled into a gas station and I waited for him for like 20 minutes to meet me so I can give him a ride. And as we were driving back up to Tampa, he start, we start talking about the event, and we're excited, and he's telling me about his past because I didn't know this guy. And he starts telling me about this thing that he's super into which is called internet marketing. And I, at this time I had no idea what internet marketing was. We started talking about building businesses and just painting this whole future, and we were still on fire from Tony. So I drop him off and nothing really comes of it. But like a week later, I get a call from Matthew again. And he's like, Mike, he's like, I'm doing this thing, Inner Circle Mastermind, you gotta call this number, I'm gonna text it to you, you gotta call this number and talk to this guy, he's gonna tell you all about it. But I'm doing it, I'm in, and you have to do it with me. You have to promise you. I'm like, okay, dude, I'll do it with you, whatever. And I call this guy, and I start talking to him, and he tells me about this program called the Inner Circle Mastermind, and it's you team up with this guy named Russell Brunson, who's this internet marketing guru. Uh, and he's changed all these people's lives. And I'm thinking, okay, that's cool. I don't know what internet marketing is, you know? I talked about it in a car for three hours. I talked to this guy who was telling me about this program. He's like, Mike, and he sells me on. He's like, you get to do learning this. You're gonna build businesses. You're gonna drive traffic. And I'm like, this sounds really cool. You're gonna make a lot of money. And by the way, your buddy's doing it with you. And I was like, cool, fun. He's like, all right, so the program costs, he told me that the cost of the program, he said it was $25,000. And I was like, Ugh. and at this time, I had just dropped out of college and I took all my money from my college fund and was gonna live off it for the year. So I dropped out of college and I moved to Tampa. Like I moved across the country to Tampa and I only had $28,000 in the bank. And so my plan was to get a job, to kind of figure out my life, to build it, to do, just kind of figure it out. And I had no intention of spending $25,000 on a program. I'm like, all right, well that's, that sounds good. Like I gotta talk to Matthew before I make any decisions. So I hang up with this guy, I call Matthew and I'm like, Dude, this, this program is $25,000. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like an inner circle mastermind? He's like, trust me. Trust me, Russell knows everything about internet marketing. Like, you're gonna, don't worry. Like, I'm doing it with you. We're gonna crush together. We're gonna build business. Mike, this is the dreams we talked about with the car. So I'm like, all right, man. Like, 25, I can't, no, this doesn't go past me and you. My dad's gonna freaking hate me. He's like, don't worry. Just sign over there. Just, just give him the check and we'll be good. So I call this guy back, I write a check for $25,000. I'm like, all right, I'm in. I send it to him and I'm, I'm like, I'm pumped up. I'm like, I'm you know, going to Boise in a month. Cause that was the event was, and I call Matthew back. I'm like, Matthew, I'm in, I bought it. Let's do it. Like it's rock, come over and let's, let's plan out our trip. And he goes, dude, that's so awesome. I'm not doing the program. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, I'm not doing it. Like, uh, I don't have the money for it. I'm thinking like, what, dude? Like you, <laughs> I just bought this program for $25,000. You're not, you're not going to do it. So I was sitting in my room like, oh, I got to return this program. I'm freaking out. I only got $3,000 for a whole year. I don't know what internet marketing is. 
So I fly out and I'm there for a couple days and in that process I had learned more about internet marketing than, than I felt like. It was like a, a waterfall of information and I took that and over the last eight months, I mean just to credit it, last week I made more in one check last week than I've made all last year. Doing the traditional bit building business or working a job, I made more in that week. So Matthew calls me up like three weeks ago. I'm, I'm starting to make money, I'm doing good. Matthew calls me up and he's like, Mike, dude, how are you doing? I'm like, great. Uh, I've been in Russell's mastermind. Thanks, by the way. And he's like, oh, that's awesome, man. Listen, I needed some help. I'm really stuck. And I could just sense on the phone like he was just struggling, right? And what's crazy is like, cause me and him were in the car like less than a year ago talking about building businesses online. And we were both had these visions and these plans and I'm like hitting all the goals that I was talking about in the car. Like my first five figure check in a week, done. Being able to help pay my parents, you know, being able to really give back to the people I care about. And I'm doing all these things that I was telling him about and he hasn't moved at all. He's still in the exact same place. And so I might, some people might even think he's regressing, but he's in the exact same place. And what, what shocked me was like, I was like, Matthew, dude, you just should have joined the program with me. Like you're in the place that we were at a year ago. And, I've, and I'm talking about, I'm living the things that we were talking about. For the people who are, are thinking about signing up with the program or joining the mastermind or the Ignite program, and I think that if you look at my story, someone who eight months ago didn't know anything about internet marketing, anything at all, to now traveling the world, hanging out with people from all types of internet backgrounds, making a good living for myself. There's no, like, there's no reason that anyone couldn't do this if you teamed up with the right group. And that's what the mastermind did for me. It got me around people who were thinking on a different level than me. Because it's not like functionally, it's hard, right? Technically, it's not hard with the programs that we have today and with all the resources that we have. But you have to believe that you can do it. And the only way that I was able to do that was by just getting off the phone with, with Russell's guys and saying, all right, like, I believe that you can take me where I want to go. Like, I have, I have faith that this program is going to change, elevate my thinking. And that is what everyone needs to do. And that's why everyone needs this program. Everyone needs to come out to Boise and everyone needs to hang out in the mastermind. It's the greatest decision anyone could make, hands down. Uh, a really fun experiment that I really enjoyed. Um, you know, I knew we wanted to create this course no matter what because um, it's kind of like the missing pieces. I think after people reading the book, it was like, these are the, the things I feel like people aren't quite getting. I just want to like make sure everyone understands them. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, like we mentioned before, it's going to be for sale in the near future. But this, the replay of this today will be up for the next uh, 24 hours or whatever, and then we'll pull it down. And then um, all the recordings from this course will be in the members area for the two Comic Club members, um, hopefully in about a week or so, and you guys can go deeper back through them if you want. So if you missed any of them, again, there's no replays because it's a paid course. You just had a chance just to watch and sneak in while we were doing it. So Watch it quick. Yeah, watch it quick. 24 hours. <laughs> this go. one will be gone. Yeah, I, I've got all these people messaging me on my phone right now. They're like, I missed day one. This is amazing. I want to see day one or two. I'm like, Sorry. <laughs> I've been promoting this for a while. Like, you guys should all know about it at this point. <laughs> anyway, but I think it's, it's a good supplement for the book, and it gives you guys some of those last pieces to really just give you everything you need. So um, with that said, like I said, we have a lot of you guys who are asking questions about Two Comic Club Coaching, and so we're going to spend a few minutes excuse me, going through those right now, and that's kind of game plan. So, Sounds good. That's what we got. And this is Stephen Larson, for those who didn't meet him on day number one. What's up? He is uh, my partner in crime and so many things. He uh, sits next to me building funnels all day. And, uh, and at the same time, he's also one that's putting together this whole two comic club coaching program. Uh, you will be working with him pretty much all the time. So he's the one that took all this amazing stuff, turned it into the master class. He does um, each week as you go through it. He does the live, uh, the live calls to kind of go through any of the questions. Um, I think he's read my books more than I have, so he knows <laughs> this stuff better than about anybody else on earth, which is kind of cool. And when you come to the fat event, he also runs... Um, probably 50, 60, 70% of the fat event as well. 
Uh, so you'll be, those of you who are coming next week, you will be here with him and me, and uh, it'll be really, really cool. So you'll get to know him a lot better. But he's here right now with the questions, so we can go through those things with you guys right now. Yeah, and I'm going to hold your feet to the fire, by the way. I've had a lot of you ask, like, I need a coach. I've needed a coach so bad. Like, it's <laughs> my job to kind of not make you comfortable. So <laughs> we're going we're gonna to make sure that uh, you're successful. So. And you'll be grateful when you go yep. from there to there. It'll be worth, it'll be worth the pain. So. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good. You'll enjoy it a lot. So one of the biggest questions I'm getting is, can I still do two comic club coaching and still have a job? Oh, that's a great question. So um, do you know what job stands for? I remember someone told me this a long time ago. J-O-B, just over broke. So, um, <laughs> yes, in fact, I recommend you don't quit your job until this is all working. I've had friends, it's been interesting, I've had friends who, I've seen both sides of the spectrum. I had one friend who started this online business, and he was, point he was making almost a million bucks a year, and he didn't want to quit his day job just in case it went away. I was like, dude, you're spending two hours a night on this thing, it's making you a million bucks, what's your day job? And he's like, he's doing good, like 150, 200 grand a year. And he's like, I'm like, dude, if you spent eight hours a day on this, can you imagine what would happen? And so finally he quit and then became like a multimillionaire almost overnight. Um, <laughs> but like, that's like the extreme. The other extremes that people happen is that they'll be doing their job and they're like, cool, I'm going to do this. And they quit their job. And all of a sudden they have all this stress and pressure and everything because it's like, oh, I got to figure this thing out. And they have a timeline and like, God, when you do that, um, that extra additional stress makes it hard to be creative when you're running against time. So I'd say, no, do not quit your day job. Um, keep that because it's going to give you this, the, I mean, we can go to six human needs, a bunch of cool stuff, which we don't have time for, but, right, right. but you need security. You need it. Your family needs, like, you need security. Don't lose that. But it's like Gary Vaynerchuk always says, like, from nine till five is your day job, and from nine till two is like this. This is where you're building out your passion and your dream. And so, yeah, I, I would not quit your day job, but I would, like, be every second. I, who was it that was telling me this? Oh, <laughs> one of my friends. Uh, He's like, when I had my job, all I did the entire time, he's like, I feel bad now, but I was stealing time from my boss trying to figure out what I was going to do the whole entire time. Like, my brain was thinking about this. Um, I've had a, uh, a buddy who's a truck driver who's been driving truck for oh, 30, 40 years. And I'm like, what do you do the whole time? He's like, I listen to books. I, I get inspired. I'm like, yeah, but like, the whole time you're driving, aren't you thinking about this? Like, what are you going to create? Like, you assume within a year or two, like, you'd have the, the plan and the blueprint and, like, everything ready. And so... Anyway, like you should be thinking about it all the time and, and studying and immersing yourself. The more you guys immerse yourself in this, the more real, the more believable, the more tangible it'll become. But uh, yeah, don't quit your day job. Just do this after hours. Spend an hour to two hours a night focusing on it. And, um, and within a few months, you'll have the foundation. And as soon as your income has matched what you are currently doing, that's when I would jump in. And so I'm a big believer in that. I don't think... Mm. I've had people before, like, I quit my job, I'm all in. I'm like, no, like, that's uh, not the right thing. Like, wrong order. Yeah, like... <laughs> This is something that you build while your job is supporting you, and then, uh, and then there's a transition point. So. I remember my, that was my wife's big concern when I first started getting into this. Like, well, oh, you know, for those of you guys who have that concern, I totally relate with that. And so every night, I would be up till 3 a.m. I did that for years, working like crazy. And you can do it, all right? You can do it. You can get it done. And uh, she's like, how can we just go get a normal job? Just go do this. And the moment that first funnel hit, it was like it's way more money than any other thing I could have done with like part-time job or anything else. Like you guys can do this, you know, you got to do, do anyway. The cool thing it. too, because you don't have to, like we simplified the process. Like it's not like the weed through all this information. It's like, like we talked about step-by-step, step, like here's rung number one ladder, read these two chapters, watch this video, do this exercise and do this and then you're done. So it's like some of you guys who are very studious will bust this thing out really, really fast. Those who are ADD entrepreneurs like me, you will also bust it out fast because it's not like, you have to go on this wild goose chase. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, cool. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so someone, wanted, uh, someone asked, um, can I still pull this off without having a large team like you do? <laughs> okay, so good news. Um, none of us started with a large team. <laughs> yeah. um, I did this by myself pre-ClickFunnels. I did this back when it was me and this little thing called Microsoft Front Page. Oof. And that was it. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> Um, the dark fact, ages. Yeah, the dark. <laughs> you know what would be fun to do? <clears throat> Maybe we should do this someday. Um, I remember uh, Robert Allen did a thing in the real estate market where they, he's like, put me in any city in the country and within 30 days I'll have all my money back, right? So he, like, they threw him on, dropped somewhere and he bought a house, flipped it, made much money. Anyway, it was a really cool thing. Huh. But like, we could do that same thing right now in ClickFunnels very easily. You could give me a market, pick a thing, take away all my contacts, money, cash, and say, okay, go build something. I could sit there and I could build it and launch it. Like, you don't have to have a huge team. The reason why I have a huge team because we have 41,000 of you that we are supporting to make sure you guys are happy having success. It's programmers, support people, all sorts of stuff. Um, and, uh, but it's something you could definitely do on your own. In fact, it's not really built out to be a team coaching program. It's built out to be a you coaching program. Um, all of us as, as entrepreneurs typically start solo. Um, now, one thing I would recommend doing is get inside the community 
Um, because some of you guys are going to be the expert in the face of the business. Some of you guys aren't going to be. You don't want to do that. It's not the right thing. Um, but this community of people, like find the right people inside of it and find partnerships and deals, things that will happen inside of there. And maybe you're like someone who's amazing at funnels and there's someone who's amazing at speaking and partner and, and tie together and, uh, and, and build partnerships. I had, I had um, um, uh, two, two people who become friends. One is, um, his, he's one of the greatest living copywriters of all time. And he was writing copy for clients and stuff all, all day, like just doing that. He was making really good money doing it, but like it was kind of never fulfilled. And I had another dude who's like a really good stock trader and like had information. He was really good. And he had little, like he had a program, but it wasn't ever big and was kind of stuck. And somewhere along the line, they bumped into each other like, and they became friends and they said, what if we went into business together? Like, what if I became your full-time copywriter, you were doing the training and we just like, we partnered on this thing and it could two superpowers plugged into one and the company's grown up to tens of millions of dollars and it's because of that. And so like a lot of times like it's going to be you just at first, but you don't have to build a team by hiring people all the time either. In fact, at first it's probably not the smartest thing, but come in the community, find the people like this who are in this with you and find the right people, find partnerships and deals. And those, there's tons of those things that are going to be had and created inside of that. Yeah. What, one of the, Actually, one of the people I was talking about there saying, uh, I just, I've got to be surrounded by the types of people who can push me and accelerate me and have me be you know, my best self. The type of person who joins this program, you can be really confident, are going to be the people you want to be around that are actually going to boost you around. You can find good relationships. So. Awesome. Um, a lot of people are asking, okay, I don't have a business. I have no idea on an idea. I have nothing. I have no content. It seems like I need all this stuff. Can I still join this and actually be successful? <laughs> I have nothing. So funny. I always smile at that because like when I got started, guess what I had, you guys? <laughs> um, I had spent a weekend shooting potato guns with my buddy. <laughs> that was it. And I was like, huh. And so we talked about this the first day. Um, like the beginning of this is like the documentation of the journey. Like that's how you, this whole thing begins. So all you have to think is, is what's the result I want? Okay. And so there's, there's, and we talked about this yesterday, external and internal. The external result you guys want is two comic club, right? Like I'm very, like that should be your external goal. But what's the internal goal? Like, what's the real reason why you want that? Because like, you'll find out as soon as you make your first million bucks that like, money doesn't actually matter. And you're like, huh, that's weird. I thought it'd be so important, and it's not. So what's the, in, like, what's the real reason why you're doing it? Because that's what's going to actually drive you. So the external is too comic club. What's the internal? Like, really becoming clear on that. And then it's the journey of you getting that that becomes the business. Like, it's, it's interesting. It's kind of a, a weird thing. If you watch day number one, you guys know what I'm talking about. But that journey is the key to this whole thing. And so this is not about, you know, and, and honestly, if you look at this program, there, there, there's kind of two things. Like if you are a brand new beginner, this is the, the right spot to start at because we're going to figure out your market, your, like all those things, what the product is, the offer, like, like week by week, rung by rung, that's what you're going to be going through. So by the time it's done, you will have a product, you will have stuff, but it's going to be all broken down into baby steps, step by step by step with weekly accountability calls to help hold you accountable to make sure you're getting your questions answered, make sure you're not stuck. And a community of people to help support that. So that's kind of cool. But it's also good for people who do have businesses. Um, this is the same stuff the last two years I spent with the Inner Circle. Like the Inner Circle members were in here, they're all successful and all making like a million bucks a year or so. But a lot of them were like doing it in spite of themselves. It's like, dude, you're in a million, you could be at three if you would just shift your positioning. If you shifted from a, a, an improvement to a new opportunity, boom, everything would explode. So it's like, it's a lot of times you're successful in spite of yourself without doing things right. And I know I was at first, like I was 10 years of me just running and like having success, but I didn't understand it. As soon as I understood the pattern and what, what and why, then it was like, Oh, Oh my gosh, I've been selling improvement this whole time. We should have improvement to opportunities like, Gush. Oh my gosh, I've been focusing on this and this. Like as soon as you're aware of it, then you can, you can dramatically do it. So if you're a brand new beginning, we're going to build the right foundation from the ground up and you'll do things correctly from the very beginning. If you're successful, in spite of yourself, we're going to clean things up, polish the edges, and help you just dramatically shoot up um, beyond this, to here and beyond. Hey, you're in a great position if you're new. You are, yeah. Uh, so, kind of touched on a little bit. Is there live coaching? What if I get stuck and have a question? Um, is someone there to help me? What's the Q&A like? Cool. So, there's a couple levels of that. So, number one is there's the online program here. And a bunch of people are like, what are the different modules? Like, come on, if you are asking, like, that is the, you logically trying to convince yourself of this thing. So first off, I'm not going to tell you the modules. It's the modules you need. I promise you that. Okay. So, there's number one. Um, so, the way, this is self guide. You log in, you watch the training, you go through the things. And then every single Friday, Steven's jumping into our room. We have a really cool new room. It's like padded awesome. walls and stuff. Super cool. And he sits there and he answers questions specific to that week's modules. So you can jump on, you can ask questions, get those things figured out. We also have a very small community. We have our big funnel hacker group of like 51 or 52,000 people. It's hard to get your questions answered in there, right? 
So Drew Kalman Club coaching is smaller. Um, and so with who's in there right now, my inner circle members are in there. I'm in there. Steven's in there. Most of our company's in there. And then the other members. And so it's smaller. It's more intimate. And so you can ask questions there and get actually direct uh, responses from like all of us. And so that's happening all the time, every single day. I mean, people always ask me, how do you keep up with all the Facebook stuff? Like I'm in Facebook all the time and uh, we're in that group all the time. Yeah, and with those Q and A's too, like I, I, it's it's you and me and a whole bunch of people listening. So like I will unmute you and we talk. So know that you're getting one on one attention that you need to actually get it uh, get the question you need answered. Um, so the next one, uh, people want to ask, when is the fat event, and why why is it so far out? <laughs> when is the fat event? So the next one is Monday. Next so Monday. Um, we do these uh, mm. right now about once a quarter. Um, and the reason, a couple reasons why is one, it's a lot of work. This is not something we just stand up here and dance around. Like it's insane. Like it's, hmm. you saw the videos over and over again, right? Like we're here late at night. Like I got to put my wife and kids to bed and we come back and it's like, it's, it's, it's a lot of work and it's intense and it's so much fun. Um, and so right now we're doing about once a quarter and a couple reasons why is number one is you have to go through this before you're allowed to come. Because if you show up and you haven't done the foundation stuff, you're going to be here and we wouldn't, it would take us, we'd not be able to get done in three days what we need to get done in three days. So that's the big part. You have to be prepared. And we show up here, you've got the foundation. Now it's like open up PowerPoint slides and we're going boom, 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 slide, slide by slide. slide, slide and slide. it's fun because ugh, you saw the videos. Like what's happening is like okay, slide number one, either me or Steven teaches the concept. We show five or six examples. You sit down, you, you do it, you create your slide. Everyone bounces up. We walk and talk. You find a partner, you share with them, and you're brainstorming with them. Like, is this right? Is it not right? And figuring it out. You sit down. If there's questions, we throw the thing around, get questions. So everyone's like, okay, slide number one, done, perfect. Boom, let's go slide number two. Slide number three. In the middle of it, it's like, all right, what's your, what's your origin story? Okay, we talk about the origin story. Then we don't just stop there, right? Okay, everyone, get out your phones, find a corner. You're going to Facebook Live your origin story right now to your people because you got to practice telling this thing. Like, we got to get these things happening. Everyone's doing Facebook Lives in here. And then and it's like thing by thing. It's <laughs> three oh. days of a really intense action the whole way through. And if something is wrong, we won't be nice about it and say, oh, well, good job. We'll tell you. No, that was wrong. That's probably not going to sell, you know? So you can get the support you need with it. It is so much fun. And it's this a lot is, of fun. here's a side tangent. So <laughs> when I was growing up, I was, I was a wrestler in high school. And when I was wrestling, um, any wrestler out there knows there's, there's one guy. It's like the Michael Jordan of wrestling. His name's Dan Gable. Dan Gable, uh, he, uh, he wrestled in, in college. He only lost one match, his very last match. Huh. But other than that, he was undefeated, he hauled through high school and through college, and then uh, he lost that one match, and he went on to go and uh, he went and went, uh, to the Olympics, and he was like insane. Like he's, there's so many stories about Dan Gable I could tell you. Like um, as he was training for the Olympics, he would train all day long, seven or eight hours, and then he'd go to bed at night, but he knew that the Russians on the other side of the world were awake, and it stressed him out knowing that they were training while he was sleeping. It pissed him <laughs> off, so he'd wake up, and he would run. And he did like this entire time he's training for the Olympics, right? Then he went to the Olympics and he won, but not only did he win, in fact, uh, Russia came out like a year before and said, we're going to train an athlete with the only goal of this person is to beat Dan Gable. So that was like the stress he had, right? Well, so he goes, he's going nuts, not sleeping, competing. He goes to the Olympics and he wins. Not only does he win the Olympics, not, he didn't get a single point scored on him. Whoa. Like that's, and then he, so this is like, this is the wrestling, like this is Dan Gable, right? Then he went to Iowa, became the head coach of the Iowa Hawkeyes. They ended up winning like 30 NCAA championships in the row. And so when I was in high school, I was like, that dude's the best in the world. And uh, I need to go and be around him once. And so as a high school kid, I started saving up money. I started saving some things and everything. And our junior year, it became kind of a joke. We said, we need to do our pilgrimage to Iowa and go meet Dan Gable. Like we all, like it was a thing we all had to do. So everyone on my team, we saved up money, we did everything. And then a group of like four or five of us, my junior year, we flew to Iowa, wow. went to Gable's camp because I wanted to be Gable trained. I wanted to be in the room with Dan Gable. I wanted to shake his hand. I wanted to hear him because I'm like, he's the best that's ever been in our sport. I need to be around him. And so I, like, I didn't have the money. I saved it, and I came to my pilgrimage to there. Um, and then the experience was amazing. And because he was there, like, oh, like it was just, for me, it was the coolest thing in the world. And, um, and for a lot of, like, internet marketing, I was like, that's kind of what this is. It's like your pilgrimage to Mecca, your pilgrimage to Iowa, whatever it is, your pilgrimage to Boise to come here and, like, be part of this experience. Like, it's one of the things, like, like it's, it's, it's insane. Like, it's just so much fun, and it's an experience you will never forget. Um, you saw in the video, like someone said, like, if I could do this every month or two and come back and redo this again for my business over and over and over again, like they would do it because it's that powerful. So mm. I don't know why I told you that story, but like for me, like that's what this is. It's like, this is your chance to come and be like, be part of this thing and experience it. And, um, we, we put on a good show and it's a lot of fun and you're going to be up late at night, early mornings, you'll be tired, but the time it's done, you will have that thing. 
Okay, when I left Iowa, after being with Dan Gable, I came back. I was a state champ. I got a college scholarship. All those things happened because I was around him, and I had a chance to, to be at the feet of the master, and that's kind of what this is. So, anyway. Mm -hmm. Now, it fits straight into the next one, which is, uh, will I get the same results at the $2,000 level as the $15,000 level? Um, sorry, halfway caught me half a drink. So, <laughs> um, Poorly timed. Honestly, <laughs> it, it comes down to you. Yeah. So, a couple things. Some of you guys are super good self-directed. You can do it from home, and that's awesome. Uh, I don't think there's anything like coming in person. Um, it's different. In, in fact, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys something. Sorry. Yeah. So last night, let me grab my phone. Okay, so last night uh, I got a snapshot from Natalie Hodson, who happened to be sitting in that chair right there, the first fat event, which was in February, and uh, she snapchatted me. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to share her numbers, but sorry, Natalie, if I'm not. Ah, why is my phone locked up? Anyway, she Snapchatted me a quick video, and I was able to capture a screenshot of the video. But Snapchat disappears. And I was like, oh, stupid Snapchat. I don't know if you guys can see this, but here is the picture I, I snapped from my Snapchat. Snapchat. If I get, can I come up to the camera? All right, so this is her Stripe account. She said, this is the offer that I launched at the Fat Event. Too close. Uh, back, let's see if I can, if you can see it. So cool. A little bit closer? How much closer? All right, so this is February, the fat event. This is where she created the offer. She launched it. There's the total, you see the dollar amount there, $722,000 from the fat event. So she told me, she's, she snapped, she said, hey, I came to your fat event. Want to see the results so far? Check it out. And she showed me that graph. Okay. Would that have been worth uh, $15,000 to get $722,000 since February? What month are we in right now? Uh, May. Is it okay if we over deliver? I think we're May. It's worth it, you guys. <laughs> like... And that's just one of them too. Yeah. There was other people in the room. Their very first webinar afterwards, nineteen grand. They're like, what? Their first round out. You guys have been trying this for how long? Probably one of the questions in here is like, I've been doing this for three years. All these home study courses, and I've not been successful with it. I'm like, well, it's because you're missing this really important Come piece. Come to Mecca. <laughs> Come sit over here. here. <laughs> Let us look over your shoulder and be like, no, dude, that offer sucks. Like that's it. Like half the time, it's the market sucks, the offer sucks, like something. Like let us tell you instead of like, yeah. So I, I, I think. If you can, and I understand financial restraints, if, if you can come to Boise, come. It'll be worth it. I promise you that. Mm -hmm. um, if you can't for some reason, do the home study version. Some of you guys will make enough money from the home study version to upgrade in the future and come. So um, if that's what you need to be, then do that. But um, I would recommend like setting this. Because the nice thing about this is the next one's coming up. Like Get in here. Go through this. Set a date. Say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through the online one. I'm going to build my first webinar. I'm going to pitch it. And then we come to the fat event uh, the next week, and now I'll have some results, and we can look at that and make the tweaks and the changes we need, perfect it, and then go back home and just kind of crush it from there. Mm. All right, so this, uh, this next one is, uh, I'm trying to get into the inner circle, but it sounds like it's full. Is this the way in? <laughs> Good question. Yeah, so it's a funny thing. When I first launched Inner Circle, um, uh, you know, we started with, I told you guys yesterday, uh, two days ago, it started like we got results for Drew Canole. He showed his story, and then people came in. We got like 20 or 30 people joined. And then from that group, we got a bunch more results. We got Liz Benny's. You've seen hers. We got Justin and Tara. We got, it, just, it, it became this thing where like everyone's coming in just having insane results. And then, um, but I was like, how do, I, how do I do this in a way where I've seen other mastermind groups where people open it up because they, they want to make a bunch of money. And so they open it up, and they get tons of people coming in, and then like the quality lowers. And so I, I realized that, um, in fact, this is the reason why we built this office because I was like, this room will hold... Um, uh, we'll hold, basically, if we had 100 people, I could facilitate them here in this group within, between four different meetings. So I said, okay, I'm going to cap inner circle at 100 people. And so we did. We capped at 100 people. And uh, I said that when we had like 36 people at the time. And a month and a half later, we had 100 people. And so for the last year and a half, two years, we worked on 100 people, 100 people getting it up. And every once in a while, someone drops out. The wrong people drop out. The right people come back in. But we have a motto in inner circle. It's called inner circle for life. They all have t-shirts that say inner circle for life. So most of them stay in and they don't get out. Um, I say every year there's probably three or four that fall out, spots that fall and open. And so right now it's not open. There's no way to get in. Um, and so when those spots open up, basically what we're going to do is people that have come to the fat event, um, I'll, I will know you all pretty intimately. I'll know your businesses by the time it's over and we'll invite the right people in. So if you want to come to the circle of besties, come here, come to the fat event. You'll meet half the people. The inner circle are coming to these events. In fact, it's required for them to come at least once a year to a fat event. Um, so they're here at these events as well. You get to know people. And basically, as a, as a group, we can basically come back and say, okay, here's someone I want to invite in your circle. Is it a good fit? And then they all vote you in. Vote you in and off the island because um, it's kind of like a family now. So that's yeah. kind of what the inner circle is. You won't want to leave, though, if you actually do get in. Yeah. If you do get in, don't get out. Don't get out, yeah. Um, all right, so next question is, um, 
is new stuff, is the Two Comic Club like set or is new stuff constantly being added in? Are you guys actually in there making it awesome constantly? Cool. Yeah. Yep. So this part is kind of set. I know Steven's having fun and adding in more things uh, to keep making it better and better. Uh, this Expert Secrets Masterclass course we just created is, is going into the members area. He put Spy for Profit in there yesterday. Um, <laughs> things are happening. The two comic club coaching. So what you guys will be seeing that's happening uh, in the very near future is all of the hundred and I don't know how many people have now, hundred and something people in the two comic club. Steven's going to be start doing um, these really cool interview series with them where basically it's like he'll do a quick 10, 15 minute uh, live interview to our Facebook group so everyone will see, uh, like introduce to them and it'll end. And then we'll log into the members area just for two comic club members and we'll go deep into that, that person's actual funnel. And so that's always happening. Again, it's, it's an evolving, growing thing. Uh, the framework doesn't change, the initial framework um, and the calls, like that framework stays, but we're always bringing new things in just to keep giving you ideas and, and, uh, and keep, keep it growing and making the community big, bigger and better. And, and all these people in two comic club, they want to give back right now, which is cool. And when you get there, same thing, like when you get to the spot, like we're expecting you to give back mm -hmm. to the community. And so that's kind of how it all works. Yeah, and if there's something that comes up and we're like, oh man, this is a new thing, this is really working for us, we just, we'll, we'll tell you about it. We Facebook Live, put it in there. We already have an extremely active community in the <laughs> Facebook group. People telling really awesome stories of where they're coming from as they join this, and you guys are really going to like it. But, um, so that, those are all the questions so far right now about Two Comic Club. There are other questions, but the reason I'm not going through them is because these are all things that are going to get answered for you in the Two Comic Club. Yeah. They're, they're like, okay, how do I make the product? Well, we go over that. We just talked about that. You know, <laughs> how am I? Uh, how am I gonna? Uh, you know, when's the fat event? When's you know? How do I actually position this correct? Those are all things that are put in there. And so, anyway, we we want you guys to, to jump yeah. on in. And someone I saw someone had posted uh, also saying like, uh, what's the dates of the fat event? I wonder if I can make it or not. So like I said, uh, we're doing this a few times per year. So if you can't make obviously tomorrow's because or Mondays because you can't because it's blocked out, but. Um, if you can't make the next one, um, again, we have multiple times throughout the year. So you just you have a, a basically a ticket anytime over the year. So one of the dates will work for you. Um, I obviously recommend come coming sooner, not later. So yeah. anything else? Is that kind of the core stuff? That's the core stuff right there. Very cool. Yeah. Um, well, awesome, you guys. So what I really quick want to say is just again, once again, thank you so much for for uh, hanging out this last three days. It's been so fun. Uh, we heard we, we decided to do this a little while ago, and I was nervous and excited. Uh, we've got some amazing guys back here running all the cameras to make this actually work. This is actually live. So a couple people were asking, like, this looks pretty recorded. looks too good. And it's like, because these guys are ninjas. We've got <laughs> camera, here, camera awesome. here, switcher back here. We've got <laughs> streaming to YouTube and Facebook. I, I can't believe it all worked, but it, it turned out really, really cool. Maybe we'll do this again in the future. Um, for those who want the recordings of this, of this event and this course, um, we are not selling them right now. We will be packaging these up and selling them for 1000 bucks here uh, probably in a month or two. Um, but right now, anyone who gets in the Two Comma Club, you will get the recordings of all these probably next week or so after they edit them all up and turn them back into like actual course as opposed to um, you know, this kind of thing. And they'll be in the Two Comma Club members area. Um, and I just, the last thing I want to say for all you guys is, um, is first off, like, I believe in you guys. I hope you understand that. Like, I could have so easily just stayed at home today or this whole week and, and not done all of this. Like, I'm not doing this because of the money. Like, I'm good. I'm covered. Like, life is good. Um, this is this is about you guys, and I hope you see that. I hope you feel that. Like we're here trying to serve you guys. That's why we're letting you guys watch behind the scenes. Because I'm hoping that if you're not able to do this for some reason right now, that you get some nugget or some piece you're able to take, and it'll get you so that you can in the future be able to to come here. Because um, that's what this is all about for us. Um, uh, we've got a big philosophy in our company. If we can't make you money, we don't deserve yours. So it's like, let's help them make money so they can, they can send up, they can come up and make eventually. Because my goal for all of you guys is, if you come in this Two Comic Club, if you, not if, when you, when you get into this and you get into the Two Comic Club and you've made a million dollars, like how many people does that represent? Okay, Natalie Hodson, I'm not gonna, uh, her product, I mean, she made 733,000 bucks like in the last, since February, since she came here, right? Something amazing like ROI. Months. Amazing. But what's amazing, like I know her product, I know her product line, I know she, how she serves the women that she serves, like that represents thousands and thousands of women's lives that she's changing. Like, God, that's cool. And so for me, like at this point, it's not money driven, like it's very mission driven. And so every new person that enters this two comic club, that's why when we had this whole idea for this two comic club coaching, it's because we had 93 people in two comic club. And I'm watching what these people are doing and how the world's being changed. I'm like, how do we get more people in here? Like, when the moment we talk about two comic club, it gives people inspiration. But I'm like, what if we develop something that like grabs you by the hand and says, stop sitting there, come with us to the two comic club? And this, this 93 people turns into 193, turns into 593, turns into 1,000 people. Like, like, we're going to change the world, you guys. And that's what I want to do this for. So there's two ways to, to, to do that right now. Number one, 
home study version, if, if, uh, if your Titan finances do that, this will get you the ability where you're able to make money and, and get to the next level. If you're able to come to Boise, you'd be insane not to. Okay? Come here. Hang out with us. There's nobody doing this at this level besides us. Like, who else? I, I mean, I, I, I love all my competitors and my friends, but nobody else is doing this. Like, we're on the bleeding edge of all this, at the cutting edge of this, and like, I, we're not hiding things. I'm not hiding things back. Like, I'm giving you guys everything because my goal is not, I gotta hide this to make more money. No, my goal is to get you here so you can change the world, so we collectively can change the world together. That's why in the inner circle, it's not why I didn't do what everyone else did and turn this into a coaching program that has 500 or 1,000 people because it's not about the money for me. It's about working with a group of entrepreneurs at a high level where we can literally take them and help them transform the world, okay? And that's what this is about. This is the stepping stone for you guys to get into the inner circle, to go beyond that. But right now, this is it. Let's get you in the two comma club. Let's get you successful. And all these financial things will disappear. It doesn't really matter. When you're in the two comma club, like, now it'll take that pressure, that stress off of you, and now it's all about, like, for you, the same thing. You'll, you'll feel that. So you get the two comma club, you're like, wow, Russell was right. I thought I did this for the money. And it turns out the money doesn't actually matter. Like my life didn't radically transition from when I was making, you know, 100 grand a year to a million bucks a year. But what did transition is my impact. I was able to help and serve so many more people. And like that fulfillment you get from it, like that's the key. So come on with us, you guys. Me and Steven are here to get you from here to here. Come hang out at the Comic Club, you guys. It's a great place to be. And I want you to be there. You deserve to be there. You need to be there. Only way to get there right now is go to twocomicclubcoaching.com. This offer disappears Sunday at midnight. So you've got a day or two to decide. But I don't think... I mean, the only thing you got to decide is you want to be in the Two Comic Club. That's really it. If you do, like, this is the path. So come join us, twocomicclub.com. It'll be worth it. You will experience some amazing things together with us, with the group. And those who come to Boise, you have the, the, the time of your life. So that's the game plan, you guys. Uh, we're going to end right now, and we're going to show some videos of people that have gone on this journey before you. And just know that you know, some of these guys, six months a year ago, a year ago, they were just like you. They were nervous. They were scared. Like, is this actually going to work? Is it not going to work? And the reality is this system, this process works. It's not something we're making up. I've been doing this now for 14 years. We've done it over and over and over again. 93 people got it last year, 11 this last month, and now it's your turn. Um, the path, the process, it works. It's proven. You just got to have faith in yourself because I know you can do it. Do you know you can do it? If you do and you want that, get there's in. no other reason. Just get in. <laughs> yeah. TwoCommonClubCoaching.com. You guys come hang out with us, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks, everybody. See you. Click funnels, click funnels, click funnels, click funnels, click funnels, click funnels. Like, again, so cliche, but it's, it's a f***ing game changer. Funnel Hacking Live is the one event that you need to be at. Having the skill set of knowing how to like build funnels is the single most valued skill set. I think there's a difference between watching it done and actually doing it yourself. I, I would say that that's the main difference. Funnel Hackathon is super 100% hands-on. It's literally, here's what we need to do, now we're all gonna do it together. Like, there's none of that when I fly home tomorrow, because it's done. This event is most suited for people who want to accelerate their story to the market. You're really developing something. You're leaving with something very tangible. This will give you the right mentality to be able to succeed no matter what industry you you know, when you have Russell around you all the time, all of a sudden, like, things don't seem unrealistic. It's just like, I can do this. You enter his world where he is, and you can just see him in action. And the great thing that action is within your business. It's nonstop. I mean, we were at it from 9 a.m. to midnight, just learning, implementing, sharing. It's so cool that I'm going to leave with a product that's going to make me a lot of money. And here it's like a totally safe, vulnerable space where you can just be like, I suck at this stuff. What am I supposed to do here? And then you have guys who have done exactly what you want to do or have done 10 times anything you've ever thought of right there next to you saying, hey, have you thought of this? Do you think that would work for you? And you're like, oh my God, that's amazing. Like, I should start doing that. I learned more in that compressed period of time than I had in almost the two years of being inside of ClickFunnels. I would pay any amount of money if I could come back and do that every month or two. So if you're looking for an opportunity to work with amazing people and work under the guidance of somebody who really knows what they're doing and be able to get things done, it's just, it's unbeatable. 
if you hate money, then this event is not for you because it's just gonna get you more money and you're gonna make an impact in the world doing what you love most. Most people are looking for a job that has meaning. And in a way, it's like, that's what I'd been looking for and seeking and, and, and ultimately found. And it was a role where I was working for this amazing entrepreneur. I got married, I was starting a family, uh, and I had two you know, wonderful daughters with my wife. But in that work, um, the goal that I had sought for myself and succeeded in to, f to do good work and have meaning was actually pulling me away from the thing that mattered the most, and that was my family. So I was traveling, I was um, not mentally there, I was always, you know, at work in a sense. And so I really felt it um, one moment when December of 2012, uh, it was just enough pause to have a little bit of reflection outside of these 70, 100 hour weeks. and. I was with my family, my wife and my two girls, and I basically realized in my future thinking, which is, which is what I do, I saw that they'd be gone. I basically went back after the Christmas break and I resigned from this, this position that I, I felt was success um, because I knew I had to do it for my family. I was lost, basically, you know, because my identity and my pursuit had been so clear. And, and I didn't know where to start, like, you know, how do I continue again? What do I do? You know, I did all these certifications and conferences. And then what was interesting is that in your journey, it's almost like reevaluating your environment, right? Like who's out there? Who can you trust? And then this, this guy named Russell, right? <laughs> it was a webinar. I'm like, why am I watching this? But I couldn't take my eyes off of it. And not only that, I couldn't, keep my wallet in my pocket. <laughs> the way Russell spoke in this webinar, it connected me. As I got deeper, I realized, man, this is really good stuff. And he is very sincere in his values and his mission, and that inspired me. So then I basically went to the events, the live events, got certification, uh, and then ultimately, um, again, so I did something I thought I'd never do, and that was Inner Circle. Two years without income is not easy, uh, no income. And, and again, it was intentional because I felt I needed that space. I knew if I got another job, I would be lost again. The two years with my wife supporting me, no income, I told her, you know, remember that guy? You know, there's this program happening and it's like, it's 25K. And she's, and again, like, she worries about a buck 50. And when I said that, <laughs> thinking about the support and uh, and I think that's that's so awesome and, and I think that's that's where you know when she said yes and I was still not sure right it's like it's a, it's a lot of money it's a lot of money I mean we we, we basically uh, got creative you know to, to basically support this journey and and for her to say yes when she worries about a cup of coffee you know it was huge so first time in anything like a mastermind uh, for me. I prepared like a corporate presentation. And so when I stood there with my note cards, it's funny because I totally blanked because there was a struggle between me being who I was and doing the corporate presentation and me being who I could be to just basically let it go. And that's when I started to talk. And I, I actually feel like half of it was like just gibberish, like I was tripping over myself because I was letting feelings come out as well as well-processed thoughts at the same time. I spent most of my life in corporate and startups and some company startups. Garrett, he read me and he, he just basically challenged me to just change who I thought I was at the moment. So I had a jacket on, he said, you know, take your jacket off and you know and then I had a folder in my hand because I was doing that corporate thing and I was thinking about bringing it and I put the folder on the ground and it's like do 10 push-ups <laughs> right, do support real quick seriously do, right. you, do like 10 push-ups <laughs> at the last push-up when I got up it wasn't even me it was like my future me 
but I knew I had to leave the office forever. Basically, I think it, what it was is all the preparation came out after I stood up after that 10th push-up. We're having an event at Alcatraz. I'm gonna teach you how to escape the office forever. I'll give you a blueprint. And my goal is to get you six figures at some point in your journey so you never have to go back. And it was pretty magical. It really was. And, and what it really um, showed me was the potential, right? <laughs> it just kind of gets me a little bit because it was the potential of what's possible. What I know more than ever from yesterday is like it's a no-brainer now. But you wouldn't feel that until you got here, right? It's a no-brainer because it was what I needed to basically get to another level. The ability to come here, uh, make that investment, and, and see then, you know, right off the bat, <laughs> within hours, <laughs> what happens, and, and I'm still in it for a long time, I guess, so you know, what a, what a deal this is. Because you know what comes after that hug is, did you do it? <laughs> and I'm already thinking that, right? Like, you know, they gave us great ideas about the experience in a, a retreat. And I know I can just hear it and I love it, but it's like, hey, did you get it done, right? So it's that support, but also the tough love, you know, to say, now you gotta do it, man, you know? And in a way, like we've done our job, we're here to support you. What are you gonna do? It wouldn't have happened without any doubt, without that webinar, without you know, the journey, without Russell, Inner Circle, the people that he's brought into the room. Uh, so it was, it was quite an event. <laughs> so we've been married for 11 years now. 11 and a half. And <laughs> this guy is awesome, but he's like a crazy entrepreneur guy. And so he always has all these ideas and some of them are amazing and some of them are like crazy. And we've been doing real estate for about nine years now and that's, we've done really well there and we've systematized that. And he got to where he had a lot of free time and we've always worked together. And there was this problem where I'd you know, be doing things around the house and he's like following me around. And I'm like, you need to find something to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. <laughs> Come on that. And so he started to hear kind of about online marketing. We always knew that if we could get on, online or learn how to market online and how we could kind of open up our world to other things besides just the real estate because as we love real estate it, it can also be risky and so we kind of wanted to mitigate some of that risk and kind of go into some different areas and so we started to hear you know this guy Russell Brunson and we hear his name everywhere we go we're like who is this Russell guy and I think you went on like a binge of checking out podcasts and <laughs> yeah someone told me about one of his podcasts and as I'm coming home from Tampa and layovers and just listen to like, I think 80 podcasts. I'm, maybe that's exaggerating, but listen to a lot of podcasts on the way home and just the thought it was amazing. But then at the same time, okay, I heard him talking about funnels and then someone else was telling me about a funnel. And so we went and hired this guy to help us create a funnel. Cause we had been doing online marketing for about a year, over just over a year at the time, but we had some struggles and we weren't really, we thought it was gonna be a lot easier than it was, right? Yeah. And our message just wasn't getting out there. We weren't uh, finding the people we wanted. So we found this guy who, was going to create this funnel and we didn't even know what a funnel was before that right no we thought you just we were like we have this awesome real estate package we're going to put it online and, and people are going to like oh, i'll we, take that we do well and we thought everyone else is going to want to learn how to do it and it's like oh it was really kind of a letdown <laughs> somewhat depressing <laughs> we almost threw in the towel like several times we paid this guy twenty thousand dollars to create this funnel for us and he said a funnel takes a long time and it's really involved and so after 90 days, I finally gave up on the guy because <laughs> we were spending $20,000 so far. It was $5,000 a month. It was just ridiculous. And he hadn't done anything. And we'd heard more about Russell and we knew he had this event coming up and we're like, okay, we just got to go. We went and before that event, we knew he had his inner circle coaching program, but we're like, no, we're not, you know, we've been scammed before by other high ticket sales and stuff like that. And we're not, we're not paying for this. And after one day, what did we both do? We got his book because we've been hearing all about it. And we're like, this Russell guy, he must be yeah. amazing. We hear these people and they're having these cool stories. And we get this book and we couldn't wait because we're super impatient. And so we get the audio and we're both listening to it. And I'm on the beach running and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is brilliant. Like we're not doing any of this. We need all this stuff. 
But we know there's this inner circle group. We're like, we don't need that. We're gonna, we got okay, this. We got this, this by ourselves. We got <laughs> so we're this. both like, okay, you don't say yes. I don't say yes. <laughs> we're, Robbie, we're, we're not gonna do this. And so we show up when we see Russell on the stage and we, you know, we see Liz and we see all these guys doing all these really cool things. And we're like, you know, we need, we're somewhat new to the online world. Yeah, like some guidance. Let's figure out exactly how to do it. Let's see the people who are doing it and let's join this super cool group. And we were sold, we were in. We had no doubt that he would very shortly help us, our online business turn into a seven figure business. Mm -hmm. There's there's no doubt. And um, it's, it's only been six months, but that's the trajectory we're on. Yeah, so in six months, Russell's done for us in that amount of time what it took us six years in the real estate world to build. I mean, we've made over half a million dollars just in that six months. Just joining that inner circle group, being able to box Russell. You know, for a long time, we went back and forth on, we had this great coaching program. Should we do a high-end coaching program? We're like, no, we don't want to, we don't want to be that guy who yeah, sells the thing. Yeah, I think it was a thought and, until we, <laughs> No, and then we go to this group and everybody's doing all these really neat things and then we're boxing Russell and, you know, the group he's telling us, you need to do this and you can. And so we did it. We tried it. We just threw it out there knowing it was an awesome program, but we were kind of afraid to sell it. And this was two and a half months ago. Two and, and a half months ago. Coaching program. We don't have a sales guy. We didn't do the way we sold it perfectly. We're, we're still somewhat Scratching new, but we got 13 people to sign up and pay us $25,000. And they're now part of the super sharp group, all because of just joining in a circle and being able to be around these people. Because naturally what we do as human beings is we get around these you know, smart, successful people that inspire us. And what do we want to do? Like, I want to fit in, right? Mm -hmm. And so I lift myself and I learn and I stretch and I try to do different things. And that group has done that for us. So now we're like, holy cow, the world's our oyster. We have so many ideas. It's it's exciting. You know, getting to know him and going to work with him has just been like, it's been a huge blessing for our life. And now we just tell everybody about him. Like, Russell, he's like this wizard and he can change your life and he's a genius. And he's like, oh my gosh. It's, Sometimes they think it's amazing, sometimes they're like, what? And what I love too is that, you know, we have three kids. And so it is very important that I spend time with those kids and I'm there at their important times. And I feel like this online marketing world, like we can systematize it and we can get people to help us and I can share and do what we feel like we can do. But I also have freedom to, you know, be with my kids in the morning, take them to their sports, do their homework with them and spend all that time with them. This year we know we'll do seven figures. That's our goal. Um, and to do that in such a short period of time, uh, it's just, it's just mind-blowing and the way that you can scale it and um, yeah, it's been pretty cool. All from a guy who couldn't push play oh, on the DVD player man. on one of our first dates now to being an online techie You guy. said you wouldn't bring that up anymore. <laughs> Gee. I was almost at the point where I was ready to say, you know, maybe I should go find a job. And that's when I said, uh, no way. There's no way. I was lost, you know. I, I was letting my business run me. I wasn't running my business. So I needed, I needed a coach, you know? Uh, and so I, 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 I found you guys via Facebook where somebody else was already using ClickFunnels. And so I, I was like, what is this ClickFunnels thing? So I, I did, some, did some investigative work and finally came to ClickFunnels and I was like, whoa, this is some powerful stuff. I got this software that could totally take my business to the next level, but I'm having trouble using it, like really getting getting my hands around it. So I'm, I'm listening to Russell's podcast, and all of a sudden he starts talking about this inner circle uh, program and this, this Ignite program. So I was like, I, I need to be involved in that. I, I, if I'm going to take my business and my life to the next level, uh, I need to be part of that. To really get that coach to, to diagnose my issues and to come back to me and say hey this is what this is this is where you're struggling and point me in the right direction I never had that as a business owner when I struggle with things or I'm stuck on a topic I go to my ignite members and I ask them for help and that there is priceless because here's here's other successful like-minded individuals uh, like myself and they have the motivation and drive exactly like I have so to team up with people like that on projects and stuff like that is, is extremely powerful and, and, and provides a, a tremendous amount of value you know, to, the, to your business. 
Back when I was like six or seven years old, I joined soccer. I was this little chubby kid, so they, I guess they put me in the soccer program to, to help me manage my weight. So anyway, um, I, I hated the game. Uh, I just did it because my, my parents wanted me to do it. But for, I don't know how we did it, but we made it to the championship game that, that, that season. And so I, I remember running up and down the field and every time the ball would be on one side of the field, I'd be on the other. And, and every time I would try to get to the ball, the ball would be... So anyway, uh, it was a mess. So I'll, I'll never forget this. When I was... I, I remember being in the game and, and just... I remember all the people on the sideline. And the one guy that stood out from, from all those people were my, was my dad. And I remember him just, just screaming, go, go, get the ball, get the ball. And uh, I looked at him, and I don't know what it was, but it just made me haul ass down the, down the field and get that ball. And, 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 and I, I, I chased the ball down, and, 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 and sure enough, I, I scored my first goal ever. And that was, the, was a point in my life at such a young age that said, no matter what you do, Never give up, because when you never give up, the outcome is always positive, and, it, and, and, and you'll, you'll always be successful. And that was my biggest thing. I, I said before joining the program, you know, I don't know if I'm going to get my return, but, but, Bob, but if I don't do it, I'm just, I'm going to be where I'm, where I'm at. So I said, don't give up, do it, do it. And so I, I did, and, 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 and I always keep my father up to date with, with my business, because he's always, he's always worried, he's my dad, so he'll always worry about me. When I told him I made my money back on the program, he, his text message, he's 75 years old and he's text messaging me, and he wrote back, wow, so proud of you. And, and, and when I got that from him, it just made me, it just made me, I don't know, I, I'm speechless, I'm sorry, but it, it, it just gave me that confidence and, 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 and that reassurance that, and I always thought back to that soccer game, that you just, you never give up. Russell's positivity and his team, like Christian and Brent and all those guys, that they all have that same mindset, never give up, always follow through, always move forward, and to have that support is just tremendous and I'm very thankful for, for Russell and his team for helping me. I've been working with dentists for about 10 years and I've helped set up practices for doctors all over the place and some really cool success stories. After 10 years and 7 days I wrote this book and it became a bestseller and uh, it was very specific just for dentists in the dental niche to give them a step-by-step -step proven path to go find a location for their practice. But I still didn't have that kind of platform to, to grow it exponentially beyond myself and beyond my own, my own unproven efforts, kind of dabbling with systems and dabbling with marketing. I got an invitation to a webinar with this guy named Russell. There was a picture of him like this or something on, on a picture. And it said, I made $17,000 a day on a photo. So I, I, I clicked and I listened and I thought, this guy's crazy, but that sounds really interesting and it doesn't really apply to me, but it sounds like this guy from this webinar has some ideas that I could apply to my business. When I was making the decision to sign up for the Ignite program, I actually didn't even know what I was signing up for. Uh, there, there was this sort of understanding that there was, there was this future result that I believed they could get me to, and I had no idea how to get there. And I remember asking Randy on the phone, how, how are we going to get there? And he said, well, we've got all these other team members, we've got these people, this one guy buys Facebook ads, this other guy does strategy, this other guy helps build pages. And I was like, ah, those all sound really good. I guess, I guess this is for me then. I have people who I can call now on the Ignite team who take care of Facebook ads and help me understand what to do. People who help me build pages really well um, in connecting with Russell directly, asking him about specific copywriting questions or specific ways to deliver presentations that I'm putting together. But they're able to see what's working and I'm able to kind of jump on that train with them and apply it to my industry so that my business can make more revenue, so I can provide really well for my family, so I can save for my future, and now so we can make a bigger impact across the world with uh, things like bringing our clients into third world countries to serve them really well. The Ignite program for me isn't just advice. We've got new contracts just since that seven month point. Those new contracts are over a million dollars in new contracted revenue, which you know, I don't say that to brag, but it, you know, it's, it's my way of kind of thinking, holy crap, this is really working. Like not only are we delivering amazing results and getting 
fantastic testimonials from people and high fives from our clients and big bear hugs and they're putting us on their Facebook pages as thank yous for what we're doing. You know, those kinds of things are, are awesome. And we have this metric called revenue that shows that people are responding to what we're doing and they're liking what we're doing. And I, I'm 100% sure that this new trajectory of revenue for us would not have been possible if I didn't pursue the path with the Ignite program. It's been, it's been really good. So I want to tell you something. Um, hiring Russell Brunton was bar none one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life. And I want to tell you that when you work with him, he takes you on this journey that you 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 won't even know that um, that you can go on. Like it's like I, I at the very beginning I had all these hopes and dreams and visions, and I honestly thought that yay I'm working with the overnight success maker and. Like, I thought, whoa, I'm going to make like $500,000 in the first month of working with him. But you know what? The eventuality is that sometimes in life it doesn't always work out the exact way that you want it to work out. And that's certainly where it got to for me. So my 2014 was one of the hardest years I've ever had in my entire life. Like, there was cancer in the family. Um, people were in hospital. I thought I was going to... Um, at one stage, I... Um, you know, I thought I was going to lose my partner. Like, it was, just wasn't a, a pleasant scenario at all. And by losing my partner, I mean, like, hospitalization, like, really not, like, from really bad health issues. And, uh, you know, there were just times when, I promise you, I wanted to give up. And sometimes I actually, when, I'm, when I say that, I don't just mean give up in business. Like, I, I for me, when I, like, when I hired Russell, it really was, like, do like, it sounds really dramatic, but I, like my life's mission, it's so, it's so big. Like I really, really, really wanted to connect with someone who could get me to the next level, who could help me really get from that really stranded, grounded place, you know, sitting at my office every single day, to a place where I'm, you know, helping like people all around the world. And that's why I chose Russell. Um, but man, it was hard. It was really, really, really hard at times to have to deal with those things that come up in your personal life all the time. Like, it was not an easy scenario in 2014, but I'm really, really, really grateful that I listened to Russell. I'm really grateful that I hired him as a coach. Like, he, the man has changed my life forever. Like, what, you know, once you like my mind has been blown completely and, and there's no way back. Like I, I know that anything is possible now. So I go to this Tony Robbins event like 12 months ago and I'm rocking the house, like things are going crazy. Com the event completely changed my life because I'm a huge fan of Tony Robbins. And the third day, the last day I was there, transformation day, which is like, you're already on this crazy high from Tony Robbins, like you walked on fire and you're like, you know, you're like, yes, yes. Uh, and I go to the water fountain and I meet this guy for like two minutes and it was just a strange passing, like nothing was serious about it. Um, and I got his name and I got his number and after the event, when I'm, I'm driving home, I actually get a call from this guy that I met for two minutes and he goes, hey Mike, it's Matthew from the water fountain. I'm like, Matthew from the water fountain? And he goes, I met you Tony Robbins. I was like, oh yeah, hey, what's up man? And he was like, listen, I know you're driving back to Tampa because that's where I live. He's like, I know you're driving back to Tampa. Let me, let me get a ride with you. And I was like, uh, no. I was like, oh, okay. So I pulled into a gas station and I waited for him for like 20 minutes to meet me so I can give him a ride. And as we were driving back up to Tampa, he start, we start talking about the event and we're excited. And he's telling me about his past because I didn't know this guy. And he starts telling me about this thing that he's super into, which is called internet marketing. And I, at this time, I had no idea what internet marketing was. We started talking about building businesses and just painting this whole future, and we were still on fire from Tony. So I drop him off and nothing really comes of it. But like a week later, I get a call from Matthew again. And he's like, Mike, he's like, I'm doing this thing, Inner Circle Mastermind, you gotta call this number, I'm gonna text it to you, you gotta call this number and talk to this guy, he's gonna tell you all about it. But I'm doing it, I'm in, and you have to do it with me. You have to promise you. I'm like, okay, dude, I'll do it with you, whatever. And I call this guy, and I start talking to him, and he tells me about, this program 
It's called the Inner Circle Mastermind, and it's you team up with this guy named Russell Brunson, who's this internet marketing guru, uh, and he's changed these people's lives. And I'm thinking, okay, that's cool. I don't know what internet marketing is. You know, I talked about it in a car for three hours. I talked to this guy who was telling me about this program. He's like, Mike, and he sells me. He's like, you get to do learning this. You can build businesses. You're going to drive traffic. And I'm like, this sounds really cool. He's like, you're going to make a lot of money. And by the way, your buddy's doing it with you. And I was like, cool, fun. He's like, all right, so the program costs, he told me that the cost of the program, he said it was $25,000. And I was like, and at this time, I had just dropped out of college and I took all my money from my college fund and was going to live off it for the year. So I dropped out of college and I moved to Tampa. Like I moved across the country to Tampa and I only had $28,000 in the bank. And so my plan was to get a job, to kind of figure out my life, to build it, to do, just kind of figure it out. I had no intention of spending $25,000 on a program. I'm like, all right, well, that's, that sounds good. Like I got to talk to Matthew before I make any decisions. So I hang up with this guy, I call Matthew and I'm like, dude, this, this program is $25,000. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like an inner circle mastermind? He's like, trust me, trust me. Russell knows everything about internet marketing. Like you're gonna, don't worry. Like I'm doing it with you. We're gonna crush it together. We're gonna build business, Mike. This is the dreams we talked about with the car. So I'm like, all right, man, like 25, I can't know what this doesn't go past me and you. My dad's gonna freaking hate me. He's like, don't worry, just sign over there. Just, just give him the check and we'll be good. So I call this guy back. I write a check for $25,000. I'm like, all right, I'm in. I send it to him and I'm, I'm like, I'm pumped up. I'm like, oh, you know, going to Boise in a month. Cause that was the event was, and I call Matthew back. I'm like, Matthew, I'm in, I bought it. Let's do it. Like it's rock, come over and let's, let's plan out our trip. And he goes, dude, that's so awesome. I'm not doing the program. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, I'm not doing it. Like, uh, I don't have the money for it. I'm thinking like, what dude? Like you, <laughs> I just bought this program for $25,000. You're not, you're not going to do it. So I was sitting in my room like, oh, I gotta return this program, I'm freaking out. I only got $3,000 for a whole year. I don't know what internet marketing is. So I fly out and I'm there for a couple days and in that process I had learned more about internet marketing than, than I felt like. It was like a, a waterfall of information. And I took that and over the last eight months, I mean, just to credit it, last week I made more in one check last week than I've made it all last year doing the traditional bit building business or working a job I made more in that week so Matthew calls me up like three weeks ago I'm, I'm starting to make money I'm doing good Matthew calls me up and he's like Mike dude how are you doing I'm like oh, great uh, I've been in Russell's mastermind thanks by the way and he's like oh that's awesome man listen I needed some help I'm really stuck and I could just sense on the phone like he was just struggling right and what's crazy is like, cause me and him were in the car like less than a year ago talking about building businesses online. And we were both had these visions and these plans and I'm like hitting all the goals that I was talking about in the car. Like my first five figure check in a week, done. Being able to help pay my parents, you know, being able to really give back to the people I care about. I'm doing all these things that I was telling him about and he hasn't moved at all. He's still in the exact same place. And so I might, some people might even think he's regressing, but he's in the exact same place. And what, what shocked me was like, I was like, Matthew, dude, you just should have joined the program with me. Like you're in the place that we were at a year ago. And I've, and I'm talking about, I'm living the things that we were talking about for the people who are, are thinking about signing up with the program or joining the mastermind or the ignite program. And I think that if you look at my story, someone who eight months ago didn't know anything about internet marketing, anything at all to now traveling the world, hanging out with people from all types of internet backgrounds, making a good living for myself. There's no, like, there's no reason that anyone couldn't do this if you teamed up with the right group. And that's what the mastermind did for me. It got me around people who were thinking on a different level than me. Cause it's not like functionally it's hard, right? Technically it's not hard with the programs that we have today and with all the resources that we have. But you have to believe that you can do it. And the only way that I was able to do that was by just getting off the phone with, with Russell's guys and saying, all right, like, I believe that you can take me where I want to go. Like, I have, I have faith that this program is going to change, elevate my thinking. And that is what everyone needs to do. And that's why everyone needs this program.
Everyone needs to come out to Boise and everyone needs to hang out in the mastermind. It's the greatest decision anyone could make, hands down. Click funnels, click funnels, click funnels, click funnels, click funnels, click funnels. Like, again, so cliche, but it's, it's a f***ing game changer. Funnel Hacking Live is the one event that you need to be at. Having the skill set of knowing how to like build funnels is the single most valued skill set. I think there's a difference between watching it done and actually doing it yourself. I, I would say that that's the main difference. Funnel Hackathon is super 100% hands-on. It's literally, here's what we need to do, now we're all gonna do it together. Like, there's none of that when I fly home tomorrow, because it's done. This event is most suited for people who want to accelerate their story to the market. You're really developing something. You're leaving with something very tangible. This will give you the right mentality to be able to succeed no matter what industry you you know, when you have Russell around you all the time, all of a sudden, like, things don't seem unrealistic. It's just like, I can do this. You enter his world where he is, and you can just see him in action. And the great thing that action is within your business. It's nonstop. I mean, we were at it from 9 a.m. to midnight, just learning, implementing, sharing. It's so cool that I'm going to leave with a product that's going to make me a lot of money. And here it's like a totally safe, vulnerable space where you can just be like, I suck at this stuff, what am I supposed to do here? And then you have guys who have done exactly what you want to do or have done 10 times anything you've ever thought of right there next to you saying, hey, have you thought of this? You think that would work for you? And you're like, oh my God, that's amazing. Like, I should start doing that. I learned more in that compressed period of time than I had in almost the two years of being inside of ClickFunnels. I would pay any amount of money if I could come back and do that every month or two. So if you're looking for an opportunity to work with amazing people and work under the guidance of somebody who really knows what they're doing and be able to get things done, it's just, it's unbeatable. If you hate money, then this event is not for you because it's just gonna get you more money and you're gonna make an impact in the world doing what you love most. Most people are looking for a job that has meaning. And in a way, it's like, that's what I'd been looking for and seeking and, and, and ultimately found. And it was a role where I was working for this amazing entrepreneur. I got married, I was starting a family, uh, and I had two you know, wonderful daughters with my wife. But in that work, um, the goal that I had sought for myself and succeeded in to, to do good work and have meaning was actually pulling me away from the thing that mattered the most, and that was my family. So I was traveling, I was um, not mentally there, I was always, you know, at work in a sense. And so I really felt it um, one moment when December of 2012, uh, it was just enough pause to have a little bit of reflection outside of these 70, 100 hour weeks. and. I was with my family, my wife and my two girls, and I basically realized in my future thinking, which is, that, which is what I do, I saw that they'd be gone. I basically went back after the Christmas break and I resigned from this, this position that I, I felt was success um, because I knew I had to do it for my family. I was lost, basically, you know, because my identity and my pursuit had been so clear. And, and I didn't know where to start, like, you know, how do I continue again? What do I do? You know, I did all these certifications and conferences. And then what was interesting is that in your journey, it's almost like reevaluating your environment, right? Like who's out there? Who can you trust? And then this, this guy named Russell, right? <laughs> it was a webinar. I'm like, why am I watching this? But I couldn't take my eyes off of it. And not only that, I couldn't, keep my wallet in my pocket. <laughs> the way Russell spoke in this webinar, it connected me. As I got deeper, I realized, man, this is really good stuff. And he is very sincere in his values and his mission, and that inspired me. So then I basically went to the events, the live events, got certification, uh, and then ultimately, um, again, so I did something I thought I'd never do, and that was Inner Circle. Two years without income is not easy. Uh, no income. And again, 
It was intentional because I felt I needed that space. I knew if I got another job, I would be lost again. The two years with my wife supporting me, no income, I told her, you know, remember that guy? You know, there's this program happening and it's like, it's 25K. And she's, and again, like, she worries about a buck 50. And when I said that, and <laughs> thinking about the support and uh, and I think that's that's so awesome and, and I think that's that's where you know when she said yes and I was still not sure right it's like it's a, it's a lot of money it's a lot of money I mean we we, we basically uh, got creative you know to, to basically support this journey and and for her to say yes when she worries about a cup of coffee you know it was huge so first time in anything like a mastermind uh, for me. I prepared like a corporate presentation. And so when I stood there with my note cards, it's funny because I totally blanked. Because there was a struggle between me being who I was and doing the corporate presentation and me being who I could be to just basically let it go. And that's when I started to talk and I, I actually feel like half of it was like just gibberish, like I was tripping over myself because I was letting feelings come out as well as well-processed thoughts at the same time. I spent most of my life in corporate and startups and some company startups. Garrett, he read me and he, he just basically challenged me to just change who I thought I was at the moment. So I had a jacket on, he said, you know, take your jacket off and you know and then I had a folder in my hand because I was doing that corporate thing and I was thinking about bringing it and I put the folder on the ground and he's like do 10 push-ups <laughs> like, do some push-ups real quick seriously you right. you do like 10 push-ups <laughs> at the last push-up when I got up it wasn't even me it was like my future me but I knew I had to leave the office Basically, I think it, what it was, was all the preparation came out after I stood up after that 10th push-up. We're having an event at Alcatraz. I'm going to teach you how to escape the office forever. I'll give you a blueprint. And my goal is to get you six figures at some point in your journey so you never have to. And it was pretty magical, it really was. And, and what it really um, showed me was the potential, right? <laughs> it just kind of gets me a little bit because it was the potential of what's possible. What I know more than ever from yesterday is like it's a no-brainer now. But you wouldn't feel that until you got here, right? It's a no-brainer because it was what I needed to basically get to another level. The ability to come here, uh, make that investment, and and see them, you know, right off the bat, <laughs> within hours, <laughs> what happens, and I'm still in it for a long time, I guess, so, you know, what a, what a deal this is. Because you know what comes after that hug is, did you do it? <laughs> and I'm already thinking that, right? Like, you know, they gave us great ideas about the experience in a, a retreat. And I know I can just hear it and I love it, but it's like, hey, did you get it done, right? So it's that support, but also the tough love, you know, to say, now you gotta do it, man, you know? And in a way, like we've done our job, we're here to support you, what are you gonna do? It wouldn't have happened without any doubt, without that webinar, without, you know, the journey, without Russell, Inner Circle, the people that he's brought into the room. Uh, so it was, it was quite an event. <laughs> so we've been married for 11 years now. 11 and a half. And <laughs> this guy is awesome, but he's like a crazy entrepreneur guy. And so he always has all these ideas and some of them are amazing and some of them are like crazy. And we've been doing real estate for about nine years now and that's, we've done really well there and we've systematized that and he got to where he had a lot of free time and we've always worked together. and. There was this problem where I'd you know, be doing things around the house and he's like following me around. And I'm like, you need to find something to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Come on, <laughs> and so he started to hear kind of about online marketing. We always knew that if we could get on online or learn how to market online and 
how we could kind of open up our world to other things besides just the real estate because as we love real estate it, it can also be risky and so we kind of wanted to mitigate some of that risk and kind of go into some different areas and so we started to hear you know this guy Russell Brunson we hear his name everywhere we go we're like who is this Russell guy and I think you went on like a binge of checking out podcasts and <laughs> yeah someone told me about one of his podcasts and as I'm coming home from Tampa and layovers and just listen to like I think 80 podcasts I'm, maybe that's exaggerating but listen to a lot of podcasts on the way home and just th thought it was amazing but then at the same time okay I heard him talking about funnels and then someone else was telling me about a funnel and so we went and hired this guy to help us create a funnel because we had been doing online marketing for about a year over just over a year at the time but we had some struggles and we weren't really we thought it was gonna be a lot easier than it was right yeah. and our message just wasn't getting out there we weren't uh, finding the people we wanted so we found this guy who was going to create this funnel and we didn't even know what a funnel was before that right no we thought you just we were like we have this awesome real estate package we're going to put it online and, and people gonna are going to like oh, i'll we, take that we do well and we thought everyone else is going to want to learn how to do it and it's like oh it was really kind of a letdown Deflating. somewhat <laughs> depressing <laughs> we almost threw in the towel like several times we paid this guy twenty thousand dollars to create this funnel for us and he said the funnel takes a long time and it's really involved and so after 90 days, I finally gave up on the guy because <laughs> we were spending $20,000 so far. It was $5,000 a month. It was just ridiculous. And he hadn't done anything. And we'd heard more about Russell and we knew he had this event coming up and we're like, okay, we just got to go. We went and before that event, we knew he had his inner circle coaching program, but we're like, no, we're not, you know, we've been scammed before by other high ticket sales and stuff like that and we're not we're not paying for this and after one day what did both do we got his book because we've been hearing all about it and we're like this russell guy he must be yeah. amazing we hear these people and they're having these cool stories and we get this book and we couldn't wait because we're super impatient and so we get the audio and we're both listening to it and i'm on the beach running and i'm like oh my gosh this is brilliant like we're not doing any of this we need all this stuff but we know there's this inner circle group. We're like, we don't need that. We're gonna, we got okay. this, we got, got this, this by ourselves. We got <laughs> so we're this. both like, okay, you don't say yes. I don't say yes. <laughs> we're, Robbie, we're, we're not gonna do this. And so we show up when we see Russell on the stage and we, you know, we see Liz and we see all these guys doing all these really cool things. And we're like, you know, we need, we're somewhat new to the online world. Yeah, like some guidance. Let's figure out exactly how to do it. Let's see the people who are doing it and let's join this super cool group. And we were sold, we were in. We had no doubt that he would very shortly help us, our online business turn into a seven figure business. Mm -hmm. There's there's no doubt. And um, it's, it's only been six months, but that's the trajectory we're on. Yeah, so in six months, Russell's done for us in that amount of time what it took us six years in the real estate world to build. I mean, we've made over half a million dollars just in that six months. Just joining that inner circle group, being able to box Russell, you know, for a long time we went back and forth on we had this great coaching program. Should we do a high-end coaching program? We're like, no, we don't want to. We don't want to be that guy who yeah, sells I don't the even thing. Think it was a and, until we, <laughs> no, and then we go to this group and everybody's doing all these really neat things, and then we're boxing Russell, and you know, the group he's telling us you need to do this, and you can, and so we did it. We tried it. We just threw it out there, knowing it was an awesome program, but we were kind of afraid to sell it. And this was two and a half months ago. Two and a half months ago. Program. We don't have a sales guy. We didn't do <laughs> the way we sold it perfectly. We're, we're still somewhat Scratching new, the surface. but we got 13 people to sign up and pay us $25,000. And they're now part of the super sharp group, all because of just joining in a circle and being able to be around these people. Because naturally what we do as human beings is we get around these you know, smart, successful people that inspire us. And what do we want to do? Like, I want to fit in, right? Mm -hmm. And so I lift myself and I learn and I stretch and I try to do different things. And that group has done that for us. So now we're like, holy cow, the world's our oyster. We have so many ideas. It's it's exciting. You know, getting to know him and going to work with him has just been like, it's been a huge blessing for our life. And now we just tell everybody about him. Like, Russell, he's like this wizard and he can change your life and he's a genius. And he's like, oh my gosh. It's, Sometimes they think it's amazing, sometimes they're like, go ahead. And what I love too is that, you know, we have three kids. And so it is very important that I spend time with those kids and I'm there at their important times. And I feel like this online marketing world, like we can systematize it and we can get people to help us and I can share and do what we feel like we can do. But I also have freedom to, you know, be with my kids in the morning, take them to their sports, do their homework with them and spend all that time with them. This year we know we'll do seven figures. That's our goal. Um, and to do that in such a short period of time, uh, it's just it's just mind-blowing and the way that you can scale it and um, 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. All from a guy who couldn't push play oh, on the DVD player man. on one of our first dates. Now to being an online techie guy. You dad. said you Ooh, wouldn't bring that not. up anymore. <laughs> I was almost at the point where I was ready to say, you know, maybe I should go find a job. And that's when I said, uh, no way. There's no way. I was lost, you know. I, I was letting my business run me. I wasn't running my business. So I needed, I needed a coach, you know. Uh, and so I, 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 I found you guys via Facebook where somebody else was already using ClickFunnels. And so I, I was like, what is this ClickFunnels thing? So I, I did some did some investigative work and finally came to ClickFunnels and I was like, whoa, this is some powerful stuff. I got this software that could totally take my business to the next level, but I'm having trouble using it, like really getting getting my hands around it. So I'm, I'm listening to Russell's podcast and all of a sudden he starts talking about this inner circle uh, program and this, this Ignite program. So I was like, I, I need to be involved in that. I, I, if I'm going to take my business and my life to the next level, uh, I need to be part of that. To really get that coach to, to diagnose my issues and to come back to me and say, hey, this is what, this is, this is where you're struggling and point me in the right direction. I never had that as a business owner. When I struggle with things or I'm stuck on a topic, I go to my Ignite members and I ask them for help. And that there is priceless because here's, here's other successful, like-minded individuals uh, like myself and they have the motivation and drive exactly like I have. So to team up with people like that on projects and so that is, is extremely powerful and, and, and provides a, a tremendous amount of value you know, to, the, to your business. Back when I was like six or seven years old, I joined soccer. I was this little chubby kid, so they, I guess they put me in the soccer program to, to help me manage my weight. So anyway, um, I, I hated the game. Uh, I just did it because my, my parents wanted me to do it. But for, I don't know how we did it, but we made it to the championship game that, that, that season. And so I, I remember running up and down the field and every time the ball would be on one side of the field, I'd be on the other. And, and every time I would try to get to the ball, the ball would be, so anyway, uh, it was a mess. So I'll, I'll never forget this. When I was, I, I remember being in the game and, and just, I remember all the people on the sideline and the one guy that stood out from, from all those people were my, was my dad. And I remember him just, just screaming, go, go, get the ball, get the ball. And uh, I looked at him and I don't know what it was, but it just made me haul ass down the, down the field and get that ball. And, 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 and I, I, I chased the ball down and, 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 and sure enough, I, I scored my first goal ever. And that was, the, was a point in my life at such a young age that said, no matter what you do, Never give up, because when you never give up, the outcome is always positive, and, it, and, and, and you'll, you'll always be successful. And that was my biggest thing. I, I said before joining the program, you know, I don't know if I'm going to get my return, but, 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 but if I don't do it, I'm just, I'm going to be where I'm, where I'm at. So I said, don't give up, do it, do it. And so I, I did, and, 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 and I always keep my father up to date with, with my business, because he's always... He's always worried, he's my dad, so he'll always worry about me. When I told him I made my money back on the program, he, his text message, he's 75 years old and he's text messaging me, and he wrote back, wow, so proud of you. And, and, and when I got that from him, it just made me, it just made me, I don't know, I, I'm speechless, I'm sorry, but it, it, it just gave me that confidence and, 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 and that reassurance that and I always thought back to that soccer game that you just, you never give up. Russell's positivity and his team, like Christian and Brent and all those guys, that they all have that same mindset, never give up, always follow through, always move forward. And to have that support is just tremendous. And I'm very thankful for, for Russell and his team for helping me. I've been working with dentists for about 10 years and I've helped set up practices for doctors all over the place and some really cool success stories. After 10 years and seven days, I wrote this book and it became a bestseller and uh, it was very specific just for dentists in the dental niche to give them a step-by-step -step 
proven path to go find a location for their practice. But I still didn't have that kind of platform to to grow it exponentially beyond myself and beyond my own my own unproven efforts, kind of dabbling with systems and dabbling with marketing. I got an invitation to a webinar with this guy named Russell. There was a picture of him like this or something on a, on a picture. And it said, I made $17,000 a day on a photo. So I, I, I clicked and I listened and I thought, this guy's crazy, but that sounds really interesting and it doesn't really apply to me, but it sounds like this guy from this webinar has some ideas that I could apply to my business. When I was making the decision to sign up for the Ignite program, I actually didn't even know what I was signing up for. Uh, there, there was this sort of understanding that there was, there was this future result that I believed they could get me to, and I had no idea how to get there. And I remember asking Randy on the phone, how, how are we gonna get there? And he said, well, we've got all these other team members, we got these people, this one guy buys Facebook ads, this other guy does strategy, this other guy helps build pages. And I was like, ah, those all sound really good. I guess, I guess this is for me then. I have people who I can call now on the Ignite team who take care of Facebook ads and help me understand what to do. People help me build pages really well um, in connecting with Russell directly, asking him about specific copywriting questions or specific ways to deliver presentations that I'm putting together. But they're able to see what's working and I'm able to kind of jump on that train with them and apply it to my industry so that my business can make more revenue, so I can provide really well for my family, so I can save for my future, and now so we can make a bigger impact across the world with uh, things like bringing our clients into third world countries to serve them really well. The Ignite program for me isn't just advice. We've got new contracts just since that seven month point. Those new contracts are over a million dollars in new contracted revenue, which you know, I don't say that to brag, but it, you know, it's, it's my way of kind of thinking, holy crap, this is really working. Like not only are we delivering amazing results and getting fantastic testimonials from people and high fives from our clients and big bear hugs and they're putting us on their Facebook pages as thank yous for what we're doing. You know, those kinds of things are, are awesome. And we have this metric called revenue that shows that people are responding to what we're doing and they're liking what we're doing. And I, I'm 100% sure that this new trajectory of revenue for us would not have been possible if I didn't pursue the path with the Ignite program. It's been and really good. So I want to tell you something. Um, hiring Russell Brunton was bar none one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life. And I want to tell you that when you work with him, he takes you on this journey that you 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 won't even know that um, that you can go on. Like it's. Like I, I, at the very beginning, I had all these hopes and dreams and visions, and I honestly thought that, yay, I'm working with the overnight success maker, and like I thought, whoa, I'm gonna make like five hundred thousand dollars in the first month of working with him. But you know what? The eventuality is that sometimes in life it doesn't always work out the exact way that you want it to work out, and that's certainly where it got to for me. So my 2014 was one of the hardest years I've ever had in my entire life. Like. There was cancer in the family, um, people were in hospital, I thought I was going to, um, at one stage I, um, you know, I thought I was going to lose my partner, like it was, just wasn't a, a pleasant scenario at all and by losing my partner I mean like hospitalization, like really not, like from really bad health issues and uh, you know there were just times when I promise you I wanted to give up and sometimes I actually when I when I say that I don't just mean give up in business like I I for me when I like when I hired Russell it really was like do like sounds really dramatic but I, like my life's mission it's so it's so big like I really 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 wanted to connect with someone who could get me to the next level who could help me really get from that really stranded, grounded place, you know, sitting at my office every single day, to a place where I'm, you know, helping like people all around the world. And that's why I chose Russell. Um, but man, it was hard. It was really, really, really hard at times to have to deal with those things that come up in your personal life all the time. Like, it was not an easy scenario in 2014, but I'm really, really, really grateful that I listened to Russell. I'm really grateful that I hired him as a coach. Like, he, the man has changed my life forever. Like, what, you know, once you, 
like my mind has been blown completely and, and there's no way back. Like I, I know that anything is possible now. So I go to this Tony Robbins event like 12 months ago and I'm rocking the house, like things are going crazy. Com the event completely changed my life because I'm a huge fan of Tony Robbins. And the third day, the last day I was there, transformation day, which is like, you're already on this crazy high from Tony Robbins, like you walked on fire and you're like, you know, you're like, yes, yes. Uh, and I go to the water fountain and I meet this guy for like two minutes and it was just a strange passing, like nothing was serious about it. Um, and I got his name and I got his number. And after the event, when I'm, I'm driving home, I actually get a call from this guy that I met for two minutes and he goes, hey Mike, it's Matthew from the water fountain. I'm like, Matthew from the water fountain? And he goes, I met you Tony Robbins. I was like, oh yeah, hey, what's up, man? And he was like, listen, I know you're driving back to Tampa, because that's where I live. He's like, I know you're driving back to Tampa. Let me, let me get a ride with you. And I was like, uh, no. I was like, oh, okay. So I pulled into a gas station, and I waited for him for like 20 minutes to meet me so I can give him a ride. And as we were driving back up to Tampa, he start, we start talking about the event, we're excited. And he's telling me about his past, because I didn't know this guy. And he starts telling me about this thing that he's super into, which is called internet marketing. And I, at this time, I had no idea what internet marketing was. We started talking about building businesses and just painting this whole future, and we were still on fire from Tony. So I drop him off and nothing really comes of it. But like a week later, I get a call from Matthew again. And he's like, Mike, he's like, I'm doing this thing, Inner Circle Mastermind, you gotta call this number, I'm gonna text it to you, you gotta call this number and talk to this guy, he's gonna tell you all about it. But I'm doing it, I'm in, and you have to do it with me. You have to promise you. I'm like, okay, dude, I'll do it with you, whatever. And I call this guy and I start talking to him and he tells me about this program called the Inner Circle Mastermind. And it's you team up with this guy named Russell Brunson, who's this internet marketing guru. Uh, and he's changed all these people's lives. And I'm thinking, okay, that's cool. I don't know what internet marketing is. You know, I talked about it in a car for three hours. I talked to this guy who was telling me about this program. He's like, Mike, and he sells me on. He's like, you get to do learning this, you're gonna build businesses, you're gonna drive traffic. And I'm like, this sounds really cool. You're gonna make a lot of money. And by the way, your buddy's doing it with you. And I was like, cool, fun. He's like, all right, so the program costs, he told me that the cost of the program, he said it was $25,000. And I was like, Ugh. and at this time, I had just dropped out of college and I took all my money from my college fund and was gonna live off it for the year. Cause I dropped out of college and I moved to Tampa. Like I moved across the country to Tampa and I only had $28,000 in the bank. And so my plan was to get a job, to kind of figure out my life, to build it, to do, just kind of figure it out. I had no intention of spending $25,000 on a program. I'm like, all right, well, that's, that sounds good. Like I got to talk to Matthew before I make any decisions. So I hang up with this guy, I call Matthew and I'm like, dude, this, this program is $25,000. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like an inner circle mastermind? He's like, trust me, trust me. Russell knows everything about internet marketing. Like you're gonna, don't worry. Like, I'm doing it with you. We're going to crush it together. We're going to build business. Mike, this is the dreams we talked about with the car. So I'm like, all right, man, like 25, I can't know what this doesn't go past me and you. My dad's going to freaking hate me. He's like, don't worry. Just sign over there. Just, just give him the check and we'll be good. So I call this guy back. I write a check for $25,000. I'm like, all right, I'm in. I send it to him and I'm, I'm like, I'm pumped up. I'm like, I'm, you know, going to Boise in a month because that was the event was and I call Matthew back. I'm like, Matthew, I'm in. I bought it. Let's do it. Like, it's rock. Come over and let's, let's plan out our trip. And he goes, dude, that's so awesome. I'm not doing the program. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, I'm not doing it. Like, uh, I don't have the money for it. I'm thinking like, what, dude? Like you, <laughs> I just bought this program for $25,000. You're not, you're not going to do it. So I was sitting in my room like, oh, I got to return this program. I'm freaking out. I only got $3,000 for a whole year. I don't know what internet marketing is. So I fly out and I'm there for a couple of days. And in that process, I had learned more about internet marketing than, than I felt like it was like a, a waterfall of information. And I took that and over the last eight months, I mean, just to credit it, last week I made more in one check last week than I've made all last year. Doing the traditional bit building business or working a job, I made more in that week. So Matthew calls me up like three weeks ago. I'm, I'm starting to make money, I'm doing good. Matthew calls me up and he's like, Mike, dude, how are you doing? I'm like, oh, great. Uh, I've been in Russell's mastermind. Thanks, by the way. 
And he's like, oh, that's awesome, man. Listen, I needed some help. I'm really stuck. And I could just sense on the phone like he was just struggling, right? And what's crazy is like, cause me and him were in the car like less than a year ago talking about building businesses online. And we were both had these visions and these plans and I'm like hitting all the goals that I was talking about in the car. Like my first five figure check in a week, done. Being able to help pay my parents, you know, being able to really give back to the people I care about. And I'm doing all these things that I was telling him about and he hasn't moved at all. He's still in the exact same place. And so I might, some people might even think he's regressing, but he's in the exact same place. And what, what shocked me was like, I was like, Matthew, dude, you just should have joined the program with me. Like you're in the place that we were at a year ago. And I'm, and I'm talking about, I'm living the things that we were talking about. For the people who are, are thinking about signing up with the program or joining the mastermind or the Ignite program. And I think that if you look at my story, someone who eight months ago, didn't know anything about internet marketing, anything at all, to now traveling the world, hanging out with people from all types of internet backgrounds, making a good living for myself. There's no like, there's no reason that anyone couldn't do this if you have the right group. And that's what the mastermind did for me. It got me around people who were thinking on a different level than me. Because it's not like functionally, it's hard, right? Technically, it's not hard with the programs that we have today and with all the resources that we have. But you have to believe that you can do it. And the only way that I was able to do that was by just getting off the phone with with Russell's guys and saying, "All right, like I believe that you can take me where I want to go. Like I have I have faith that this program is going to change, elevate my thinking. And that is what everyone needs to do. And that's why everyone needs this program." Everyone needs to come out to Boise and everyone needs to hang out in the mastermind. It's the greatest decision anyone could make, hands down.